All right, everybody, welcome to day four of the API 2024, hosted by Zany Sports. I'm here with Gigi, multiple what time up? Oz women's rep, who's going to be hyping us up for this commentary for this bronze medal match between Gorillas and Orcas. Let's go! Yeah, both Melbourne based teams. I think Melbourne really doing very well this tournament. I think they have a ton of representation on this tournament today, so you'll see a lot of these players. And that's why I have Gigi with me, because I don't know many of these Melbourne players that well. And I've lost my voice, so let's, let's have yeah. a party. Yeah. So for Gorillas, we have Alex Young. It's her birthday today. Shout out to Alex. <laughs> His, Jeez, her Alex boyfriend, old. Sonny, actually uh, specifically told me to shout her out, otherwise i get in trouble. Um, and then we have Charlotte Smith, Fiona Nguyen, Laverne Tiong, Madison Cruz, Sam Holcomb and Simone. And... Would you like to introduce the Orcas? <laughs> Alrighty, Orcas, we have Elaine, Julia, Kelly, Chloe, <coughs> Lisa Lee, Melhouse, and Steph Troll. All it's right, going to be a so, big game, I reckon. Yeah, to see who the best team in Melbourne is, eh? All right, so game's about to start. Um, we'll see. Oh, there you go. Happy birthday, Alex, and also Sam. <laughs> I think it's Sam's birthday, too. Sam's on the bench at the moment, but... We'll, we'll shout her out when she's. Uh, she's Everyone playing at home, it's my birthday next Saturday. So, oh, um, Gigi's yeah. birthday too. Shout out. <laughs> All right. This is so nice. I think uh, just looking at the matchups right now, I think Gorillas definitely have the advantage with catching, with obviously Simone and Alex. Uh, probably the some of the best catches in the world, maybe, not even Australia. And I think Sam we could also put in that category. Um, as opposed to with Orcas, we got also Mel, who's a really good catching. Yeah, she's she's incredible. Um, Elaine can pop up with the throws and, and no one forget my girl Julia. She Julia. is a game changer. That's right. <laughs> um, and I think just interesting note, I don't know if you guys remember um, Dodgeball Sydney Throwdown, uh, where Orcas actually upset Sirens, who are the, probably the best team in Australia. <coughs> and um, yeah, did a major upset. And I think uh, her, his, their coach was telling me that um, Elaine and Mel were part of that winning team. So yeah, so that that's going to be important because you know, like they have that experience, finals experience. Especially, I think they were down. They were down, oh, no and they just changed their tactic and surprise sirens. Okay, so you know. Hopefully we get a really interesting game like that. Such a big feat beating our sirens. Yeah, that, if I beat sirens like, anything, I'd die happy. Like, yeah, they're just they're so just, good. Yeah, and I think we'll see some of the sirens players in Baby Monster yes. in the gold medal match. Gold medal match. I think they're on a bit of a revenge tour after probably <laughs> that loss. All right, so I think the game is about to begin. Let's go. Um, we have... This opening rush is going to be Long at the back, meat. menacingly... Ready to analyze and give <laughs> give the feedback there. I'm not sure if uh, Gorillas have a coach, but that's all right. I don't think they need it. I don't think so. I think Sam is a player coach. Sam is a player coach. There we go. <laughs> She's too humble. She's like, I'll let you guys play and I'll carry you guys later. All right, the opening rush goes. And no trade. It's very close. Mel just dipping into them. And who has the advantage? we got Orcas. Uh, nobody knows who got the advantage, no, it's Gorillas. <laughs> All right, here we go. Beautiful throw there by Smith, <laughs> taking out 11. Yeah, that's really, really good hitting there. Um, advantage again for Gorillas. But this time, Mrs. Mel with a great counter. But good dodge there by Charlotte. That's right. All right. So... Yeah. So at the moment, you know, they're just sort of... I think warming themselves up, trying to work out what's going on. Oh. Oh, I thought that was a catch. That was Fee. That, that almost looked like a catch. Who threw that? Is that Charlotte again? No, that was Fee. Oh, that was Fee. Uh, Fiona. Fiona. Oh, yeah. She's Fiona. wearing Shane's top today. Oh, yeah. okay. oh, oh, but, oh good cross shot. And almost Fiona taking the bait Fee. on Maddie. Um, I think, yeah, Maddie, obviously, very good throwing threat. I think she's got an amazing throw and catch. All round good player. Um, oh, Ooh. that's an interesting one. Okay, so they, they, they did a split, but on two different targets. 
So that's an interesting tactic there. Um, now, Gorillas with four balls. Alex Young with a cross. Oh, it looked like a bounce, but Alex honest, that was a bounce honestly, as well. with number three, she walked away. The refs called it. Yeah. Oh, refs called the hit. Okay. Alex thought it was a bounce, I think. That's All right. So, Orcas, let's see what they can do here. Yep. Good throw there by Julia. Oh, oh beautiful yeah. opportunity shot there. Oh. And coming up with the trades and the punishers. So, at the moment, looking like both teams are just. Feeling it out, just throwing single balls. Let's potentially, go, Let's go, potentially worried about giving up too much ball control. There's a beautiful ah, double rush there. Nice Maddie finish, with a straight Maddie. shot onto Julia. So Gorillas, looking the stronger team in the first half. But I think tactically it looks like they're just throwing their, you know, main gun throwers. Um, both no teams catching, getting the feel. Yeah, for the game getting game. the feel for the game. I think they're both a bit timid. You know, like first game of the day. So, um, nobody wanting to throw a double shot yet. Um, oh, so 9 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> but I think, I think 9 a.m. <laughs> Have you had their coffee? <laughs> Here goes the rush. This time they don't take it. Oh, oh, Alex trading with Mel. That's a good trade. It's a good trade, yeah. But I think, you know, I, I, at the moment I'm seeing that Gorillas might have the firepower in throwing. So I feel like Orcas probably need to use their teamwork and tactics Ooh, to get face. the better of this. Great um, but let's see how we go. Charlotte with a good throw, good dodging here by the Orcas. Okay, and Damn. Orcas playing a little bit more aggressive, trying to go for trades. I, th I think that's a, the right a move. Lane got hit, I think, from Maddie just saying. That's a big out. Yeah? Yeah, that is. Agreed. Oh, Maddie. Clip Maddie on fire. As well. I think her Instagram handle is Dodgeball Queen, right? But Dodgeball is going to go off after this game. Yeah, if she keeps getting yeah, content like this. Yeah, she's going to get a lot of highlight reels for her Instagram. Thankfully, I have not been All on right. Dodgeball oh. content. Oh. Another trade, but Ooh. Simone goes for the catch. So the trade game, I think, is a good idea by Orcas, but at the moment, because um, they're down, uh, it's just not working out in this set. But certainly, yeah, with a, with a stronger throw and defense, from Gorillas, I think the Orcas do need to take a bit more risk. Ooh. Nice free throw, but um, free throw. blocked by number 26 quite easily. All right, here we go. Good shot, good block. Big fakes. So Gorilla is quite comfortable here in this scenario. So how will Orcas respond? They'll have to do something a bit unexpected, I think, to win this set. Great block by Simone. A little bit close to the line there, but I think she she was safe. I think I would avoid throwing at Simone at all costs until yeah, she's the last one. Right? Oh, oh, Charlotte! And you say that, and Charlotte's oh the one that catches. God. I know you were going to say that Simone's going to oh, do that I was going to say, get yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, you know, she got a catch. Beautiful double. <laughs> oh, good honesty by number 28. Hey, that's a good way to end that. The gorillas sense. with the momentum. Now, luckily, because it being a medal match, it is a 40-minute game. So Orcas have plenty of time to be able to come back, as opposed to a 20-minute game, 2-0 lead sometimes spells game over. <laughs> what are Orcas going to do to change up, yeah, though? So like, maybe, we'll, yeah, well, let's look for Chris Lung to maybe take a timeout soon if things go this way. Chris might jump on. Uh, oh, what a catch there by number three. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and then, was, was that, that a That was a lady. What? A lady? <laughs> oh my gosh, a catch and a catch. I didn't see who caught the second one. I didn't one. see oh, oh my that. goodness. Uh, and hype. Julia getting counted, yeah. So, yeah, Gorilla's really showing their firepower here. So, yeah, we need Orcas to start using a bit of team. Oh, that's an interesting dip oh, shot. Oh, right. Nice. Uh, They're taking that go. risk. They're there coming we go. that fifth ball. Taking I that extra it. bait shot on, uh, Maddie. on Maddie. She didn't expect that. So, yeah, that's the kind of thing we're looking from, for the, or from the Orcas. But they've given away five balls here, so what's going to happen? Oh, oh, you know what? That's a, a great hit, play by number 11. I think that's a that's beautiful Chloe. move. But ah. every single time Orcas are getting a hit, um, Gorilla's trading. So that's, yeah, that's why Gorilla's are always up. I think they're Damn. always trading, always covering their players. Um, and that's really good. All right, Orcas, what you got? Great dodge there. Oh, Ooh, Simone nice Phillips block. with a good counter. Alex Young, aggressive, but how is all these shots missing? Oh, he and then the a catch. great shot, but you know, I think, yeah. So I think, yeah, Orcas need to really invite that chaos to, to take the shots because I, I think, uh, I feel like 
Gorilla's defense is a bit too strong. It's very good. Yeah, like Alex I think Alex, Alex Young is blocking that all day long. Especially probably, on her birthday. Uh, She's her not going to be. That's it. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Alex Young with a good shot, but misses. Good counter. Oh, oh Simone oh, Phillips! Oh, does what she does bait. best. Oh. Gobbles them up. That hurts us all. Gobbles them up. All right, so 1v4. Bring Maddie back in as well. Let's number 26. They're going to do a split. Yeah. Oh, they did a triple. Great, great move, it. great move. You're going to make sure you get that done. So as you can see, as we called it, um, just the catching threat from the gorillas, just a bit too strong. Um, yeah, I don't know many of the Orcas girls, but I, I feel like, yeah, like only only Mel is the big catcher here, but, you know, they're taking care of her at the moment by just trading very easily. Mm. Definitely all capable yeah, of making it's a big catch. I think Chris Long probably needs to think about taking a timeout here, maybe soon, before things get out of hand. The opening rush seems to be quite even. Um, so Damn, Chloe hit off the rush. Yeah, Orca's not even being able to have an advantage on the opening rush. Oof. Already but down yeah, two. Two down already. We need some Mel magic. Oh, beautiful shot, oh. but Maddie gets under it. All right. Good shot there, but misses. <laughs> Who's uh, on the right wing? Is that Laverne? Yeah, okay. I think that's Laverne. Yep. Yeah. All right, what are Orcas going to do? Are they going to... Oh! oh. It's a pre double. There we go. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful gets double. Cooked. And a punish. Gets cooked. So I think, yeah, that's Kill the kind of thing go. I'm telling... I'm, I think Orcas should be doing more. Because I think if they just do the one one for one trade, mm. I think Gorillas have them a little bit over. They've got to be unpredictable. In terms of talent. Yeah, they've got to be unpredictable. That double was a beautiful call by Mel. Oh. Alex trades with oh. the wings. Big but then shot. again... Charlotte punishes, yeah. Oh, There's always an extra trade for the Gorillas, and you can always see them have one extra player. Oh, they're looking accurate So, yeah, great, great coverage, at least, for their teammates. But we still got Mel. She, I have a feeling she's going to do something right. here if Gorillas, uh, if Orcas want to come back. Mel and Elaine last two. I'm feeling yeah, good Elaine. about this. I'm feeling Elaine's good. Elaine's got a pretty good shot. Hell yeah. All right, so let's see how Gorillas respond. Oh, beautiful shot there by oh, Laverne. Oh, no. and baited. Damn. Mel got baited there. She likes to be really aggressive there, but I think uh, definitely looks like Gorillas is aware of that. Three, yeah, yeah. Do you think they'll throw three? Absolutely. Oh, ah. called it. <laughs> Gigi knows her players. I would have thrown three, that's yeah. why. So this is 4 0 now. I think, yeah, Chris Lung rightly calls a timeout. Good call, so good call. I think tactically something needs to change. Um, my bet is, I think, yeah, they need to use more teamwork, more doubles. Um, and I don't know, maybe maybe it's time to bring in Steph Trung I think the into rush the game. from Gorillas is just really fast. Yeah, and they're, I, they're yeah. hitting off the rush, one or yeah. two players at a time. Correct, correct. They might have to sub me in. Are you good, are you good at the rush? <laughs> you said no. fast? God, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think, yeah, um, yeah, Orcas at the moment doesn't seem to have an advantage in any category, I think. Gorillas seem to have the stronger throwers and the stronger catchers and the opening rush is about the same speed. Um, that's not to say that Orcas can't come back here. Um, so, we'll, yeah, we'll see what tactical adjustments the coach makes. I mean, um, we saw both teams yesterday force sudden death twice sudden to death? get into okay. this game. Yeah. To the semis. Like, they were down by three points. Uh. They just pushed through. And interestingly, um, I heard that in... Gorillas quarterfinals against the other Orcas team, they were down 3 0, and they somehow came back. Alex Young, the birthday girl, says that, you know, she she did some crazy oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, which against I, SA I, Orcas. I believe, yeah. SA Orcas, yeah. And so, this Orcas team did the same thing against yeah, yeah, it was actual wild. Yeah, but I think, yeah, hopefully the changes Chris makes makes a difference, otherwise, this could be a one sided affair. Ooh. It's all about this um, rush. Yeah. This upcoming rush. So if, I, I think if Orcas don't win one or two points in these next couple of sets, it might be an uh, early birthday present for oh, Alex. Oh, Alex double rush. That Alex Young. Shot off a Number lane. three was not expecting that. That's a beautiful tactical change there by Man, Gorillas. He's just so fast off the rush. But like. they gave away five, so let's see if Orcas can capitalize. Uh, not really. I think mm. the pre throw by Simone has thrown off their. Their teamwork. If Simone pre throws. Oh, oh Alex my Young. God. That's that birthday catch there right there. Birthday God catch. damn, Alex. Oh, my goodness. These She's gorilla throw, girls yeah. are popping off. Oh, and beautiful cross. Here. Give her another catch. Why not? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe Alex uh, hungry for that MVP 
trophy as oh. well. I think she probably would definitely. Oh, oh my god, I okay, can't follow that, you, Alex. I think in contention. Happy All birthday, right. Alex. Oh god. my goodness. I think she's already got three catches this game. Oh my god, she's got one of them up. Yeah. Do you think she catches more on her birthdays? What on her birthdays? She <laughs> catches more when she knows she's on stream, that's uh, for sure. Alright, <laughs> all right. so it's a 1v, 1v5. Um, so I think, yeah, this set, even though I'm sure Orca's made the tactical change, I think uh, looks like Gorilla's actually surprised them with these uh, extra shots that they weren't expecting. Um, especially Alex throwing off that second rush. I just think in catching general, up yeah. Elaine, um, throwing solos at Alex and then two catches. is never, yeah. never the right idea, yeah. Yeah. in my opinion. I, I agree. Especially, I saw her in a 1v1, and I, I felt like she could have probably just hit the, the person uh, he was, she was facing, but mm. she was still going for a catch, and I'm like, whoa, like... We, we go for style points. That confidence is uh, kind uh, of insane. <laughs> she just went for it She went for it That's yeah. awful. Yeah. So it's 5 nil At the moment, one-way traffic for the Gorillas. She's a so-called um, killer. She's I think Orca's still in. probably happy with uh, how far they've reached this tournament, but... And obviously, it's not the same squad as the gold medal winning squad uh, from showdown but um, so much time left there yes oh and they brought in steph trunk shout out to steph she's actually uh one of my teammates uh Hell yeah, steph. amazing she supports me very well um so but now i think she needs to get a throw here all right nice center double but again the, the trades are just going for gorillas every single time there's a trade gorillas take an extra punish so Mathematically speaking, it's always a two for one. That's oh, up to number out, 10 is uh, well. all the maths that I know. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and another beautiful shot there. Yeah, so Gorilla's just really steamrolling the Orcas here. Um, but here we go, Steph Trong. And, and Lisa. And Lisa, and Lisa Lee. Lee. Yes, all right, here we dog. go. Steph with a beautiful throw. Oh, good dodge there by Smith. Oh, get but it. then. Oh. Oh. This is oh my goodness. This is what I'm the big bucks. About six or seven catches God right now. Damn. Um, Fee's getting hyped right Fee, now. Oh, that's why. She's wearing a Lethbridge shirt. Yeah, she's wearing Shane's stuff. No, ah, okay, Fee's okay. a stone cold killer. I wouldn't be surprised if she starts dancing soon. Yep. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Gorilla's just damn. on a tear here. Oh, they've changed their rush because they don't feel like they're winning. Oh. Um, but yeah, I think if you rush like that, you're always going to lose the player. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess they were losing two players on yeah. the rush, so maybe they're thinking doing a safer rush is the better option. Oh, that's nice a good Elaine. trade there by Elaine. Very and good trade. Elaine just got it, yeah. yeah. That's a good hit. Yeah, but I think now the Gorillas, you know, have, have a lot of freedom. They could play aggressive, they can slow the game down. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Again, you can see that there's a trade on Alex. There we but go, then the Gorillas to come trade in. back. But now, now the Orcas are. Attacking, I th uh, yeah, I think I think now if they're six 0 down, I think Orcas just need to go more aggressive. Yep. I think they, they, the game plan isn't really working. Um, so let's see, yeah, let's see if uh, they go for the all-out aggression here. And hopefully, Gorillas keep this, you know, intensity up. You don't yeah, want to get yeah. too yeah. too chill. I, I doubt Gorillas will actually uh, slow down know. the game. I think they want to really put a. Oh, oh there we go! A lane. 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 Here we go. Finish. Right. Are we going to oh. see the first set here by Orcas? And this was, yeah, oh, I, th I think they, that was it. The YOLO aggression, she creating a catch for Elaine. Fee clipping Julia and, on the side. And causing that, that change of, shift of momentum here. Okay, so Fiona, she's got an amazing throw. I, I could back her to win this one before, but... Oh, there we go, bit of aggression there by Fiona. But I think... Uh, Orcas should have this one. Give me a wings, uh, I would like Orcas to have this one, especially with Steph on the court. I would love Orcas to get the dub. What are they going to do? A double? No, centers. Oh, set up for a jump, maybe. Yeah, I think Here they need go. to go. 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 They need oh. to go now. Oh, no, they've missed their timing. That's all right. Get another chance. Oh, good. Should I slip by the dub? Yeah, I think they just need to get her out quick here with a double. Mm. Yep, yeah, Fiona, Lisa, solid defense here. Make a throw at you, Lisa. Ooh, oh, here we go. God. Oh, no! Oh, my God, Fiona, me. is she about to win a 1v5? Oh, don't do it to me. If all these guys are winning these insane sets, who's going to be MVP of this game? Everybody. Oh, my God. That's insane. I'm still backing Elena. No, I love me. 
Oh! Oh, I thought that was a, I thought that was a hit. Sorry. Apologize. But, uh, yeah, Fiona's gonna take... Oh, no. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. May, no that may be a mistake. Oh, that bounce. Everything bounced. Oh. So Fiona oh. is a bit bit aggressive here, but I, I think she could actually probably go a bit defensive yes. and, oh. and take them out because I think she's got the better throw here. So Orcas really need that teammate. Oh. Ooh, oh. that was close, but, yeah, it was definitely a bounce. <laughs> If he can rely on her throw not to have to go push up too high at the halfway yeah, line. Yeah, I think she so could just stay back honestly, I'll and be just doing throw that. But she goes up in the halfway line. Here's, here's a jump. Nah, the timing's oh. very off at the moment. Oh, oh my god, she's go. feeling oh. it. Okay. Oh my god. Gigi, if Fiona wins this 1v5, you, you're going to have to um, I'm gonna have blow to buy up my eardrum. She wants. You're going to have to scream out loud here. This is insane. If she pump, oh, she clutches or, this. Or Mel Houser is going to get a catch. So either way, this is going to be hype. It's going to be insane. If Mel was playing me in a 1v1 now, she'd catch me out straight away. But you would also catch her out. Nah, I know. You, you, she's my I know kryptonite and she knows catch. it. She knows it. <laughs> Alright, so either way, whoever wins this 1v1, is, this is going to be nuts. Oh, uh, that's a bounce. Oh, oh here, here we, we go. go. Here here we go. Are you dead? Oh! oh you're not a cat! 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 you the game is Ooh. over in the first half. Oh, here we go. It's 7-0. There's a replay here. She Extra gets a well I thought that was a mistake, break. but... Oh, she gobbles it a up well like it was break. nothing. Faye flex on him, Faye. That is insane. Speak. And the crowd is very, very timid. Oh, Nobody goes wild God. about it. Charlotte uh, already getting a hit on crowd. Rush. What are you guys doing? Just chilling in the bin bags? That was a hype play. Oh, my God. All right. I'm yellow so, headed I think the game is over. I've, I've, I thought the score was 7 0. It still says 6 0 so at the moment, right, but, but that's fine. It is 7 0 um, on the court. I just, but yeah, I think Orcas, sure. you know, they're still going to play for pride. They're going to do their best, but oh, some they, they had it. You know, they had it. They had a 5v1. That's unlucky. That's but so Fiona unlucky. knew, and eh? She's actually playing in New South Wales this year. <laughs> I'm gutted. She Let's left us. Let's go for the New South Wales. Great trade there by Simone on Elaine. Yes! Oh, nice Steph take, Steph. Tron, with a beautiful hit on Smith. Big hit. There we go, Steph. Let's see a few more hits from Steph. Steph's and I think uh, they've brought in uh, another player who oh, was a Sam's sub. Oh, Sam's in. Sam, yeah. Sam's in for Gorillas. For some reason, wearing Lauren McLean shirt. Oh, oh, oh my God, my beautiful. Voice. Is that Steph again? Oh, Steph, Steph just doing some damage here. Out. There we go. Get out. <laughs> hey, Chris, you should have brought in Steph earlier. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. So, Hawkers, Hawkers with the advantage. Steph, oh, I thought it looked like Steph was going to throw, but beautiful throw by Julia. Sam oh. Hawkham oh. with a counter. Oh, Julia, get Whoa. clipped on the hair. Clipped on the hair, or did the, the, the wind just push oh, her out of the court? That's, Regardless. That's a crazy fast throw. Fuck. Sam Hawkham. Okay, so 3v3. Good aggression. Oh, but Sam yeah. is feeling it. Sam herself. coming in and just. Sam. Just cleaning up. We got 2v1. So, Fuck. you know, incredible Fuck. effort here by the Gorillas women. I, I don't, I think every single Gorillas woman have had a highlight. This is Mel's highlight incoming. Yeah, so I we need speak. we need Mel to get one for the Orcas. I'm telling you now, Mel's clutching this. Yep. Yep. I think she's learned from her first one. Oh, oh. Fuck, I talked too soon. Oh my goodness. Oh. Who, who's that? Was that Laverne? That was Laverne and Sam. What I a think. beautiful cross. Sidearm cross. Yeah. Oh, so, my yeah. voice is not I think, I think last gorillas, <laughs> gorillas just woke up on the right side of the bed. Orcas, you know, they look they look a bit fatigued, but you know they they're pushing through. Oh, there was it's eight zero oh. now as well. And now, um, now gorillas a bit bit ca oh. gorillas playing a bit casual on the rush because I think they think they've already got it. Um, but yeah, I think this was just a clinical performance by every single player turning up in the. The most important of match, and it shows right here. Amazing stuff. That's <coughs> half time. What's and it's half there? time. The score is seven nil. Uh, eight nil. On the I court. thought it was eight nil. Yeah, yeah. eight uh, nil on the court. It's eight nil on the court. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, eight nil in the first half. That's an insane performance. Sudden death. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see if we see another highlight because I think now oh, the game's over. It's all about finding the highlights. And and the having and having fun. Sam. The game's never having over. You, you don't think so? <laughs> never. All right. Never count out a team. All right. If if Orcas come back and win this, <laughs> I'll eat my shirt. Damn. All right. And I'm gonna Let's take go. it for everyone. Let's go. <laughs> but definitely, yeah, supporting the Orcas there. Uh, but I have to, you know, do my objective <laughs> analysis. Beautiful pre-throw by Maddie here. 
And she takes oh, another. Takes out oh, Mel. but she gets a trade. But again, so, Maddie takes out two. Got a 3v3 here. Oh, but they, yeah, Gorillas lost some others, uh, other players on the right side. Okay. So much chaos. It's hard to, hard for us to uh, see what's called every single player on the court. Ooh, Lisa but, and oh, Sam trade. That's another trade. So all the trade. girls just going for trades here. Um, not a bad option because it allows us to be able to see a clutch. Oh, and bad shaggy. Who did that? Oh, Is that Nikki Newen with a bad shag? I'm going to call that out. Um, <laughs> and that shagging mistake may have cost Orcas this set. Yeah, I mean... Beautiful ah. double. That timing is immaculate. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. That's my Nikki for that one. But as I said, yeah, like every single player in this Gorillas team um, showing up today. And uh, I, I don't think, yeah, if, if they play, I think if Gorillas play like this, you know, they probably could have even taken the title here. So Another bad definitely chat. showing oh, up really well. Oh man, watching this replay, that sucks. What's that? Uh, here's a replay here by, yeah, look at that timing. So even if that first shot missed, the second one, it one one shot hit the left foot, one shot hit the right the foot. What's this? looking good. The, the accuracy trying to, is just yeah. insane. That is crazy I'm, stuff. I'm sensing uh, frustrations. So oh. Orcas, you know, I, th I think they'll be a bit bit disappointed at the moment. Um, but that being said, you know, I'm sure Chris Lung, the coach, is going to be encouraging these girls because, you know, I'm super proud of, even though I don't know them, I think, you know, they should be super proud of how far they've come. Just going to take um, a one game at a time. Yeah, yeah. One game at a time. And I think they need to just, you know, play for pride here. I got faith. Gorillas, very confident, don't even need a huddle. They're like, we got this. God, they're already thinking yeah. about drinking. That is amazing. That is amazing. So they already look at that. They're already high fiving. They know that they've, they've got the bronze medal for API. You know, and I think API would probably be the second most prestigious tournament in the world after World I mean, Championship, right? So I'd, it's a API bronze is a big deal. I take you know? API bronze yeah. over worlds. Correct. Oh, really? You take API over worlds? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, nah, that's fine. I'm still gonna back the underdog. I'm going yeah, orcas. You're still going for orcas? I'm backing nah. the underdogs. Let's go. Let's go. My I'm not voice so. Is I'm not so certain about that. Fiona doing a little dance <coughs> here. I think after that one v four or one v five. I mean. Um, yeah. Shout out to Alex Young. It's her birthday today. Today. So a beautiful. Oh shit! You know, it's a beautiful present. A bronze Damn. medal, and she's in for the gold medal match. Imagine she's if she wins bronze and gold. gold I think, I think Happy if that happens, Sunny's not going to be able to give a better present than that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, all right, so Alex Young now subbed off. I think deserved rest. Oh, well, deserved break. Deserved break. Also, I think uh, Sam Holcomb's birthday is was this yesterday. week. Oh, yeah, it was yesterday, sorry. Yeah. So shout out to her. Late birthday present for her. I'm pretty sure she turned 25. She turned 25? <laughs> she's so young. But I'm still younger than 25 her. 25 at heart. If you ask anyone else, okay, so it she's may really be old uh, someone <laughs> at a different age. All right, there we go. Uh, good cross shot there by Steph. Is there going to be a catch? No, oh, that went way too that was hard. A great catch, oh, Shane. beautiful shot there by Elaine. So Orcas is bringing a bit of aggression here. Mm. That's what we want to see. All right. So, so I mean, look, this could be an interesting moment where um, Gorillas think they've already won, so they're gonna drop their gear a bit, and then Orcas are, uh, you know, be like, "Well, we got nothing to lose now," and they're gonna go aggressive. So, although I don't think, I think the score is too far away that I don't think it's gonna affect the result of the game, but certainly I think That's now it's Orcas' well. time to to win some points. Yeah. But you can see, yeah, like, Gorillas, the intensity has dropped now uh, because, you know, they, they know that they know they've got it. But, you know, I sometimes like to see a team, you know, maybe increase the intensity, intensity at this point, maybe win 20-0, <laughs> you know? But it is what it is. Ah. Steph with a lazy dodge, <laughs> and I can say that because I'm a teammate, otherwise I wouldn't call her out on that. You can say that. Um, but here we go, Sam, uh, Mel with a good cross on Maddie. Maddie's like, easy. No mm. problems, all right. So what tactical move will they do with four balls here? A one ball Will they do a double? Surely. No, just a one ball. Uh, Great dodging by Julia. They're gonna try to take off as much time as possible. Yeah, lull in the game. I'd rather they just go harder. Uh, you think Otherwise so? this uh, second half will be a bit more boring. The dodging's still there, which, mm. is, uh, which is good. Uh, so they're not, you know, taking it too easy. But, Unless yeah. they get someone out on their solo, yeah. I think they're going to keep throwing one. But it, one. Kind of, uh, it kind of feels like Gorillas uh, is throwing one 
and waiting for orcas to counter so they can get the trades. But obviously, I feel like orcas are probably a bit too tired now to counter anyway. Oh, there's the trade. Beautiful. So Maddie's at the moment, like Queen of Dodgeball seems to be the queen of trades. Hey, yo, she's known yes. to trade. I, I, I she's think, Harris, I think she's, Harris yeah. Award. She's had the most trades in this match, I'm, I'm pretty sure. There's that double, there's that play. And who it is again, Mel Howes in another clutch. Nice blocks from Mel. Uh, we got to get Mel one clutch here, even though, you know, the birthday's on the other side. Come on, Mel. Mel and Sam, kind of similar type players here. So that I would... Love to see a 1v1 against Mel and Sim. those you two, mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mel and Sim. They've got lots of history um, yeah. against each other. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Right, let's see. Oh, Here's the history. Catch. Boom. Oh, Sim's no, but it misses. Catch. Good dodge by Mel. I mean, good dodge by Simone. Who's oh, the other player? That's then? Laverne. Good. I personally Laverne, go right. for Laverne first and make it yeah, a 1v1. Laverne, yeah, let's do it. 100%. Laverne, can you please step out of the court so Mel can have a 1v1 with Simone? Oh, was that a hit? Oh. Good nah, punish. Bounce, Great timing there by Levin, but uh, I think it just bounced. Levin's good call throw by the ref. Is amazing. Yeah, insane. Yeah, I, I, so I've good. seen some of the throws. That, that I think it's that side arm, so the flick side action, arm fastball. Yeah. It's pretty hard to hit. Pretty hard to uh, do, uh, block, especially if it's coming from an angle. Mm. Um, so definitely, yeah, Levin. Even though I never, hadn't seen her much before, pretty impressed by her move. Oh, oh Mel! Let's go, Mel! Take cover, baby. Simone. All right, and Levin. With a beautiful hit. Okay, so I think this is... Now, can she adventure other 1v1? The one? best catcher versus one of the best throwers. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, Mel. Who are you going for, catch or throw? I'm going for Mel. <laughs> uh, you go for Mel? <laughs> I love you, uh, man. I, I think i got to go for Mel too because I don't really know Levin. But we also, love also like, Gorillas are 9-0 up. I don't think they need another point. Oh, oh, here's that wrist. Oh. Here's the Mel catch. No, <laughs> she did go for the catch. Oh my god. That was kind of like the Nico catch. You need a highlight but, play. Yeah. I'd go for style points every yeah, day of the week. That's right. All right, this 1v1, come on. Hey, Mel wants that 1v1 to Phoebe Four. She's going to want to win this. Oh, oh, oh my god. That side arm as soon as I talked, is insane. Pops off. But you can see, look, Mel's pretty tired. She's oh been in about god. four 1vx situations. She's gas. Um, I'd be as well. But, oh, oh, that's a beautiful man. shot. Simone. Oh, no. This, this is a shot, shot sorry. Yeah, that this was is a nice. shot. But look at that. I think that was probably the good move, but. Good dodge. Oh, no, no. So, yeah. So, so that was a bit of a risk, but this that shot. rocket shot. Look at that. It's, yeah. Not, not so much a sidearm. I think it's like a 10-5 ah. fastball, but it's beautiful. Oh, again. Charlotte. Two for one trade. Oh, no. Flip. 21 stays alive. Oh, Charlotte. Doing some rolly polies on the court. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, yeah, I think the fact that Gorillas won the rush, um, I think that sort of spelled the end for Orcas. because. Again. Maddie's because, the fastest you know, on the rush. Yeah, she was our rusher yeah. for worlds. Because I think the rush is the one thing I was thinking Orcas had, but it was it, uh, it was either even, but even though the speed was even, I, I just thought Gorillas the kept getting the hits. Yeah. The accuracy. Because they just had the more accurate, strong throwers. It's all part of the script. Yeah. They woke up this morning, they knew what the script yeah. was going to be. Yeah, they, that's better dodging there by Steph. Oh, nice oh, take, Julia. Yeah. yeah, Julia. Julia with a beautiful shot. But yeah, I can see, you can see, I think <laughs> Gorillas have... Uh, Sort of taking their foot off the gas a little bit. Um, but, you know, they just have so much talent that they can still afford, they can still win sets uh, yeah, by chilling a bit. Damn, 10-0. That's yeah. wild. And it looks like Ali, Alex Young, uh, birthday girl, warming up. Oh, beautiful dodge by Steph. Warming up. I think she's wants to come back in, get about another two or three catches. <laughs> Maybe five, she's six. Like, she's like, Fiona and the other girls are trying to steal my MVP. I need to come back and uh, do more catches. <laughs> Um. Oh, another trade. Another. Yeah, Maddie. Oh, oh but Maddie nah, loses this trade. Oh. Fuck, One yeah. of the few trades that Maddie has lost. Suck it, Maddie. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Let's go, Orcas. Get off the phone. Uh, Orcas, let's do a double ball play and get me a left split Simone one. in a 1v4. Give me a left split. Oh, oh. 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 my goodness. Oh, Fiona Newman with another beautiful catch. That was a triple. So it was a, it, it was a triple, but it was, it was kind of like a double and a single. Triple, like it was yeah. not really a triple, and that's why the catch happened. Um, I'm not but look, that call, look man. in this I'm team, in this team, you know, if Fiona Newman is catching, uh, it's game over. Yeah, shut it down. Uh, it's game over because she's, she's, not, she's, a, not, even she's a, not a catcher. She's not even a catcher. <laughs> Although, uh, you know, not not saying she can't catch, nah. but she's not a catcher. And if she's catching, 
It's GG. Just shout out to GG. GG. It's, yeah, it's in my that? name. It's so GG. 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 Alright, All right, stay. Oh, beautiful dodging my set. No, I see. I'm calling out. No, I see. Here we go. Alright, this is it. This is, this is Orcas. But Even you know though this is Simone is oh, freaking man. crazy, Orcas is getting this. I can already see a clutch Orcas catch from Simone. Orcas is getting this. You reckon? Oh, I'm, I'm gutted. <laughs> and it's so, it's so fun to watch Simone play. Like, Can you see, like, she plays with a smile on her face all the time. Oh, oh and she gets let's hit. go! Orcas that game was worth with 10 points. First point. <laughs> Do you think that, that game was worth 10 points? Okay. Yeah, give him so, 10 points for that one. Come on. So even though Gorillas won, to you and me, the score is now 10-10. Right? So this we next, next game is going to win. Okay? Yeah. Whoever wins this next so game the score is zero wins the whole thing. Secretly in our heads. You know what? But the correct score is about 10-1. This is good though. It's good for momentum. Oh, and they've gone back to their passive rush here. Oh, but Sam, Gorilla's cooked it. But Sam dropped the oh. ball. <laughs> oh. Gorilla's making a meal of the rush yeah, today. Rex, Sam. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> But again, you know, another shame. example of, you know, they've, they've, really, well. they've really just won the game now. Oh, and, Alex. and just chilling. Alex Young comes back. She's like, I'm back. Oh, damn. I'm going to do some damage. And even though Gorillas lose two on the rush, after five seconds, it's already even. It's already you know even. what I mean? Gor crazy. Gorillas just, just insane. Just, just insane. Sadly. Like, every single player turning up and destroying oh, everyone. No. Maddie just keep going for the trade and the punish. So I'm, I'm enjoying this Maddie Elaine uh, matchup. Yeah, it's that's right. I think it's been entertaining. maybe a little bit towards Maddie, but overall even player for player. Oh, oh beautiful shot. Look at that, that curve, curve on that. Nice. that curve. The funny thing is like she doesn't even know she can curve it like that. Like she's <laughs> like, I don't know what my ball's doing. She just lets the ball do um, it. That's what I'm saying. At least right. getting clipped on the hair by Fee. Yeah, and that speed on Fiona's throw is pretty insane. I mean, the face on Fiona when she throws is scary <laughs> as hell. And looks like Fiona's just going for catches. Yeah. Maddie, I think Gorillas just want catches now. They're like, oh, we can hit them easily. Let's, Elaine, let's, yeah. let's challenge ourselves by <laughs> getting catches. <laughs> and I'm all about catches, but man. Alex with a oh, Alex with an underarm slider. I didn't know she Alex, could throw that. Ever since but she started playing sidearm with me, really? she likes oh, to bring it out. Did you here teach her that? Is that right? Are oh, you going to take credit for that throw? I can't throw? teach nothing. That's all, Alex. Oh, beautiful shot by. Oh, oh Alex with the good follow bait up. there. Steph showing a bit of aggression, oh, and Alex very, very aware. Beautiful, beautiful move there. Damn. So Orcas. We can't uh, throw solos at Alex here. We can't throw solos at Alex. Go she for can a catch ball handler. Well, yeah, I mean, take that, Julia, I mean take that. in this game, actually, they're there technically go, Julia, throwing a punish oh, and away with a wow, punish on Simone. A double win Let's rush. Go. But Alex Young here is... Oh, oh my goodness! God. Alex Young! Oh my with a God. double so free throw for my fucking bitch. And Orcas had no idea what happened. Are we going to see a replay of that oh, or what? Oh, Alex just popped uh, Here's the replay. Off. Alex Young goes bang boom, and boom. bang. And oh, Orcas are... Uh, it's not the birthday. happy about that. Yep. It's the birthday game. Like so, yeah. I, th I think I think with that play, maybe Alex is the MVP of this oh game. Oh, my God. Everyone's Again, on the rush. And and Charlotte. Charlotte. This is crazy. They are I'm statistically dominating in every single aspect of this game. I, I'm uncomfortable Hits, even watching this game catches, anymore. Like, defense, dodges, everything, everything is gorillas. Everything is, everything is gorillas. gorillas. Like, and, and, you know, Orcas, you know, I really feel for them. I think they've tried their best but you know if a team turns up at this level you know like I swear if Gorillas played like this they could you know they could have won gold they could have, yeah. they could have won gold but you know what yeah. they had a great game yesterday against had, Baby Monster yeah. like that yeah, was Baby Monster yeah that's the scary thing competitive team. as hell yeah yeah but no I, f I feel for the Orcas well if Gorillas played like this then uh, <laughs> that team would have been just Baby and we, we could have got rid of the monster <laughs> Because these gorillas are the monsters these right now, yeah? These gorillas monsters, are the monsters. Man. Such incredible That's plays. Wild. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, Maddie Steph Tom completely destroys Maddie. Chuck that on Look the at TikTok. that beautiful curve, huh? Chuck that on the TikTok. Wow. Nice oh, dodge. Oh, and she's dodging. What's going on here? Sam she doesn't play like that for us. I don't understand what's going on. She only plays uh, like that uh, against uh, with good players, I guess. Uh, not we take women's competition seriously. Yeah, yeah mixed ain't nothing. Clearly, clearly. Mixed ain't shit. All right, so Damn, let's see what Orcas can do here. I think you know I'd like them to have another point. Beautiful Julia, free throw nice by Julia. Free throw. That's my that dog, is great Julia. move. That is a great move. Um, now I think. Do you think they'll throw a double? Nah. Yeah, oh, they will. Oh, she's oh, throwing everything. Alex with another. Oh, 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 o
Oh! Well, the Statue of Liberty catch, but then Maybe. she steps out of the Maybe. court. I didn't think it was a catch. But she that was still an insane catch. No, it was catch. Wait. It was definitely a catch. Um, catch an L. Yeah, give Alex Young a taste of a medicine. Oh, yeah, Happy, walk off, Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. How dare you throw caught. three balls? Get caught. In that snow. Was, oh, and there Simone we go. That's the Simone we know. Oh my god. That's the Simone we know. She says, oh, we don't throw a Simone until yeah. she's the last one left. That's right. Oh, and beautiful and shot there. Man. Um, no, I, th I think that, that shot, that cross by Alex Young was amazing, but obviously... It was the, the confidence. Can we see that? Are we, are we seeing that Statue of Liberty mm. catch? Oh, Mel going that for the catch. Well and then this mm. replay this is shows a beautiful free throw that. by Julia. Here it is. Here, Here it is. This. Look, she's Alex got Young with a beautiful free throw by Bang. Statue of Liberty catch. Oh, beautiful. The and then she's like, oh, I'll just step on the court now because I've done my job. I didn't even see her step on the line. I want to um, I want to replay Steph. You should have stayed yeah. in. But I think, catch. you know, Chris, I don't know who took the time out here, but um, maybe just, you know, Chris will just encourage them and goes, you know, well done, guys. We did a good, good, looks like they're in good spirits overall. Mm. I don't know. I'm um, sensing frustration you know, a bit. But. As I said, I think Orcas should be really proud to come fourth in API. Such a prestigious tournament. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, as I said, Gorillas were just clinical today. Uh, some smiles are coming clinical. out. Let's just have some fun. Yep. Enjoy the game. Six Obviously minutes we ago. All love winning, but six minutes ago. You gotta have fun with I it. I think, you, yeah, you just have fun. You gotta have fun with just it. Just enjoy yourself. Made some subs. Mel's having a break. Julia's having a break. Yep. Mel carried the team on her back today. Like her and Julia popped. <clears throat> and Elaine. She's only like, one person. Oof. She can only do so much. This whole team's doing so um, well. That's. Yeah, I'm impressed. Uh, you know, I think you know, Orca's Look. team, impressive team. Gorillas had the script from... Yeah, and I'm pretty sure, you know, this is the second Orca team because I think the SA Orca team are the Absolutely, number one Orca yeah. team. So, you know, for that, you know, they, they obviously even outdid... Um, yeah, put that on your TikTok, Maddie. number Maddie. one team. Beautiful shot by the <laughs> Steph there. Okay, now there's a bit of chaos. They're Maddie, like, Maddie. Uh, it's... Game's over. Mm. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Maybe I should jump on. Yeah. <laughs> Ask them. <laughs> Nice right Ooh. split, but great oh, jump there. Sam. And Sam going for trades, yeah. I think, Sam yeah, Lisa. like, definitely trades were the big... Uh, I think the tactical big thing yeah. in this game was the trades, but Gorillas were just on top. Um, anyway, oh, as I, and I'll re <laughs> reiterate this again, is even though both teams were trading well, after every trade, Gorillas took an extra shot. So every Agreed. trade was two for one. Every trade was two for one. Um, and that's not even to add all the catches and the clutches, so... You know. I think the timing's on the trades. There you go, another they, trade. They'd another never trade. trade if they had less players. So, like, gorillas always get that shot off the rush, yeah. and then they can afford doing that trade, Correct. and it just always works. And it's just but I guess we should note that, obviously, gorillas uh, have, um, you know, Oz team representation up the wazoo, uh, while Orchid maybe the only has Mel. Uh, Mel and Julia. Uh, Julia. Mel and Julia. Mel and Julia. Yeah, but so, I mean, even I mean, that being said, obviously they they have less experience. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. Sam, uh, Simone, the you, know, uh, you know, like multiple Oz team representation, Fermain national class. national title winners. So that pedigree and that experience also probably makes a huge difference. Even though obviously Chris is a, Chris is an amazing coach, this, yeah. I think that you know that experience plays a lot. And that was a this is a well knit girls yeah, team. Yeah, that's right always been right, together yeah. for years so they have that that championship mentality oh. already look at that early trading here yeah oh maddie oh, with nah, the steph oh. cooks maddie here bang wow maddie almost did a double trade here <laughs> yeah and that beautiful jump there by simone to dodge that split she's um, a smiling assassin simone she just smile at you she's not assassin she's gorillas assassin's <laughs> a new south wales team no i'm joking um all right how many minutes left on the court? Five minutes and it's 13 uh, one. Wow, there's still a lot of time on the a lot oh of time man. in this game. I mean, it's not unrealistic for Gorillas <laughs> to get a 20 score here. I don't think that's ever been done in API. They wish. Do you, I don't I'll, even, I'll give him 15, I think even maybe. 15 has 15. never been done in an API. Really? I, I, would, I would say so. I, I would say, you know, this could be a new record in terms of. Uh, you know what? They're going to challenge themselves to try to yeah. get the highest score. I don't think they know that though. So. I mean, they're playing a bit chill, but, you know, if, if someone went there and just whispered in the air, like, if you get three more sets, oh, you're going to yeah. break a record, oh my God. they would have gone nuts. I've, never, oh, I've never seen them play this well. You reckon? Like, I swear to God, this is wild. Yeah, you don't me. join the team, they play better. What does <laughs> that say about you? <laughs> they don't invite me. 
Yeah, you might have to join Orcas. Oh my god. All no right. one invites me to play. Nah, come on. <laughs> That's not true. You told them you were busy. I know. All right. Good dodge there by 21 here. No, I think that was a bounce. Chris is thinking come on. it's a oh, hit, I think. Connor oh, Connor calls it. Oh, no, but Rob says no. Oh. There's a bit of infighting between the Zany boys, but it's a save. It's just a no call. Let's yeah. just play on, I no, guess. No, I think it was a bounce. Mm. I think it was a bounce. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Let, let her have her moment. Let's All just right. go for headshots All right, now. So Let's go. Gorillas had, have a, has had a 1v4 here. Now we need an Orca's 1v4, but Simone wants to catch. Oh, no, she doesn't. I think she wants to She wants Alex. Yeah. She wants to catch. She wants to catch. Let's freaking smile. She's, if I had to look at that one, throwing at you. What? That That's, is... You can't throw that Alex. A, That's that even though I know this was kind of a fun thing, that is a tactical mistake <laughs> to throw at Alex Young. Like... I mean, some people don't know about yeah. her. <laughs> well. But does she? <laughs> nah, she would, surely. <laughs> okay. I, I think Chris surely. would be... I think Chris will maybe make her run laps for that one. Uh. Because <laughs> switching from Simone to Alex Young is probably the worst oh, decision man. Um, ever. I but, honestly feel And I only say that in uh, a light heart. I definitely don't... Me, uh, was trying to be mean to her. So Look. if you hear back this commentary, that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but Alex Young, I think, how many catches has she had? Oh, I can't five? count, honestly. I would say at least five. Uh, Fiona's five. had two. A few hits. Uh, Maddie's had one. Charlotte has... Charlotte's okay, let's, had let's just well. average out. So no, just missed the catch. Each Gorilla players that. have had about two catches, which is about, if you think about it, is about 12 catches. Oh, my God. Now I'm over the Gorillas. I'm just over them. <laughs> get All off right. the court. All right. So let's, assume, let's, let's say if they get 16, 16, I would say that's an API record. Oh. All right. And I think this is really doable because gorillas are now falling apart. Oh, sorry, uh, orcas are now falling apart. I think gorillas they've, they've are given up the ghost. Up they've given up the ghost. That's uh, Which we understand. Beautiful shot. Oh okay. My God. So look, I think I think I we are looking at a new API record. I think we're looking at a new API here. record for most points in a medal match, That's or wild. even an API match because most API matches yeah, are 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 yeah. minute games. So, set, oh my so God. unless uh, we, I get, think I'm a we get the, the gold medal. The commentator curse, yeah. I think. Do you reckon? I wasn't meant yeah. to commentate this. So oh, I reckon yeah, it yeah, was yeah. supposed to be closer. That's true, that's true. So yeah. The, I feel bad. Oh, there's a replay. Ah, uh, there was a false start, I believe. False start, okay. So, yeah, so that's, let's, let's root for that. Let's root for the new API record of <laughs> most points in a match. Um, which oh, will happen. Man, Fiona almost so gets a catch. Chaos. Steph with a beautiful throw, but just a little bit high. Uh, now everyone doing high shots Never here. No more yeah, anymore. They're just going crazy now. This Everyone's is going crazy. Game. This is like Social League dodgeball. Aim at, for some uh, heads. Five dock. This is a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, what yes, happened Sam. here? Oh, 1v5. Oh. Let's Orcas. go. Maybe uh, they heard that uh, Gorilla's uh, about to beat a record, so they're like, this ain't happening. I want to see a headshot on Sam so badly. Really? I, I reckon Sam's going to catch this. Nah, she's going to get popped. <laughs> All right, Sam Hawkham with a 1v6? Oh. 1v5. No, 1v5. Only um, Sam. On, on the day of her birthday. No, oh, it's a trade. Please. Oh, no, it's a dead ball. At least, oh, at least they got hit. Sam oh. survived. Please, oh, that's Orcus, interesting. please finish this off. All right, Sam. Don't. What you oh, got? No. Oh, Sam's going to win this. Oh, oh my God. She's going to win this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm actually going to pass out. A 2v2. And she brings back Simone. Like, that is not what you want. My goodness. I'm going to cry for maybe, these girls. Maybe next API, I'm going to request that they will, they organize the event during my birthday. Because oh. <laughs> I think there is a birthday Everyone's boost. Everyone's popping off yeah, on birthdays. There's a birthday boost of some sort here. I'm going to request that gorillas can't play with each other ever again. <laughs> like this so basically, is gorillas insane. are about to win two 1v5 situations here. And, oh. and let's just say they will break the record if they win this shot. Sam, Sam at the end of the day, hit Sam is my girl. Sam, oh Sam. my goodness! Sam is my this girl. This is ridiculous. Sam just fucking... This is oh, actually ridiculous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down and shut my mouth because there's nothing else to say. Low. This gorilla's team have Big completely dominated Sam. this that game. That is my dog, my best Sam pal. Hockham, if anyone asks. Even though I know Simone, you caught that last ball, I think. Oh, Sam, Sam Holcomb gets all the credit there. Sim Cherry picked hard oh my to goodness. finish that game This is off. ridiculous. That what a Sam. catch there. Look at that replay. Steph Trong oh my God. visibly frustrated but still smiling because there's I'm nothing you can do about that kind of stuff. I'm putting my head in my hands there right now. There is nothing now, you can like, do. Oh, here oh, we go. go. Yeah, that's right. Oh, let's go. Oh, now it's a catch fest. Everyone just wants oh. to catch. Nobody cares about winning. Knock Charlotte oh. out. Let's go. Okay, okay. 
Now it's a 1v6. Do you yeah, think Charlotte's we... going to win this one too? We saw it Do you think Charlotte's going to win this one too? Hey, Charlotte's yes, a thrower. Is. Charlotte's a thrower. She oh can... my gosh, There's five seconds. We're going to do something there, though. What are you though. guys doing? Oh, Let's go. go. Everyone knows last Let's game wins. Last well game wins. Everyone knows Beautiful. that. Beautiful. Okay, and then the game's over. So the final score is 16-1. Ah, I feel like this API record isn't broken. Congratulations. 16-2. 16-2. Congratulations go. to Gorillas for winning yeah, bronze in API. Oh, we've got a sudden death. Oh, no, the sudden death. <gasps> what are we saying? Because the game There's finished the before shake, the... the sudden death. The game finished before the so time. So they, they want to create a... They want to make sure that this record gets never gets broken. <laughs> I want to see some highlight plays here. So Headshots, big catches. Yeah. So score is 16-2. Well done to Orcus for winning that last set, <gasps> even though it was kind of a meme round. <clears throat> um, that was wild. But let's see how we go here. Sudden death, no blocking. Oh, oh Charlotte with an, uh, an early hit on yeah, Lisa. She didn't really dodge Lisa there. <laughs> she didn't expect it, I guess. Oh, six balls. Okay, how many catches oh do we see here? Oh, my God. At Give least me a left double, two. right double. Left double, right double. At least two catches. Everyone, a birthday catch. Uh, no, no catches for Alex. Go away. You've had enough fun. Oh, yeah, I'm over it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we've seen enough Alex catching for oh, one day. Maybe we'll Sam. wait for the gold medal. Oh, oh but look at that. Just the throws are deleting the Orcas players. Bruh. Incredible, I'm have to incredible buy these girls skill, skill shown here. Oh, oh, Elaine! Let's go, Elaine! Where's the catch by Elaine? Okay. Lisa's, Lisa's back. back. Oh, there. Oh, that's that's what she's doing. That's the kind of dodging we want to see. All right, Elaine and Lisa, show us your stuff. Damn. Okay, double the one player. Don't throw it at the catcher. Please, not Simone. Get yes, fair, yes. Well now go Maddie okay. next. Oh, no, no, not Simone. Yeah, okay, now go Maddie next. She's trying to Maddie. Okay, good. Maddie I thought she was trying to get Simone. Okay, now. Matthew's going to go for a trade. I can feel it. Matthew's going to... Okay. I hope they know that it's no blocking. Let's have a look. Oh, uh, she went for the drive. Go for oh. it, Lise. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is so exciting that I forgot oh, I had a commentator. Oh, no. Oh. And that's, that's game. Finishing. So final score, 17-2. 17-2, Congratulations man. to Gorillas for winning API bronze medal. Orcas, fourth in API is nothing to be ashamed of. God, no. Uh, I'm I can't, all those girls some drinks. I can't even pick the MVP of this tournament, because uh, of this match, of this because game. every single girl in Gorillas did something insane. Everyone's got a case to make. Alex with the catches. Alex with, Fee, Alex with the catches. Fee clutching 1v1s. Maddie with the trades. Sam Maddie Hopcomb trades. 1v5. Charlotte on the rush, uh, pretty accurate. Fiona 1v4. Charlotte, I'm uh, pretty sure, got a lot of catches and rushes. I mean, Love finished off that 1v1 against Mel. Uh, and Laverne as well was yeah, playing ex like excellent. So, Sam, hats off to, 1v4. Yeah, hats off to Gorillaz. That's my girl. Well done. But again, claps um, all around. Orcas, Gorillaz. But yeah, like, Orcas, as I said, you should be proud of yourself. Let's watch some of the highlights here. Yeah. Um, I don't know which half this is. I think it's the second half. Second I think half. this is the last set, actually. Uh, oh no, this is the set that they won. Boom! Oh, here well we go. Done, Elaine. Here we go. Elaine. Super proud for sure. This is the one where again. they messed up the rush and lost two players. And then 10 seconds later, they lost. Uh, Orcas lost two players. Um, nice. And then, you know, these are, yeah. I mean, but, but that being said, look, these highlights are from when the game was already over. Much, so obviously, yeah. you know, this is not the type of things that they would be playing at the moment. Um, Still you know, fun to watch. Really fun to watch. Well. I'm sure the girls will enjoy the, these highlights. Oh, oh this I is mean, the Alex Young signature play. Hit. The double pre-throw. I don't then, mind this about Alex Young. There's the Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte with a catch. Hit and a catch. Um, she'd be giving you nightmares, Alex Young. All the yeah. catches she made today. Yeah, I think you know Alex in uh, good form for the gold medal match as well. Good pre-throw there by Julia. Mm. This is a... Beautiful catch, Statue oh, of Liberty man. by Steph. Oh, but she ruins it by line. stepping on the I'm line. I'm just putting that out there. They uh, called it out. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's true. Oh, look at that. I don't Another know, man. Yeah. Oh, the, the, You're going to have to talk to Connor about that. The videographers are hiding the fact that they shut on the line, which is good. That. Um, that is wild. And, yeah, but, you know, all the... Oh, and, and I was really impressed by that dodge there. Yeah. It was a right split, and Simone dodged that and like a... And she was smiling the whole yeah, time like as well. Yeah, she just... <laughs> how do you play a dodgeball like that? When I play dodgeball, I'm like... It's mental you know, games. If like I'm seeing someone smiling villain. at me after I'm throwing at him, you know? It's interesting because, more. you know, like... You know, you, you guys know about, like, Carolyn's resting bitch face. Oh, that, that hurts. And contrast with that to <laughs> so Simone's... Crazy happiness. And they were teammates. You know? And they're both scary. As well. They were teammates at mixed. Both of those faces are scary. 
That is... I don't want to... I don't want someone... To, I throw my hardest throw. I don't want someone <laughs> to catch me with a smile on their face. No. But that is if I see a sure. resting bitch face, I am shivering. Carrot going, absolutely uh, scares me. How am I going to beat this person? So, you know, uh, contrasting faces, but same result. This game had some great highlight plays. Other than that. Yeah. But anyway, congratulations to Gorillas and Walkers. Big ups to Gorillas and um, Walkers. And yeah, definitely. The next was, game is mixed I think it was runs. a fun game to watch. So much fun. But it was one-way traffic, so in that sense, yeah, it's, you know, I'd rather yeah. watch more exciting games. You know what? Orca's mix is next. Let's hope yeah. they can uh, do something for the club. Yeah. Fuck but the voice. exciting plays were good. Like, yeah, the amount of catches, the step, step statue of Ruby catch, uh, Simone's double catch. Oh we forgot God, about that. Oh, my yes. How can we forget about Simone's double catch? Um, and just seeing all those trades. Yeah. Again, if you're on that gorilla team or in the gorilla's club, you are having a great time so far yeah. this morning. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was a great Look game. Look at Alex Young with a smile on her face. <laughs> You know, it's the birthday happiness. Just hugging and encouraging Sam's the at orcas, me as well. orcas oh, girls. Oh man, I'm gonna have to celebrate with them after this. So, yeah. so Damn. what we'll do is uh, we'll be right back in about five minutes, and we'll bring you the the mixed game. Thank you for having me, gang. No worries. <laughs> All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to API 2024, hosted by Zany Sports. So we just saw the mixed, uh, not mixed, women's bronze. Now we're looking at the mixed bronze. And here with me is Mr. Devon Van Dyke. Hello, everybody. All right, so mixed lineup. I'll, I'll read out the Orcas lineup, and then I'll get Devon to read out the, the, uh, the Aces lineup. So we have... Number nine, Ben Yong. 17, Chris Luang, the coach of the last match. Uh, 19, Isaac. Number five, Kelly. Number seven, uh, Chloe, Martin, and Strip Trung again. Back to back matches. And the Aces lineup, Devram? On the Aces mixed bronze, uh, sorry, on the Aces mixed team, we've got Evan Jazen Lee, number 28. Hari Garan. Ravi Chandran, I hope I said that right, right. Um, Hari. That's pretty good. Number 16, Hoi Ching, Pami Chan. Number 18, Hoi Ki, Bonnie Chan. Number 2, Hon Lung Lam. Number 14, Joel. Joel. Number 15, uh, Kelly Tam. Number 12, Pu Ki Sito. Number 7, Wing Chung Matthew Kong. Number 1, Yuan Yi Lung. Number 11, and Zen Jack Ao. Number 6. It's a big roster. I hope Plenty they got enough subs. game time. I'm, I'm sure they've figured out yeah. by this stage in the tournament who's playing where and doing what. But yeah, yeah. that would be a lot to manage, eh? Hey? Yeah. So I mean, interesting with the Aces, you've got uh, a lot of, I think, a lot of the male players who've played in Worlds, probably even won World Championships. Yep. Yep. Very strong um, club. So I think Evan and Jack played in this year's World Championships, won silver medal in the men's division. I think Hari's won a world championship before. Hari, a Has previous he? world's MVP yeah. from world's memory. MVP. Oh, that's insane. Joel? Joel, yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm not sure about the women's. I don't know if you know any. But, you know, very top caliber players. Um, and no surprise that, you know, they made it to this goal, uh, bronze medal match. Who did they lose to? Do you remember? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure who knocked them out. Demons, yeah, maybe possibly. Demons. Oh, or yes, no, Demon. it was Demon. Demon's. Demon's I, think I, I think I refed it. <laughs> okay. All right. It was a great match. Yeah. But of course, with Orcas as well, we got uh, Chris Lung, who I would probably would say is their star player, but obviously Ben and Martin and Yong, um, you know, no staff, just they're amazing players as well. So. Very solid club, newly yeah. formed this year. That's right. Already having a um, yeah, very Orcas, impressive uh, run. Yeah, Orcas taking uh, Australia by storm, eh? taking all the new talent and developing them. We'll see um, if they expand into a New South Wales. Yeah, I've heard rumblings, I've heard rumblings. <laughs> but, you know, that, that can only be good for the game. Are so there any fine. clubs in Australia that have covered 
Victoria, South Australia, and New South Wales? I think it will be Orcas. Yeah, I think it will I be Orcas. So. Are they Orcas so. have a South Australia team, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're currently They're coming SA to New South Wales, Vic. all right. Uh, we, I, I gotta stop them. I gotta stop them from dominating every uh, every league, but we'll see. You show them who's boss, mate. To. You I show them who's to. boss. Um, also, I g I'd like to give special to Seth Trung, who's in my team. And also, uh, special shout out to Polar Bears who uh, played in API. Oh, look at that celebration. <laughs> what is that? Like orcas diving into the an, swimming pool? I think it's pool. an orca diving. Uh, yep. I, I don't know if I uh, like that that much, but that's OK. They're, they're not my team. So, Isaac Young. Oh, OK. So orcas won the coin toss, and what did they decide? To get them to do the rush? OK. Aces will start yeah. with advantage. So aces will start with advantage. Orcas will do the counter rush. So this opening rush will be important to see, uh, I'd like to see who, who has the speed advantage here, because I think that would be important. But you can already see the setup of the Orcas ball. So it looks like they're going to do a defensive rush. Looks like they've so they've already, yeah. yeah, they've already considered the rush. So Aces could potentially be taking the 6v5 advantage in most of the game. So let's see how their opening rusher handles this. And away we go in a few seconds. Oh, Will Newman actually refing. That's cool. Oh, but Aces uh, don't, throw don't take advantage of that. I, I don't think that's a good idea. I think they should capitalize on that, but we'll see if they, they know what they're doing. Let's see. Yeah. For the next set. Oh, it's a, oh beautiful Oofed. shot there. One in see there by Matthew, I think his name is. That, that is a beautiful shot. Uh, ben takes a shot, but Aces being in Malaysia, I mean, they're, they're going to be very good dodgers, so I think Orcas will know that. They'll and be might hard have to get out with a single ball, yeah. Yeah, they might have to implement a few fakes and stuff as well. Oh, beautiful shot by Ben there. Lovely, lovely. Beautiful headshot. Wins that and, win battle handily. And he, yeah, and Orca's now looking to be aggressive here. But yeah, they're, they're definitely faking, which is great. Um, Chris Long with the shot. We know that Chris, he, he really likes to take that cross shot in. Um, His quick release LFC, is yeah. difficult to handle. So really, the right wing needs to be... Uh, the right wing on the... Aces need to be really wary of that because otherwise Chris will take him out really easily. Nice block there from Isaac. Up he comes. Chris! Oh, Chris Ooh. Long, look at that speed. CVK Long yeah. is his Instagram handle for anyone. All right. Keen to, to, to uh, check will, out his posts. I will follow him once I get Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> In 20 years, when it's not a thing anymore. Yeah, good call, good call. Um, and here we go, Aces with the throw. Nice is there a nice block. Oh, yes. Isaac! What a catch by Isaac. But he I got hit he as well. The he ball got hit as well. Catch it out. Uh, beautiful Huge. shot by number five there. It's a strong start from the Yorkers. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. 5v2. Does a right uh, left split but misses. Staggered it high. nicely oh. but yeah. Well dodged. Chris. That action. Beautiful arm action. Gets a lot of, generates a lot of velocity, but uh, good dodging there by the uh, Aces girls. Oh, Steph with a beautiful pre-throw, but no, opportunity throw, but nothing comes of it. So there's a little bit of a lull now, but I think Orcas have got this set. Interestingly, Evan and Jack uh, not starting which I would say they are normally the starting players. Yeah, absolutely. So I don't know why either they're under an injury cloud or they're just saving themselves for the end. Yeah, so I, I don't think Aces started with their main lineup, but I'm not sure if that's a tactical decision Always a or not. Always a big part of three-day tournaments is yeah. managing your injuries. Correct. But a 1v3, uh, 1v4 should be pretty easy here for Orcas. But at the moment, not throwing as a team. They're just doing uh, single throws without communicating with each other. That's not a good move. Oof, oh, Ben, almost. I thought that was a hit. But, Must have blocked uh, to the just, side. Yeah, just, uh, just survived it. Steph, good pressure there. This, yeah. uh, this Aces player She's has good. been impressing me all tournament. Oh, okay. She's got a good arm. So I don't think... It's yeah, number two, I don't think Orca should underestimate, but... Look at that! Really oh, Chris! Oh, Chris! With the dive! I thought he was a bit lazy there, but luckily he recovered and caught it. Curse of the um, commentator there, as soon as I talked her up, she got caught. But honestly, yeah, it was but, a great throw. Uh, I, I think 
Oh, and a lovely play there. We're seeing it again yeah, from that, Isaac. That catch there by Isaac. And he got hit as... Oh, yeah, the that second looked like a bounce. Is the first that one? looked like a bounce, but anyway, that's fine. Nice and catch there nice by Chris. But I think, you know, effortless. that being said, I want to point out that I think they were a bit too casual in that one before. It's a double defensive rush. I, yeah, that, that, this doesn't make sense to me. I, I feel like aces are a bit faster, and they need to take advantage of that. Um, the three, putting three balls together is just accepting that you're yeah, probably losing uh, a player, yeah, but then Correct, not. but they're both accepting it at yeah. the same time. I've actually never seen that before. Um, I'm not sure why they're doing this. Oh, good shot there. Ben takes his out. Takes um, him out, Ben. Ben and said, Isaac yeah, brothers, yeah. by the way. Oh, is it? Okay. I didn't know that. There you go. I think Isaac's the better the better young, but, you know, Ooh, Ben's older. There so we go. It's big call. <laughs> Isaac well, up and coming. What, your opinions matter in the video space, <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> my, no, that's, uh, my opinions don't yeah. matter at all, mate. No, they do. They matter to a lot of people. <laughs> um, all right. It's a nice dodge. Yeah. So, again, I'm not 100% sure why the Aces have started up with this lineup. Yeah. Whether they feel really confident or they are keeping the best oh, beautiful shot Whoa, there. there we go they're taking Bye. Chris out which is an important hit for them I'm not sure who was that number 18 Chan what a beautiful shot All right, um, so that drops the firepower <laughs> coming from the Orcas side quite significantly with Chris out yeah so I think it's Isaac's Ooh. time to show that he's a better young eh oh, but, oh and then he does that come on Isaac I'm decent, talking you up pretty decent curve on that throw actually yeah he gets good shape on his balls when he throws yeah, it definitely and number seven with a throw, but misses. Good counter there. She goes for a catch. Good yeah, punish yeah. there by Brittany. Nice work, Britt. Yeah, but Isaac's Isaac out. out. Isaac's gone. So Five aces with the advantage here. It's so almost a the... uh, reverse of the previous set. Aces yeah. with the numbers now. Yeah. Oh! oh what, what a catch, catch. Kelly! Kelly, Kelly! With a catch bringing in the lesser young. And it brings back Ben. Yeah. I don't think that was a deliberate catch, oh, but it was and amazing. Aces are switching. So 4v4 now. Things change quick in the world of dodgeball, yeah. don't they? But it looks like Aces uh, have analysed this in very well because they're changing up the, they're switching up the wings depending on the matchup. In response, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's interesting. I don't know what they they know about that for them to make that change, but that's fine. Oof, well, it worked. I don't know what happened with that team throw, but yeah, Kelly's still probably riding on the high from that catch. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely think Orcas could be throwing better as a team here. That's yeah. a that's a beautiful split there by Aces. Yeah. Um, Make sure to not yeah. risk getting caught again. Correct, yeah. But the timing of the doubles of the Orcas have been a bit off so far. I agree. Uh, you, you think a bit of nerves or... I mean, are they... I don't think... This API team is obviously not their actual team, right? Yes, I think there's, so, a, few, there's yeah. a few that don't play together week Correct. in, week so out. So I think maybe yeah. that, that makes a difference in terms of their synergy, in good terms point. of throwing together. Good point. Uh, 10 second shoe tie. That's a good tactical Strong. move. Strong. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That will, imagine if that's the winner <laughs> of the game, eh? We'll keep an that eye on that. 10 seconds. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, ben Ben uh, does really good fakes, actually. Um, yeah. But I think, yeah, the Aces players uh, seems to be quite good at dodging. So, But, you know, fake, obviously very instrumental in stopping dodges. Oh, good. Oh, good Kelly. Baby, oh, Kelly uh, hit. Okay, it's a trade. Oh, and a... Ooh, was that close? Very opportunistic yeah. from Ben there. Yeah. Not a bad move. He wasn't paying attention. Correct. All right. So Orcas with a one-player disadvantage and loses nice. another one. Ben Young with a beautiful shot. Nice hit Completely there Completely destroying yes, number 14. Two v one for Ben. We got ourselves a if set. If Ben wins this, will you say he's the better Young or not? Or <laughs> does he have a long way to go? All right. No, if, he wins, if, he wins this, if he wins this, I'll say he's the better Young. Right. For who's, now. who's the older one? Ben, He's the older one? Okay. Yeah. All, right. All right, Ben, you got a lot riding on this uh, 1v2. <laughs> oh, that's a, not a bad throw, but yep. good dodging there by uh, the Aces player. Number I nine? I can't see the number. Like, yeah, I know. So far away. Doesn't matter. I'm sure they're all good. When they when they switch sides at halftime, we'll be able to yeah, see. Oh, was we'll that a 12? I think it was 12. Number 12. Uh, Tam. Tam. Number 10. Okay, let's see if Aces... Oh, oh. what a cross shot! Take that, Ben. Now, Isaac, is, that, Isaac remains supreme. Yeah, Isaac's better. Ben, you're not that good. You should sell that. <laughs> um, so I think that shot, even though that's a really good shot there, oh, yes. if you watch, Tam's fake is the one that took Ben's attention away. Yep. So that, that timing yep. of the fake. So I think at the moment, the Aces seem to be in the advantage with the synergy. So mm -hmm. they must be a team mm -hmm. that played together. Because it's that fake that brought, 
went through uh, Ben's block. One draws so. the attention, but the yeah. other makes So I think Tam hay. should get the credit there, really. Yep. yep. All you had to do was be on target. So, well done, Tam. That's a good pick up. All right, so Orchids with four balls here. What are they going to do? Oh, they just throw one here. Gets blocked. Young with a throw, but yeah, good block. Still the same lineups for Aces, although Harry looks like he's ready to warm up. So Harry, world's MVP, going to jump in. Oh, That's a nice hit from Ben. Shot by, beautiful shot by both ben and wingers. Chris, both, okay, Chris yeah. traded, it looks Chris like. Chris traded, and Ben hit his winger. So that was a 2v1 trade, yeah, which is good. It's good for the Orcas there. So it's 5v4? Yes. Yeah, 5v4. One, and they have five balls, so they could take advantage of oh, this. Ben and they do! Is. Beautiful shot by Isaac <laughs> and Ben. Okay, here we go. So Orcas now. They've kept two. They've got. Yeah, working with a bit more hits. synergy. Oh, oh Ben! Oh, that throw was so nice. Not paying attention there. That number, swung in as well. That was number, nasty. I'm not sure, but yeah, she wasn't paying attention. And a beautiful. Beautiful curving fastball, huh? Ben Young. Yep. Oh, there you go. It's, uh, it's perfect for that left to right shot, actually. But yeah, Isaac needs to fake, just like how Tam faked for correct. the other player. Needs but to draw let's the see, let's see that sink. Oh, Ooh, Isaac and Isaac with, with a slider, but it's a bit slow, so Deciding not getting to not the block. Deciding not to go for any catches in the back there, probably yeah. a wise decision. Those balls are coming quick. I mean, they could just throw a double and finish her now. Uh, but yeah. I, I don't know. Now they definitely yeah, should throw a double. Throw Maybe oh, she throws an extra one. Uh, she's going to okay, get a triple now. Now they're going to get a triple? Quadruple. I'd, I'd throw four. I, I think they should use this opportunity to work on their sink. Let's see yeah. if they can throw together or they're going to throw four different balls <laughs> in different timings. Oh, she does a sink. Now they have all six balls. Hey, that must have been a deliberate decision. Yeah. Um, I don't, maybe she I don't just really wants to finish the set. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. Just Unless go, she gets for a a cat. go for a catch. Wow. She dodged about four, but yeah, got hit by the fifth. They threw. Do they throw every ball? Yeah, yeah they throw all the balls. That's actually not a bad tactic, actually. People tend to be a bit more... Uh, Timid with their ball throwing and yeah, just send them all. Yeah. I mean, they had, they had six, right? So they only yeah. threw four. And they also have yeah. five players. Yeah. Okay, let's. Uh, oh, they had five, you're right. That opportunity yeah, shot by that, Ben Yong, beautiful. That was a lovely throw. Very, very good. Watching Another the rush. Ball, watching uh, the player not paying attention. Yeah, they threw five. Hey, did we get a throw off the rush there? Oh, I don't know. Harry clutching his arm. Oh, Harry's here. <laughs> oh, Harry goes for the catch straight away. <laughs> Taken out by Chris Long. So yeah, as we're talking about Chris Long. Loves to cross into the middle, so the, these middle and right-sided players need to be really aware of that. Otherwise, Chris is gonna eat him for breakfast. Oh, but a good pre throw! Oh, oh my God! Oh, what a catch! He gets hit and gets caught by Chris. But I think Chris was already dead, so that catch yeah, shouldn't yeah. count. Yep. Um, although I don't know how high the ball was. I don't, I don't know if Chris should have thrown that, but all good. It didn't and come to nothing. Yeah, we've reset. It would have been interesting if Chris hit him. But I think he would have been safe. Yeah, agree, agree. Um, so even N notorious for that, Chris taking the shot after <laughs> yeah, his he wing. Is yeah, actually. he's got such a quick I've, release I've that you don't, you don't expect it. Got a few it. from him like that. Um, <laughs> nice dodge there from Brett. Oh yes, oh, and another one Again, from Ben. Ben Young seems to be really taking advantage of these players not paying attention and just taking them with this shot. He's um, he's great ma awareness. managing to make it look easy, but it is yeah. very hard to do against right. players. Yeah, like especially these top tier players. Malaysian players that are so aware of everything around them and are so quick 100%, 100%, to react. 100%, 100%, yeah, I agree with you. And impressive. look at that dodge. So Ben really stepping up here. Um, must have taken that comment by Devrim to heart. He must have heard me, yeah. Um, <laughs> is that how you motivate your players, 100% it is, 100% it is. I think that's a very uh, Nothing motivates like spite. <laughs> oh, but great shot there to Isaac. Yeah, that was nicely done there yeah. from what and, number? Uh, and now it's even again. Even, but Ben Yong still there in form at the moment. Oh, good fake. Nice shot by Seth. Kelly. Taking the wing position. Is there that's an, oh, that's not Kelly, sorry. Interesting. <coughs> All right, so Malaysia aces Malaysia with four with balls. Four. What are they going to do with this? Oh, Steph with good pressure, but gets yeah. taken out. She, did she have a ball? Yeah, she did. She had a ball, but... Um, yeah, she, she likes oh, to yeah, put that pressure, that but obviously you have you need to have strong defense. Two big hit. There. I was about to question why he hit, held two balls himself. And it, oh, ben, oh, Ben again! Ben again! Ben, that's his the third sniper. time he's done that. Third the time he's done that. Sniper. Shots on people not paying attention, and they still don't learn their lesson. Fool me one, shame on me. Fool me that's twice, shame on me. Fool me three times. Ben's shame on everyone involved. Shame on everyone. That's Except crazy. Ben, because he's doing the right yeah. thing. Yeah. So Ben uh, could carry this set here. Oh, and taken out. So Ben one. in a 1v 
One victory against the Aces ladies. This will be interesting. Oh, another oh, he goes for it another again. Another one not paying attention. If Ben was on target, she would have hit him. He would have hit him. Hit her. <laughs> Fire out. Are we playing men's Four or women's? Ball. How many balls we got? Four balls for Ben now. Oh, God. Cra so I think, yeah, ben, Ben's got a fairly good defense, so the ladies need to throw with teamwork. They got big arms, though. They do have big arms, yeah. So I think, again, like, you know, like how no, Tam yeah. faked Ben and then somebody else threw at Ben. Oh, oh, is this going to be a catch? No! I think that was a hit. I think she got that, hit yeah. before he got caught. Good luck, but refs. what will the def ref say? I, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully we can get a replay of that later, depending on the ref's decision. But I think that was not a catch. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So... I, I thought so it was ben a catch. Oh, that, that is a split second, but obviously the ref said it's Honestly, a catch, so it doesn't refs, even matter. Honestly, whatever but the refs call yeah, that, was, I, I that actually, was basically at the exact I, same time. I would have called that Look a catch. This. No, yeah, no, I don't know, no. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, this one, I think, yeah, 50-50, coin toss. With the benefit of replay, probably yeah. no catch. But I don't know. I think we need a super, an, super slow-mo for that. That's an actual dead Look heat. At, look at, oh, here we go. Harry's like, no, we're not going to do a passive rush, but he didn't Doesn't throw anyway. throw. This is the most... Oh, oh, did, oh. I, did he hit oh. Isaac? No, it must have bounced. That yeah. was the most bizarre rush I've ever seen. He just yeah. stood there, <laughs> and then he threw at someone and else, he and then he got and taken he got out punished, himself. Yeah. He's getting told off now. Yep. So Harry... Uh, <laughs> he's hurt his arm. I think he's hurt his arm. Harry's come into the game but hasn't been really effective at all. Chris takes a trade but gets punished by one of the ladies. Chris also being dealt with quite effectively yeah, by so, Aces. So Chris is always very aggressive. Um, I don't think he has another gear. I think he just plays out that full gear every time. He's which left is, uh, Ben to be the workhorse, really, yeah, but it's working. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, yeah, Chris's style is super effective, but obviously has its setbacks if he get, he's uh, getting punished uh, or not on... His I defense is not on point. Oh! Ben nice, again. That's good. Yeah. I was Definitely just going to say the worry. At the moment, Ben is carrying the game. The worry for me for Ben was that he's he was getting opportuni opportunistic cheap outs, but that one wasn't opportunistic. That was just yeah. a good throw. Agreed. Because you can't rely on the cheap outs forever. Correct. They will dry up. That is correct. But uh, yeah, that was definitely not a cheap out. That was a beautiful shot. Yeah, that was a great throw. Um, so Ben, yeah, like his cur his ball's curving from the left to the right, so he needs to throw a bit bit to the left side of the player so he yep. can curve into them. Swings but, in nicely. Uh, yeah. It almost I'm feels sure like aces that, may need to change their there priority we go. That's list. That. Yeah, they that's need to exactly take, the line he needs to shoot. They need to take Ben yeah, out earlier exactly that and let Chris, you know, hopefully yeah. start missing from their perspective. Oh, Kelly! Kelly she had one catch, catch, she wanted a second. But I think that's okay. I think they're going to comfortably win the set. Yeah, still, introduction of Harry well uh, hasn't been effective for the yeah. Aces. They need to bring someone uh, else on. Yeah, but... Oh, oh! My goodness! I like this got caught! And now I say that, Harry's Ooh. back in. Well, here we go. Do you think Harry will get out straight away? And then I, I'll be proven I right? Think, I think Harry's injured. But he's still got a decent throw. <laughs> Turns out he's not letting that stop him. Yeah. I'm surprised Zach and Jack and Evan haven't come in. Um, Joel as well. And Joel, yeah. Joel's got a good throw. Ben, oh, ooh, okay. Now, they've ooh. tried the charge. Now, they did that a little bit against the Demons in their semi. Yes. I th I Once think, to great effect, they just ran think, up and said, I'm I taking a shot, I don't care. I think the, their girl style is to do those charging kamikaze plays. Oh! Ben, that nice like defense. A, yeah, that looked like a bounce, so that was fine. I think he blocked it into the ground, yeah. yeah. Harry's actually got a similar curve to Ben, I think, but I think Ben's... Takes a shot. Ben's th you, see, you see that curve? Yeah, it's yeah, the exact yeah, same yeah, curve. Yeah, right, it's swinging up late. Um, the fishtail, I, I call that. I think uh, Ben's one swings a bit more, but Harry's mine might be faster. Harry with the wrist! Harry got Ben, and trade? Ben's went, what, Ben's went through his legs. It oh, wasn't a trade. That went goodness. through Harry's legs. I don't know if that was the right move by Ben there, but... You know, he's done very well He's so been far. hitting all day, I suppose. Yeah. He, he but backed, Harry, backed himself. I and to be honest, yeah. was a bit unlucky not to get the hit as well. Yeah. Bring so, up. So I say that now, but Harry might be about to win this set. But Brittany McIntyre, I, I've heard Gigi say that uh, she's pretty Australian good. Australian rep uh, this Australian year. Australian rep? For, oh. mix, for the mixed team, oh her my debut. Goodness. Bronze medalist. There we go. So bronze medalist Worlds versus the MVP Worlds. Let's see how we go. There we go. But, you know, if, if what Devrim says is right, which is often true, if he's <laughs> under an injury cloud... Maybe he's pulling a Djokovic. <laughs> oh, and Harry, oh, is he going to give a catch? That, that didn't bounce, yeah, did so he? Harry, yeah, no, was, okay. Even he's, though he wasn't effective, uh, he's two got minutes caught on in the clock. and uh, won a 2v1. He was, so. he was... Again, again, it was the spite. He heard you say he wasn't doing anything, and he said, I'll show those commentators. So that's a reverse commentator's curse. <laughs> My goodness. I didn't realize how blessing. powerful these commentators' things are. 
That was oh, oh that was what a such shot a good throw from Ben. Yeah, that, that timing, was just throwing after he jumps, so he has nowhere to go. Oh, oh look at the catch. Yeah, I mean, I, I reckon they should have thrown a double there. Ace is finally throwing off the rush, but <laughs> it's not hitting. <laughs> I didn't hit anyone. I didn't. I I just missed it actually. I was looking at you. Um, all right, so still, yeah, same lineup. I think they're looking to take out Harry here. Um, oh, and they lost all six balls. Bit Time of miscommunication. Out. Everyone in a medal match so at an international like, uh, tournament. Looks like Isaac's like, what's going on, guys? But Who then everyone the told call? him that it's his fault. Now, so what, you know like, what the Orcas are doing really well here? No one's blaming each other. They haven't had a they haven't had a meltdown. They're That's just getting true. on with it, right? Oh, beautiful dodging by Chris here, hiding behind his girls. That's a very Typical good sign Sam for them Lama as a move. club, I reckon. Only Sam <laughs> <Lama> <laughs> <move>. <laughs> he's, he's something. He's learned something from me. Oh, and a beautiful Damn. shot there. You see what I mean, Again, right? What Thomas was Isaac, Isaac doing? Thomas Isaac Thomas had the Isaac shot. Play. And Isaac yeah, didn't punish. Isaac needed that. to defend his brother there. Yeah. He obviously wants some stats for himself. Yeah. But I think, yeah. I think Orc should be aware that... Hari taken um, out. Looks like we're frozen. Yeah, we'll pick you up without our lovely dulcet tones of... That's uh, no, really So I think, yeah, Orcas need to be aware. Oh, they should definitely be aware that the Malaysian girls are just going to go up and kamikaze and take out the trades. But there's still... Here's another one. Uh, Chris, Chris gets out. Here's yeah, good. One. Well done yeah. there. From, oh, I thought that hit. Yeah, but they're still getting caught off guard. So Aces have left Chris in here and prioritised Ben. Like we said, they yeah. may look to do. Yeah. It is now on Chris to, de to oh. get some damage. Oh, Isaac caught out. Oh, time. Oh. Half time. Wow, this game has been Sudden so death. tight that it uh, didn't even feel like 20 minutes. Yeah, it's been Man. good. It's been a great it's match a very so interesting far. game. A and again, I'm saying that I don't think Aces have put their top lineup yet, and I'm still surprised about that. More to come. Yeah. What, are, what is happening here? Are Aces that confident, or is it Sudden just a surprise? Here. No blocking. Oh, good, Isaac good immediately taken out. Chris. Now Chris needs to dodge here like a beast. Now, Chris... His hand-eye coordination is outrageously it's good. He is. But he, again, showing the two, did, well, did a he little bit too much aggression. Oh, he, he survived that. Yeah, I no, it was he oh, 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 what? No, what? it was not a catch. It bounced. What? It yes, the referee all over it. Nice yeah. try. Matthew trying to nice try to catch try. when it bounced. Who's that, number seven? Good call there by Connor, Very the coach. cheeky. Connor was all oh, over yeah. it. Sito. Sito tries. A cheeky yeah. little, yeah, to catch. Okay, here we go. Chris still got a ball. Oh, and it's a trade. And a trade. Aces take it. 4-2 half-time aces in the and lead. And Chan with a beautiful shot. Um, that is a hell of a first half. So 3-2 in the first half. Um, I feel like but I feel like aces should be taking advantage of this rush. But they're not. But they're still coming out on top. Yeah, but it's very I, tight. I, I am very... Um, yeah, I don't this is understand. a baffling opening rush. I don't understand what's happening with the rush. Yeah. These guys, oh, are, we're these the, guys are talented. We're seeing the, uh, the hit catch. Oh, here we go. Here's a catch. Oh, Connor blocks it. We Connor, can't get see it out of the way. But Connor saw it. He so, had yeah, a full view it. of it. Oh, full okay. view That's of it. That's all right. Um, so I would... I think oh, we're getting here, another replay. Here we go. Angle. Here we go. Chris Long with a beautiful shot. It hit. hits him, bounces on the floor, and bounces up, and he claims a catch. I oh, think he should know that it wasn't a catch. It definitely touches the ground before he has control. Yeah. Yep. Well done, Connor. But definitely, yeah, somebody should do something about this rush. I've been told in no uncertain terms that I made several mistakes refing yesterday in <laughs> situations like that. <laughs> I find the best thing to do when someone sends me the video hey. is to write back to them, I got it wrong on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very tight. Anyone's in it. I think Ben Yong definitely stepping up here. Um, I think Chris is doing well, but I think <coughs> his, his extreme aggression is sort of... Uh, causing him to die after yep. one or two hits. I he's, suppose we would like him to stay a bit hitting longer. He's not yeah. as much as he probably yeah. would like and look, as well. They still don't have their main lineup. So Ace is yeah, fairly confident with this lineup. But yeah. I mean, it's working. They, they need to, yeah, they need to change this. Very, Orcas need very to change this. Somebody needs to change set. this rush. Very important first set. If, if um, Aces take oh this, they'll goodness. be in a very... Oh, here we go. Here they we made go. that adjustment, like we said. Well done. Oh, she survived that? That's insane. <laughs> must, have, must have gone straight into the ball. That, that is insane. But yeah, I, I, so Aces obviously made that adjustment, so I think that's a smart move by them. Well, they're getting a free but shot. Chris, with that well. cost shot, again, Jeez, that was again a massive I think hit. the left wing from Aces really needs to be aware of that and punish that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, that was Zen I've been Lee saying this all day there. that Chris is going to do that all the time. 
Hari, Hari takes the shot. Oh, Hari takes out Ben. Oh. Big hit. And Isaac. And Isaac. Isaac taken oh. out by Sito. Oh, here we go, that kamikaze play, but this time doesn't work out. Chris with a bit of a shot, but he gets caught by Curry. What a catch. Wow. What a catch. Unlucky there by Chris Long. He did have a good timing because he threw, he faked, he jumped and tried to get him, but it was just uh, right in the catch spot. Orca's girls here with five balls. Five what balls. they, they do need with to make this? something happen oh. here. Oh, Hari survives. No, not Hari, sorry. Sito survives. All right, so... Hari rudely takes the ball off him. Yeah, this is quite a crucial set here. I think if Aces take this, then... Oh, that, nice, look at that curve. Nice hit from Hari. Yeah, All right, Hari, I get quite, it. You're not injured. Jesus, calm yeah. down. It's quite <laughs> hard to block, I think. I think you yeah. need to do lateral movement to survive that. Yep, yep. Um, Steph with a good throw, but... The Nicely other thing with the Malaysian players it. is they love to go really low. Tam, um, no, no chance of hitting yeah. him. Unfortunately, I don't think Steph can throw low, so this might not work out well for Steph. But oh, Harry, just Harry. unblockable at the moment. Bang! Oh, and, and Steph gets hit. in the head. Cedo, I believe. Yeah. So five two up. Well, uh, should Orca take a timeout here? This is danger zone for the. I Orcas. don't think they've taken a timeout at all, which. Uh, I they didn't take a timeout in the first half, so... I, I mean, yeah. they don't, they're not lacking for composure. Sometimes you need a timeout just to get composed. Yeah, if, that's true. If, they, if there is something that Chris wants to change, he needs to call it. But if, yeah. you know, if he's still figuring out... I would, then, say, I would say if they lose this one more set, they that, probably will. The problem oh, yeah. if they lose this set is a four-set deficit. Um, is, is aces can two? slow the game down. It's 5-2, it's not 4-2. So they're, it's 5-2, but if, if they lose this, it'll be 6-2. 6 two, yeah. That's a long way back against a team that's very strong defensively right. and can and, slow and things down. And you know down. that the Malaysians, uh, if they're up by that much, they will slow game down yep. as well. Yeah, so. they're very good at controlling the pace. Yeah. Correct. As so. we've found at multiple worlds to our detriment. It's <laughs> a, a lovely right. throw Harry, there. at the moment, since I made that comment, has been <laughs> <I know>. unstoppable. <laughs> unstoppable. You know, he definitely, right now, is the MVP of this game, unless Ben Yong steps up. I think it's between agreed, Ben and agreed, Harry. Agreed, agreed. Um, oh, Harry misses everything. Oh, ben! Oh, ben, nice Oof, throw. It, Good dodgy. It almost looked like oh, it with the first oh, Harry oh, catches, it. catches Chris! Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay, Harry's MVP so far. Yeah, Chris. Okay, Ben, what are you going to do here? No, nope, you're going to. Oh! Bounced. Uh, that, oh Harry, Harry goes for glory again! A little bit of greediness there, but. This good, time good doesn't pay off. There. That's like the female Chris shot. It's the same shot. He caught Chris, um, but he didn't do it the second time. Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, Steph. Steph gets taken out. I was just going to say Chris maybe should be throwing straight down the line yeah. instead of going for the crosses. But, but um, he just can't help it. He the just cross can't help it. So. He, loves, time, yeah, so. he loves that shot. Just, I think he shoots that shot like 70% of the time. Oh, it's a big cheer from the... Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Sito. In comes and Hari. Now, Hari picked the ball up and then entered the court. Technically, oh. technically, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to do that? Okay, there you go. But the refs didn't pick it up. No, I don't think it's particularly important. Yeah. That's true. I just like pointing out pernickety things because it's fun. Brit, nice hit. There. And another, oh, another catch. catch. You have three catches uh, this set. Yeah. Aces have gotten uh, four or five catches, while Orcas were just the one. So I think that's that's a bit of a game changer. Oh, what a shot. And there's the hit. Beautiful Number 12 play. from Team yeah. Aces. So I think Kelly Tam. now... She has got a huge arm. She's now impressed with the tournament. Well, like, I can see that bench is like, oh, you guys go ahead. You guys are doing good. So this might be the Aces lineup. But look, when you when you lose a set like that, where it's just they take three or four catches, you can't. Yeah. There's you can't you really do change that. anything in response yeah, there's to nothing that. Nothing you right? do about that. Uh, I agree. If it becomes a thing, maybe you say we're only going to double people. Yeah, but, but at least at least the Aces have changed their rush, but yes. they're still not hitting anyone because <laughs> <No. laughs> they're hitting the wrong targets. <laughs> maybe they were right all along. <laughs> Um, all right, so Orcas with four. I think if Orcas lose this set, I think it's going to be pretty hard for them to come back. Nice double. That's a lovely block. Uh, but yeah, Good definitely awareness. a block. Curry, block number 12. Steph Curry? No. Even though my sheet else. says Tam is number 12. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies if I've got anything wrong. No, we'll just call him Steph hey, Curry. Ben, I think take it out by Hari. Hari, unblockable. Hari winning this the uh, MVP battle yeah. handily now. Yeah. Oh, there's two number 12s, that's and why. I, I felt that when I versed him in the quarterfinals in prime, like his curve was very unblockable. Chris can't block it. Um, if Chris yeah. can't block it, it's not blockable. Yeah. It's not blockable. So Two throws, two hits, two big hits to Ben and Chris, yeah. the main yeah. firepower. So I think if they want to stop Hari, you have to dodge. But Isaac with, gets a hit. But with Unlucky Hari there. catching as well, like, um, what can you do? Cito. Just clipped his hair, I think. And it is an excellent haircut too. 
Almost as good as yours. <laughs> um, all right, is Harry gonna try again? No, it's Curry. But yeah, Orcas kind of uh, look like they don't, don't know exactly what to do here. It's it's tough, yeah. 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 They kind Play, of when you're playing yeah. your game, but you're losing. Yeah. Yeah. The, so the in, the subbing in of Harry was actually yeah. Has big, big completely impact. changed the big momentum, impact. but I think you know it was it wasn't Oof. just that like they were taking care of Harry, but that catch yes. where it yes. shouldn't you know that should have been the Orca set. That catch changed everything. Changed a lot. One Switched thing, the momentum, you know, yep. one mo one moment in the game changed Harry! everything. Beautiful shot there Taken by Isaac, out. mixed with nice split, split with split. Steph. Well timed, perfect uh, stagger timing. Man. Yeah. And I think you know that's one of the things the Orcas are missing with this, sort of this mm -hmm. team because it's not their normal team is uh, Aces have a much better timing. Curry, bang! Much better timing. That was Hari-esque. <laughs> Hari, but he had the help of the second throw. But yes. Hari can do it with one throw. Hari doesn't want. Oh, what's refs the, what's of, there? Refs have oh, So Jack, uh, the coach, calls a timeout. Timeout here. He's going to say, let's slow down the game and we win, I think. I uh, suspect so. Yeah. Have they stopped the clock yet? Oh, no. Oh, the clock, yeah, the clock's still running in our screen, but they Probably Hopefully should have caught the spot. Um, yeah, so I it think, is that, yeah, a, I think it is quite a material thing in a, a game that could end up close if Orca's yeah. rage a come, um, manager comeback is, yeah. Yes, so, I mean, here comes I think the, I think the only camera. hope that Orcas have is to go crazy, but, and also hit. Because yeah. if they yeah, go they crazy and need... miss, then, yeah, then then they're gonna just throw one ball yep. and, yep. Yep. and waste time. Each set will but take you know, minutes like, that's fine. That's longer. a that's a legit tactic. I, I don't mind that as long as people are throwing not to complete a hit. Yep. I think then that's kind of playing in bad uh, bad faith. The um I agree. Yeah. It's more a bad faith thing than an invalid throw thing. Yeah. It's hard. It is hard. I mean, I was refing yesterday and it was difficult to call because every call, throw yeah. was missing by a little. Yeah. But it was. Becoming obvious that they were trying not to hit him out. By by the time it became obvious, the the player stepped out of court, yeah. um, which is also an option, right. of course. The subjective nature of that invalid throw, right? Like, what what's the I where's think, the line? I think but it I, should. I feel like it should be more stricter, right? Because it it might help. Well, make I think the game if the ref decides it's bad faith, they should just give a team card. Yeah, or or even stricter. But let's see. Oh, Isaac yeah, and that's Steph nice. that's, again, with a double and Curry's out. So two well-timed throws can get anyone out. Can Orcas win this set and make a game? Three v it? three. It's actually seven. Oh no, it's six two. That's all right. Um, uh, you know, six three absolutely comebackable. From. But as you said, the Aces ladies uh, have amazing fast throws. So number twelve. Even with number twelve, Isaac, the left Steph wing is the one that I've been talking up. Number twelve. Okay. Yeah. Isaac with a cross shot, but no punish. So. As you can see, you know they're more than happy to let the clock run here. Yeah, well, time um, is their friend so and unless, ally. Yeah, unless uh, Orcas are 100% accurate here. Oh, oh, that is an absolutely oh, magnificent oh, throw. At least, at least uh, Isaac gets the punish. Turns it into a one for one, but that throw was beautiful. Just a yeah. toe-seeking missile. Although, I mean, Britnik probably could have done a better effort to dodge that. To the dodge, still. yeah. So I don't, don't think she expected it to swing in. Yeah, 100%. Which is fair enough. Oh, Ooh. Steph with a nice dodge. Isaac takes it. Nice shot. Isaac now. Here we go. Here we Two go, on Isaac. one. All right. So they need to finish this set quick if they want a chance to come back here. Six three. Um, if they win it, they'll need three sets. Now yeah. you get the sudden death set almost at no time cost. So will two they throw sets. a double or will there be another silly so catch? So two sets in 11 minutes if they win this, yeah. and then and double. then they need the sudden yeah, death. Double. Oh, nice move. Gets the hit. That, that was the right move there to do a double. I think that this uh, is very, they, they don't need to rush at all. They're yeah. fine here. They learned if, from their lesson because last time yeah. they threw a single when they had four correct, balls. Correct. Got a catch. This time they threw a double, got a hit. The, the doubles are connecting. Yeah. Especially when they stagger them properly. Yeah. So I think this is a good time. Oh, Chris is subbing out, is he? Have we put. That's interesting. Who's I coming think maybe on? Chris Marty. Not, Chris not feeling like he's playing well today, so he's subbing himself off. I, I, I think changing this up is, is a good idea. Yeah. I think that would be really hard on Chris, you know, knowing what a competitor he is. But, yeah. you know, this could oh, be a good move. I think he's I think very good at being objective yeah. there, but he is an yeah. obvious target. And he's if he's yeah. not surviving, he's giving the other team an up yeah. every single set when right. they get him out, right? So. And Marty Badcock here, he, uh, he's got a decent dip. Maybe Known for his, through. yeah, balls doing weird oh, stuff in midair. I think Jack is in now. Jack and Joel. Okay. Here we go, Joel. Joel so and two, Jack, the so boys. So the two dip throws here. So these guys are quite hard to block as well. So hopefully Orcas We've will use a... their lateral movement because I don't think they can block them. Isaac, nice shot. Bang. Out. 
Beautiful. I think maybe Ben's pressure also... Number uh, one, Matthew. Yeah. Very annoyed at his fellow wings there for not covering him. Yeah. Joel but I think Ben's pressure luck. also took away his attention. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I like that shot by Ben. No, that um, was, uh, that was because wayward. His, his, him crossing that way actually doesn't help his throw uh, because of the curve. His curve is in the opposite way. So They had advantage anyway, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Isaac staying alive nicely. I reckon now, Ben Joel, should just go straight. Joel looked injured yesterday, but I, I asked him and he said it was just a cramp. Okay. So I think okay. he's back at full. He gets really low, so he's really That's annoying very, to hit. Very um, well dodged. I mean, they better, they better double him because he might not get out otherwise. Oh. Joel wearing his own so type the guys of jersey with the two here. Balls, yeah. <laughs> so I think it looks like this might be the tactical move where they're getting Joel's survivability. Yeah, just going full defense. To, yeah, to going full defense. So not a bad Again, move. Jack Orcas, is the same. The Jack Orcas is, can win four-minute sets and be fine. Yeah. So yeah. they don't need to rush too much. Yeah. But, but you can already see Aces are playing way slower. Yes. Uh, and, and they're giving the ball to and, that and defensive yeah. player here. So Orcas need to... If Orcas just... Do this one v one for one, one for one. This is never going to work. Is Joel even really trying to hit? No, I, I suppose. Yeah, he would be. there we go. I suppose. So he refs would be. might need to think about well, this. I mean, it actually. doesn't make sense for him not to in this situation. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, this is what yeah. we were saying. The the teams, especially um, from Malaysia, are so good at controlling the pace of the game. Yep. Very often you see, you see a team that's one speed. Um, yep. Every Malay, every top tier Malaysian team I've seen has been yeah. able to choose what speed they want to play and play it well. Yeah. But look. What Orcas are doing right now, I don't think this is the right move. I think they're just playing into the hands. Although that's a good shot. They, I mean, when it's like this, what I would do is clear out the middle who don't have yeah. balls. Yeah. And then, yeah. and then take some risks then potentially some risk, and yeah. double some wings or something. Double yeah. someone with double a ball. Someone. Yep. So that, that shot yeah. by Marty was good. Ooh, almost dip. Those dips um, are so nasty. But yeah, if that, yeah, this is perfect Aces time control thing that Devrin's talking about. So now the dodgeball gets boring, so our commentary <laughs> needs to get better. Okay, good so call. So we need to good talk call, about call. other stuff. What else, what else can we say here? I think it's first of all, a big shout out to Arn yeah. for, for running Arne. all of this oh. stuff. This is like a, you know, a professional grade setup. You know it's a good tournament when even dodgeball memes has to make a post about how they can't find anything to make meme uh -huh. memes about because oh, the really? tournament's so well run. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> congratulations, Zany. This has been amazing. There we go, yeah. Connor, Shout Lauren, Zane, Rob, Zane everyone. Sports. I'm sure I'm missing lots of people that have been instrumental, but yeah. incredible. This tournament incredible. gets, yeah, gets better and better every year. Competition gets better and better every year. Yeah. So this, yeah, this tactic is. Uh, yeah, they're playing. They are playing directly. Yeah, I would be so frustrated if hands. I was Orcas right now. They're playing um, into their hands. And, and yeah. it's annoying because, like, even if they go aggressive or double, then they'll get six balls, uh, and then the game will be even that? slower. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I, I, know, I think that was a bounce. Himself. I think that was a bounce. Fair enough. But look how low they get. He like, needs look to just how take that get. shot, right? Somebody yeah. needs to do a dip shot so that they can dip him into the back because otherwise, that's a nice shot there, oh, Isaac. A great shag. Did you see that shagger plucked it out of the air one-handed? Oh, really? Shagger MVP. Oh, I didn't, didn't see that. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, but I mean, they're not going to. They're, they're not winning this set quickly enough. They're not winning unless, this set quickly enough. Unless they take some risks. Correct. And I haven't seen them take any risks. They yet. haven't. Yeah, they they need to do a double rush. They need to do a double. I know you lose balls, but yeah, otherwise you're yeah. just giving them the game away. But no, no change. That, like that's not 99% yeah. of the time. Jack's dodging that or blocking right. that. Like it's just. Yeah. But the other thing I'd say is for the August boys is you, they you know they're going basically flat on the floor. Yep. But but they're still throwing a bit too high. So I think, yep. you know, I, you guys are, you know, Australian to world level players. You need to be able to adjust your throw so you can throw a bit lower yep. because you're just going over the top. You're always yeah. going I over mean, the top. Isaac, yeah. See, they finally threw two, which I like, yeah. but it's exactly what you said. Yeah. Isaac made the same throw he's been making all day. Yeah. And, and Jack, uh, Joel, Joel, sorry, is basically two dimensional yeah. when he dodges. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. The real commodity they got optimized with is time. Uh, you know, they they're not really risking getting hit yeah. when they give them when they give yeah. them five, but they are they are giving up twenty seconds. Hundred so. percent. Yeah. And aces, yeah, don't they don't look like interested in hitting any of the orcas players to be honest. Yeah, and why would you be if they're not even going to be able to hit you? 
It's reaching the Every point, single yeah. ball is way too high. And I, and I know that's actually being really harsh because it's really hard to <laughs> do that. It's very difficult, but, I agree. You yeah, know, but, I mean, you if know, you want to win. Like, I would I'd say, expect to see them missing in yeah. by, by grounding it, right? Correct. To, Correct. to show that. Yeah, to, if they were turfing it, it would mean that they're You'd trying to make an adjustment. Trying to adjust, but yeah. it's just way too high. Um, and, you know, if you want to win a tournament at this level, like, you need to be able to have an adjustment pre of your throw. That pre-throw I don't mind either. That's not a bad thing to try. Yeah. Switch the uh, switch the yeah. rhythm up a little. Correct. Because yeah. you can tell that um, aces here are just very yeah. happily Correct. in their groove. Yeah. They could but, do this all day. Yeah. So I think even if I'm even though I'm being what, highly what critical. Did, did Ben hand a ball to? Oh, that's an invalid. Oh, I think um, maybe there was an yeah. Yeah, bad shake or something. Yeah. Even though I'm being highly critical, aces are playing suffocating dodgeball, and it yes. must yes. suck yes. to be there right <laughs> now. But. Um, it's, you know, it's, like, but it's, you know, this is a legit tactic. It's a sucky tactic. It it doesn't. It's not fun to watch, but it's a legit tactic. And you know, you, you, we, you need to be to able to, to yeah, get them out. You need yep. to be able to throw low enough, because I haven't seen any ball connect to yep. the ball. They're right, like, even, at least they, hit the ball. They haven't even had to block. You yeah. got a good enough swing that you could make them finger block, but you're not even hitting them. You're not even close to hitting them. Is this gonna go over? Oh, there, there we go. go. Finally. Finally, you listen to me, Ben. Well done. Beautiful Marty adjustment. With the, see, I reckon, I reckon yeah. a follow-up there would have been good. Yeah. Now, Jack is still going to be very low, so you know Ben needs to make that adjustment. But finally, he does it after five minutes. That's oh, kind yeah. of it's frustrating. Taking, it's taken. Yeah, like it's taking the timing, this is the problem. This is the problem for Orcas, right? Even if yeah. they win this set, they've got to do it all again. they got to do it all over again. Um, they have to double here. Oh, that was hey, so that's okay. So that's okay because they actually connected. Blocked, but they were great throws. Yeah, yep, they were yep. there. They actually connected. If, if so if they've they been did throwing that like earlier, this, yeah. if they've been throwing like this all yeah, set, they would have finished set would be the over. set by now. Yeah, 100%. percent The other thing is maybe they want to take out 12 first and then teamwork on Jack. Oh, that was uh, big. He needed that catch. Yeah. Jack with a yeah very nice dip. You can see the way he holds they, the ball. He does does that 12-6 curve ball. They have adjusted their throws. Pretty finally, speedily, right? Finally. You know, we we were pretty harsh on them. Yeah. It, it only took them five minutes, <laughs> but like that's actually really impressive. Right. Yeah. I don't know if they could have taken a timeout and maybe suggested that, but yeah, oh, they still got a timeout up their sleeves. I think don't they, they do. Yeah, I think yeah. they do. But I think you know, maybe I, I reckon the subbing of Chris to me suggests that maybe they have. Honestly, I would lost. I would I put know. Chris back on now. Yeah, I don't think. But again, you know, Ben's back to throwing a bit too high again. I think, that, exactly I think Chris can make the shots they need. And yeah, Chris if, can definitely shoot low, but obviously... If aces are going defensive, then Chris's Ooh, survivability nice. should not be an issue, right? Nice dip. Yeah. Unless yeah. they just prioritise him out and then go defensive, yeah. which would be which would be tough. But Correct. I'd put him back on. Yeah, but, you know, aces have managed to waste about eight minutes in this set, and that was that, that was what their timeout was about. Oh, mate, they're, Doing they're, exactly this, you know? And that time management... All the frustrating is uh, winning formula. That was an okay throw, but yeah. Yeah, that was yeah somebody a good really needs to dip him in yeah. the back. While he's busy looking directly I at I Ben. I thought Ben did have a dip. Just get someone Maybe to he's not confident enough to use it. It's always, I mean, dips are so hit and miss, right? Unless right now Ben dodges, hit, like runs at him. Yeah, but just charges yeah, him. Yeah, just charges like him. There are things that they could be trying. Yeah, but. I, yeah. I think the problem is the lack of urgency. Yes, yeah. lack of urgency. So I would say, you know, like this, although, yes, Aces were probably going to win, this is a tactical error by Orcas yeah, allowing this to happen. Agree, agree. And not really making too many adjustments. Um, because, you know, I'd rather they, like, go hard, lose more sets with a Absolutely. small chance of winning. Absolutely. As opposed to this way, oh, they, they have zero chance of winning. It's a, yeah. it's a metal match. It's, right. it's all or nothing. Right. You, if right. you have to take outrageous yeah. risks and it's your only chance of winning, it's the right yeah. thing to do. So, I, yeah, that would be my advice to them if they ever end up in this situation is, I think, you know... Double reflect. Yeah, they, yeah, they need to have different tactics for this particular scenario. I've, in, I've um, invented a call. It's called the triple reflect. The triple so reflect? Three balls on three. Right. So, you no, know, no, the normal reflect, whoever uh -huh. throws, you throw back. Okay. It's whoever throws everyone with a ball throws at them. <laughs> well, if you if you make a YouTube video and copyright it, oh, it's true, your true, play. True. It's true. your play. And then, ooh. So now with two minutes to go, now uh, this match Aces is, can this do match whatever is they over. want. This match is over. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I, I think I've said that in the hope that the universe will prove me wrong and give us a really exciting <laughs> ending. But <laughs> yeah. I'm not. Well, I'm not holding I, my breath. Well, as I said in the other game, if Orcas win, I'll eat my shirt. <laughs> and I'll I'll say that to this game too. Yeah, fair. Um, fair. 
This is actually Clyde's shirt, not my shirt. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the uh, Sandringham Square Pants. Yeah. Great club, great club. Yeah. So now Jack more than happy oh, to take more risk because he knows the You see, but at least over. Isaac turfed that one in front of him, right? Yeah. He was he's adjusting, he's trying to adjust. Again, a very, very difficult target to hit. Right. Definitely tried to adjust. I think one the adjustments to go. were just too slow. It's um, um it's yeah. actually really impressive what the uh, aces have done here. Yeah. As soon as they decided to slow it down, they really slowed it down. Yep. Yeah. Very so we're probably going to see a scoreline of 6-4, you know. And it's going to look like, oh, it's it was a pretty close, like a close game, match, but it's but like, it yeah, from about, from about half time, they uh, had no chance. Uh, and what's Jack going to do here? Uh, Bit of argy-bargy, 30 should, seconds to go. He should have lost all six balls. That, that took a lot of time. I don't think the ref was counting. Yeah. Oh, catch! Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Will we see another set, or will they just shake hands as a uh, uh, gesture of sportsmanship? We'll see. Probably doesn't matter, this last set. They they made the previous match play the sudden death, so okay. I think we will see the but sudden death. But the bottom death. line is, I think, you know, Harry Garren's introduction Huge basically impact. changed the game. He yep. was unblockable the whole time, got some clutch catches. They brought it, they are going to play a sudden death. And I think and we saw the... Yeah, the second half, how they controlled the game. I think you picked it, though. Bringing in uh, Joel and uh, and Jack yeah. was, was a... Yeah. They were the defensive team. They yeah. almost did it NFL style, offense, defense. They said, all right, we're up. Let's yeah. bring in the defense. And my God, did the defense do a good job. I think they defensively were more impressive. I know it's more boring to watch, yeah. more impressive than the offense. Cause so, so that suggests to me that I think Aces did their homework as yep. opposed to Orcas. I think they also did do a good prep. Great what catch. a beautiful catch. Um, Chris taken Orcas out. did a good prep, but they just weren't able to make the mid-game adjustments. <laughs> Bit of um, confusion there on whether she yeah. was in or out. <laughs> and I think with the mid-game adjustment, the fact that Chris was off that set didn't help because, you know, Chris would be someone who would dynamically make yes. adjustments in the game. Yes, As opposed yes. to maybe Ben and Isaac and Marty, a bit more inexperienced, not able to make those adjustments oh. and just letting them have the game. Um, that was a bit frustrating to me. Uh, but that being said, you know, Orcas did very well. Easy to say uh, when we're watching, yeah, I suppose. Easy to say yeah. when we're <laughs> Much harder on uh, court. But, but I'm sure if they did that to us, uh, we'd probably do worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe not you. Uh, I definitely would. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you, you just made triple reflect Tri and then you won the set. <laughs> Boom. Triple reflect. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to steal that. I'm, I'm going to make the YouTube video before you and I'll call it. <laughs> You're going to have it, mate. You're going to have it. I've got plenty more calls. You can sue me later. I've got plenty more calls. Anyway, let's call this sudden death, even though this sudden death is a bit of a chill sudden death nobody there's no really there's no real intensity because we know the game's the match over. is over uh, but yeah just, the yeah, score just i think the of, score updated it should be six bunch, four right yeah it is it's updated on the uh the actual score ah uh, yeah cool but yeah this not on the sudden death here, but it not is really six anything four, interesting which means if the orcas wins this it's gonna it's gonna be well, six gonna five, five if they win five, yeah it's gonna like look like a, an incredibly close like final <laughs> The, one of the oh, greatest matches done. in API history, but yes. realistically, it was a smashing just like the old uh, just <laughs> the like previous the match. women's smash. Just a different um, sort of... Uh, correct. Yeah. Different sort of style. Here they go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Showing off their dodging oh, what now. what is this, Isaac? What are you doing? Oh, and he switches oh, his target invalid. last minute. Misses everything. Um, yeah, this, they're just uh, having a bit of fun here. Why not? Kelly! Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Although, why did he try to block it in sudden death? Ryan. I Kelly came to Gorilla's training last Tuesday. I worked on her throw. Boom. Already better. Oh, my goodness. See oh. that? Yes, Kelly. Yes. 6-5. What a tight game. Oh, <laughs> what my a tight goodness. match. Well, at least from, the scoreline will look, the will look better. From the most one game to the most When the Orcas post ever. their results, it'll look a lot better than the previous one, at least. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there oh, there you go. And our final score, 6-5. Yeah. And a really impressive showing from Aces there. Yeah, congratulations, bronze medalist for API 2024. And Orcas should also be proud for coming fourth in such a massive tournament. A phenomenal tournament. They've had great yeah. results across all their teams. Yep, 100%. A pleasure commentating with you, Sam. Thank uh, you for having me. Always. Not a worry at all. So, we'll be. Uh, so, replays coming up. Hell so, yeah, Devrim, right, we'll stick around for that. What's your analysis of these highlights? Not as many highlights as the. Uh, the other game. The, uh, yeah, um, the previous match was a one-sided scoreline, but lots going on. Yeah. Incredible highlight. This game, second half, was probably a bit of a snooze fest. Here's some highlights. This beautiful catch by Isaac. Yeah, that was great. Um, but, I mean, it's a pop-up catch, so not 
a lot of skill involved, but still a good reach. Um, what do we have here? Chris, Chris with an aggressive menacing attack. Menacing up the court. Oh, but he gets punished. Oh, there's this catch that doesn't uh, count. Ah, yes. Um, I now, what is your thought? What yeah. is your thought on that from a ref's perspective? Should that be yellow carded? Uh, I have strong views on this. Yes, yes, yes. So I, I, think, I think the player, if they choose to throw after they've been hit, takes the risk yeah. on whether that ball is dead. I, I and I if agree. they get it wrong, agree, it's, it's I, misconduct. I, I, would, I would think that it's only valid if the ball pops up really high and everyone's aware of it, because in that sense, the ball is still alive. Yep. But yeah, I guess sometimes course. the players, if they really want to kill someone, they, just will, do it anyway work, they don't know where the ball is, but they'll yep. still throw. They'll take the shot. Which I think That's is, what I mean. is a I bit of... It, yeah, should like, be a, it should be a highly risky manoeuvre if you don't know what's going on. 100%. And if you get it wrong, there should be severe consequences. Yeah. But the game looked tighter than it is. Uh, but yeah, I think the the opening rush was a debacle. Oh, yeah, I didn't, yeah. I I didn't really that. like the opening rush from both teams. <laughs> Although, Aces, uh, the only thing is, Aces made the adjustments. They made the adjustment in the opening rush, yes. even though they yes. still threw out the wrong targets. Agreed. They made the adjustment in tactic in the yep. second half, yep. and Orcas did nothing about it. Orcas just stayed the same. Um, I, mean, I mean, it did feel like a predetermined decision. The Orcas had decided not to yeah. contest the rush yeah. from the beginning. Yeah. And, no, but I was and talking about you... the adjustment of the, where they slowed down the game, yes, and Orcas yes, did yes, nothing yes, about absolutely. it. Absolutely, you're, yeah. right, you're right. I think that was just yep. a waste of opportunity. Um, yep. Yep. And obviously, I think Harry was the difference maker in yeah. both teams. Even yep. though Ben did well, I think second half, he was shut down. Completely so, agree. Yeah, Harry Garan showing why he's MVP. Uh, even though, isn't he retired from Worlds? I, I don't know, is he? Or maybe not anymore. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe he's going to come back. Uh, maybe kick out uh, someone else. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to say who. All right. So we now we got demons warming men's up. runs. Uh, can we go off? Oh. All right, we'll, we'll be right back with the men's bronze. Thanks, everybody. See you later. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the ADC 2024. ADC? Oh, API. API. Oh, my God, I got all the words wrong. All the letters wrong. Presented by Zany. Dodgeball? Zany Sports. What's the, what's the correct words? Zany Sports. Zany Dodgeball. Dodgeball. Well done to them for organising this event. It's been a hell of a tournament. So, Devram, you were saying something about you're going to make a quote that's going to be famous. So here we are for the bronze medal match. Will the Orcas finally win a, win a medal? Ooh, that's an interesting question. <laughs> so we'll find out here. So game starting. I'll just quickly say the lineup for, so for Demons. We've got Ainsley, Boom. Alan, Cyril, Wei Jamie, with a hit. Kyle, Matt, See Nico, later, and Wei Sheng, the Malaysian superstar. And for Orcas we have... Where's my Orcas list? Ashley Chan, number 13, known as the Trash Can. Ben Yong, number 9 from our previous match. Oh, Chris Long, number Lee 17. With a beautiful shot on from Sunny. Our previous match. Punished by a Ashley, then punished by Nico, then punished by Chris. <laughs> so great punished trains. Isaac Yong, also number yeah. 19 from the previous match. Nicholas Young, a Australian mixed representative for this year, nice number shot 18. By Ainsley on Chris. Nicky Newen played for the men's team in Austria. Number two, Sonny Kai Chan, number 10, had a couple of debutante matches for the men's team as well, I believe. And Yang Chen, number four, a previous mixed Beautiful double representative. So an all-star cast from both teams. Yep. So all, all uh, Australian affair, this API medal. I think both teams had a close semi-final defeats, uh, but still should be very proud to make this. Now, we know both teams are hyper-aggressive, so we're going to see a lot of exciting dodgeball here. Ainsley, see you later, Yang. Yang trying Off. to trade. Um, now it's a 2v2. Cyril and Ainsley versus Nikki, but Nikki, Nikki Dodge nice. Master, is going to survive side that. He side. went for another Ainsley. trade. Ainsley. So two people trying to trade with Ainsley. Ainsley's so is very hard to deal with. It yeah. comes out quick. I, think, I, I would say Ainsley's probably one of their priority targets. So it looks like they're planning trash to trade. Can, the oh, trash that's a beautiful can shot by, by Cyril. So D, yeah. So I, I guess you know watching both these team, team players. I mean they kind of started to get started as a team together and now split up, right? A lot of them did. But, yes, absolutely. But definitely stylistically they're quite similar. Um, absolutely, absolutely. I think both team has heavy firepower, so it, you know there's no. But both teams have recruited yeah. from the uh, the Monash mm. club as from well. The Monash club, yeah. Uh, but obviously, Nick, Demons Nick have recruited Young Wisheng. and Alan Zhang, both Monash players, one on each team. Yeah, it, has Wisheng been a world's MVP? Probably. Surely, yeah, surely. Probably. Even if he didn't get voted, it yeah, is one. Exactly. So you know, is that 
star factor of Wee Sheng going to make a difference in this game would, no, be, would be an important question. Oh, is he washed? Yeah, okay. old. Fair enough. No, well, well, just thought, kidding, Wee Sheng. I thought just Harry kidding. was washed, but yeah. uh, he I went and spoke to him after yeah. the match. I told him, thanks oh, for making yeah. us look like Cyril ourselves. Cyril with a beautiful catch on Ashley. Some good blocking uh, here. Yeah, but, Chris and the and game Ainsley. is so fast, it's hard to commentate. Speedy, speedy, speedy. Yeah. There Chris. he goes. Now, Chris finally trades for Ensley. Alan takes um, a shot at Sonny, who blocks it as well. Yeah. 5v4 but demons. But definitely, I mean, I think for Orca's wings, you're going to see a lot of crosses from Chris to the right yep, side, yep, agree. Ashley to the other side, but that complements each other as opposed to in the bronze medal match, obviously Ben couldn't cross to the other side. Yes, yes, his ball curved uh, the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, so, so I think this will be interesting. Nice but also, but, but that being said, in contrast, Wei Sheng loves to cross to the right, and Alan yes. Zhang has a cross to the right. Yang so trades with Wei Sheng, that was nice. Which Vincent will be interesting. Gets a pot shot taken at him but survives. Yeah. Nico steals his wing off him. Yeah. What 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 do you think? Uh, you you'd say like you know like Harry the difference maker. I know obviously this is a star-studded lineup, but who would you say are the key players in uh, this game? Oofed. What would you if you had to say? Right, so for the demons, um, my X factor is. I'm gonna say Kyle Cornfield. Correct. And surprisingly, they're not starting. Didn't start. Kyle him. and Jamie didn't start. I, th I think the thing with Kyle and Jamie is they have the best throws in Australia, but obviously lacking defensively. Agreed. And I think Agreed. that uh, that I think you can see that. I think Nico knows that he's aware of it, so he's put in a team that dodges better to yes. begin with. Yes, And I think they're going to bring in the the, the, the heavy gunners later. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and I mean, you know, Kyle. Yeah. Yes. He does, he does, he's not usually in by the end of the set, but all right, all right. he's and usually I, got a couple And I think hits. Sunny Chan has really been effective against Kyle in previous tournaments. I think that they're aware of that. Yep. Yeah, uh, and same with up. Jamie. Uh, We've got but but Vincent if Tran Demons can, let's say, here. take Recruited a... from the Bears. All right. But if Demons can take a two, three-point lead, yep. then they can bring in yes. the big guns yes. and, like, and, and steamroll them. So this um, will be really for, important. For the Orcas, I think it's really going to come down to how Chris plays. Yeah. So Chris, yeah, Chris obviously, that, as, as I said, he loves Nico, to do the shot. Casual Nico with a block, block into two shoelace tied. Let me block that quickly so I can time a shoelace. Let's get a stat for that number of um, times shoelace tied. Uh, <laughs> 20, says so, the stats yeah. team. So for me, I think, I think for you, Chris, I think for me, Ash Chan might be also on the left wing will be the key as well. Um, uh, he's got really good movement and dodging. Um, and, and a very good throw. So, so maybe potentially, you know, this is a battle of the wingers to see which wing dominates. Obviously, at the moment, Wee Sheng's getting taken out because he's doing the rush. So the other thing is, if they're losing Wee Sheng that early, should he do the rush? Beautiful Nick trade by Nick Young. Takes taking out Nico. Oh, and Vincent he, blocks. Good block by Vince here. Will he be able to win this 2v1? Vince I has really, a pretty decent throw. I really don't um, know about that. Nick Young really putting the pressure on so Dancing that Vince doesn't nicely. get for Chris. Chris um, just menacing in the side. Oh, okay, that's a good block. All right, will they do a nice time double? I would, I would go a stagger. Stagger put double. Chris in front of him with the left. Interesting. Oh, just no, one. Let's just do a single. Didn't want to give. Oh, oh. oh and Chris! I told you it was a stagger. Shot. I don't know if that counts as a stagger. No, nah, that counts as a stagger. <laughs> but definitely, you're right about Chris being instrumental in this. Um, but one, I think, yeah, one, one Sheng, is the score here, right? The, the is dying on the rush, so it looks like they've changed it up, which uh, I think is a good idea. So, um, is, this, and yeah, is the score one all? The score is one all, yeah? Yep. Surprisingly, yeah, Cyril and Vince playing for Kyle and Jamie suggest that Demons want to play a dodging, dodging game at the moment. So, oh, we've got Wisheng's some statistics here. Beautiful Pitch, shot by Team Wisheng accuracy? There. I'm going to ignore that for now because I don't know what it means. Right. So thanks to the guys at Playback Review, we are currently with, with some Ainsley live stats. Nair. Is this, in, is this ranked by? And Devon will be uh, bringing out some live stats as we go along. We've but got Ainsley with two hits from two throws. That's 100% accuracy. So Alan Nico's Zang. going to throw here. Alan Zhang with a divide oh, by zero error. Throw some block. for us, Alan. Zero one hit one throw. Up they come. This is awesome stuff. So Wee Sheng Playback. waiting to do the cross shots here. With the stats. Takes out Hell Ashley. Yes. Oh, beautiful shot by Vincent. Chris a bit too aggressive. I think that's the thing with Chris is, you know, his aggression is amazing, but sometimes I think he overdoes it. Um, Wee Sheng and also quite two easily. hits from two throws. Beautiful He's shot by Alan Zhang. Crossed by Nikki. Bang! And 
And Wee Sheng now, now he's showing his caliber. That's why you don't leave him in. Wee Sheng yeah, now. I, I don't think it was a good idea. This particular rush in this set, um, they let Wee Sheng throw without punishing. As opposed to the previous set, they let Wee Sheng punish. Sunny they nearly punish catches Wisheng. the second one. That so, was a very quick So I definitely set. think if they're going to risk taking... If they're going to risk Wee Sheng coming into the rush, then Orcas need to try to kill Wee Sheng. Because yes. Wee Sheng just yes. dominated that set. Um, Alan and we, but yeah, but that sort of that wing, both teams' wings having their best shot as the cross shot makes this a really interesting game because the angles come out completely. Beautiful dunk there by Wee Sang. These accuracy stats I'm looking at are absolutely unreal. Almost every throw has been coming on target. Nice shot, Wee Sang just uh, now. Wee Sang is just in on fire now. That was kind of not a good play by Orcas because they had their left wing push up really hard, but Chris was right at the back, so not providing any cover for oh, Wisheng's cross. Finally, a miss from Nikki. Um, but Alan yeah, nice shot there out. by Nikki. Yeah, they've raised their. But kept yeah, their Orcas. Uh, yeah, demons are sort of taking over now. Sunny good with a dodge, hit but there beautiful from shot by Cyril. Nikki takes a yeah. shot at Chris. But you can see the game is very cross heavy, so. Both teams are so, so wanting to cross. I think, you know, the support by the uh, teammates to cover those crosses. So, there, Wee Shane crosses again. Oh! But Chris too late in yes. creating that punish. So, Wee Shane was ready to catch. So, if you're going to cross that much, you really need to provide that cover and support to provide the punish. So, I think Orcas are a Ash. bit behind on that at the moment. Was he hit there? Um, no. Survived. So, as opposed to, I, I feel like uh, Demons, even though they're crossing, um, they're providing support for each other. For each other, as opposed to Orcas, doesn't nice seem to be, which is Ash. kind of uncharacteristic from to see, you know, Chris. Uh, Nico, what a dodge! I think it's uncharacteristic to see Chris uh, on the back court while Wee Sheng is up there trying to cross into the right wing. So uh, hopefully they can make those adjustments because I kind of can't, kind of feel like Orcas aren't playing together on the wings. Ainsley goes for a dip. No near. Ainsley with a dip. Everyone, That's gonna hurt in, everyone from a Malaysian stats. background has to have a dip, is it? Is that a requirement? <laughs> oh! Ashley Chan! What a catch! He did that exact same catch in throwdown. Who grand did final. He, catch? I was he, at the he stats. caught Nico. Nico. He caught Nico. Phenomenal. Uh, it, I mean, to Cal be fair, that wasn't really a legit catch. It was a fluke catch, <laughs> but I think he'll, he'll take it. Oh, but we Yang. We Shang unstoppable. says, get off court. We Shang's doing really well. I was joking um, when I, I said he was washed, okay? That, uh, I was joking. I was watching Wee Sheng this whole tournament. Oh, is it going to be it? No, good reach there. Cyril um, should have just dived, I reckon. I was going to make the comment that Wee Sheng got caught, I think about six or eight times this tournament. Yeah. But now, Devram says he's washed and he goes <laughs> nuts. It's a little superpower yeah. us Why commentators have. I, does that mean you're supporting demons? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, fair enough, that makes sense. Um, Even though Des Ting won't let me join the club. Des Ting won't let me join yeah, the club? He blocked me. Very oh. rude, very rude. Maybe I'll apply then if uh, yeah, yeah, you're do it, do it out. For sure, for sure. Oh, Ash, nice block. Good punish by Ainsley. Ash Chan, definitely, you know, capable of winning this. Um, he's, but, got, he's taken but, it from 1v5 yeah. Yeah. to 1v3. That's, yes, but Yang obviously died straight away, so it didn't help him out. <laughs> Briefly, but it's look a 2v5. Look, look at those little, little dodgy yeah. movements. Like, they, yeah. he barely moves, but he has such amazing timing that he just survives the shot. And that, and, and obviously he's got a good enough throw to take him out. So Great you know, Ashley's movement is, is very uh, definitely underrated if they, people are not rating it. They are afraid to give him five balls yeah, too, which helps him because it means only one coming 100%. at him at a time. He's got a really heavy throw that dips. Um, Cyril very yeah. good defensively. And, and the thing is, you know, like oh, that oh, was a beautiful that was a Cyril. phenomenally yeah. timed throw from Cyril. Really well done. You can see like when Ashley's in one v x situation. Because he trusts his movement so much, he actually plays from the front of the court, as opposed to like me. If I was in a one v three, I'd yep. play from the back because yep. I'd be scared of them to rush me. Yep. But yep. that's how you know good Ashley's movement is that he's confident to move up. He so here's the rush here. So the rush actually feel like uh, Orcas are. Everyone survived. Orcas are actually losing the rush a little bit. Um, I'm happy that they are going for Wee Sheng because I think Wee Sheng is at the moment they need doing to everything. Get him out but, but Wee Sheng's dodging is uh, incredible. Bang! Yeah, Sunny getting out. Um, Alan. I think Sunny is another key firepower player for Orcas, but yes. at the moment being neutralised. He's been yeah. taken care he's of. Yeah. yeah. Alan uh, Zhang popping Alan off. Zang. The big oh noodle, goodness, yeah. as he's known. Wee Sheng, great defense. So it looks like the Demons' wing at the moment are dominating the Orcas' wings. Yes. 
So we, we need Ben Yong to uh, do Make something here. Come on, Ben Yong. Alan. Oh, Alan Zhang's out. Alan taken, taken out, out by there. Nick, I think. Yeah, Nick Young. I mean, not Nick Young, sorry. Um, but Nicky. I think, look, Chris Long really needs to watch for Wei Sheng's crosses. It's basically the same thing as him crossing on the other hit. side. Nico hits Nicky. Okay, Nick, yep. Demons oh, with a five, how did ben five beats. I don't know how Ben went out. Oh, the anyway, on my back, my back. Um, Great success. 2v5. Demons uh, running away with it. Here. Um, on the back of Wisheng's cross. And Chris still not punishing here. So I think, you know, that, that Wisheng, every time he crosses, because that's all he likes to do, I think Chris should really punish. Vince takes out Nick Young. Um, but nicely. maybe he doesn't feel like, doesn't feel like the timing's there. Oh, hey, Wisheng the and Chris is, trade. I think, you know, like, how much did that catch from Wei Sheng affect Chris's uh, willingness to punish? Because, you know, yep. he, he yep. got caught by Wei Sheng point blank. Now he's scared to punish yep. Wei Sheng, which is uh, time out called, not good, yeah. Timeout called by so, our friends, the Orcas. Yeah, good. I think that's a good timeout. Uh, I think if, if Orcas don't make those adjustments, demons are going to run away with it. But Wei Sheng is just punishing freely with a, without a care in the world yep. and uh, having no punishment. Um, I think Alan is playing a little bit better than Ash at the moment, even though Ash is doing well. Yes. Um, I, but but Ash, I think, yeah, I mean, they've taken yeah. out Sunny, they've taken out Ben, they're not really being effective at this stage. No, no sort of set winning performances from the Orcas, which I think is what's what's hurting them. Yeah. Got some, uh, who are their top performers from a stats perspective? Chris Lung coming up 100% four hits from four throws. We Yang as well. Across, no punish. Where are I? Okay, I'll ignore oh, the accuracy. Hey, oh, no, this, this is a catch. This is not being This is the catch. But we've got we four, hits, see it? four hits oh, from Crystal, no, and four hits it. from Yang. We're going to see Ashley's On catch. On the demon side, eight hits from Wei Sheng. Eight hits. That's, Three from Ainsley. That's <laughs> criminal that he's eight allowed to have eight hits. hits with no punishment. All right, so Orcas have decided to make a change. And Cyril looks like Sunny's off. On him. That was a hit on uh, So I think Ash. Sunny, uh, oh, is he off? No, maybe he's just having a drink. So I think Sunny really needs to come up here, but I think the demons are targeting him, so it's hard for him to get into the game. Yep. Um, but he needs to, you know, do something. He needs to dodge a bit better. It's hard, hard ask. But yeah, Wisheng again. That Wisheng's hit and go down oh, on the floor yeah, always seems the hit to survive. There. That was a hit on Nicky. I think but, what we're know, seeing here is uh, you have a team like the Demons, a well-established club that's been playing together for years, uh, versus a club that has more recently formed and he's still finding the way yes. they want to play together. Correct, it's, correct. it's little things. It's really little things, but they kind of add up. Yes. Just in who's covering yeah. who. who I, th I think experience-wise, yeah, Nico, Nico and Ainsley's experience. Oh, unlucky there from Nico. You can tell this Demons team knows where everyone's going to be, what they're going to be doing. Yeah. Almost Agreed. instinctively. Agreed. Agreed. And I think that's the difference here. Yeah. Although, you know, that being said, I mean, Ashley and Chris playing on opposite wings, they should there's gel well. But I feel like there's a bit there, of fear. Yep. There's a bit of nervousness because they're worried about Wei Sheng and but, Alan. Yeah, I mean, they lose um, one of them and it's yeah. now Nick on the wing. Oh, I don't know how Alan. used to Not oh. Alan, Cyril, Cyril, Cyril taking trades, out Sunny. Trades Sunny so nice. Sunny, yeah, Sunny really needs to get into the game here because, you know, Chris and Ash can't do everything. Um, I think Alan, yeah. Alan as well, I think they need to deal with. Yeah, Alan, he's, yeah. He's Alan is a monster, actually. Alan is a monster. Um, Even if it's not him throwing, he's drawing attention because they yeah. know how yeah. fast his ball's going to come. Oh, oh, look at that curve. <laughs> Lefty curve by Alan Zhang. Now, Chris really needs to win this set if the uh, Orcas are to do anything. The, the, one, the one saving grace, I think, for the Orcas here is that the, the Demons are much less capable of what we saw our Aces do last match, which is <laughs> just uh, decide they want to play defensively. I don't no, think that's in their DNA. I don't think that's in their DNA. Yeah, Demons ain't going to do they that. Go for the Demons throat, are, are going to go for 20 going. nil or they're going to lose 6-8. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> oh, Enzi! That could have injured him. Is this the... Oh. Yeah, it gets him. But the trade. Vincent Trey. Every single time there's a 1vx, the... The Orcas are going too far up, but they're just trading. Wei Sheng now up perfect. to 10 hits. Which is why I don't <laughs> ten like to hits go up for Wei Sheng from the Demons. Our live stats brought to Look us at by this Playback. Trade by Vincent. Well done. I'm using the app and it's awesome. Highly recommended. Ash now, Chan this is here, two hits and this for is the uh, Orcas. Chris Long with four. And uh, Yang also on four. And look, this is the exact situation I was talking about. Is Demons are up by three now. And this is... This may be the time in a couple of sets to bring in Kyle and Jamie and finish the game. And yeah, just watch. And sets then we're going to watch another Gorillas Orcas game. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> because nice. it's going to be 17 1. Oh, Alan Zhang, they take him out. Okay. 
So this is a more of an even set. Let's see how, what this the Orcas is can bring here. This an important set here for the Orcas um, to steady themselves. Wee Sheng's out as well, so this is their best chance, I think. There we go. Better dodging from Sunny that cross. But you can see, when they cross, Demon's punish. Yes. But when Demon's cross, Orcas are not punishing, not punishing enough. Them back, yep. Sometimes they're punishing, but not enough. Yep. And that is probably one of the difference uh, that's creating, but... We'll see. Oh, beautiful shot there by Nikki, Nikki on Nico. Takes out Nico. Nico probably could have dodged a bit better the than that. He's a good Nick dodger. Uh, but Nico, maybe a bit too comfortable with the scoreline at the moment. But Ainsley still I, that I, I X can factor. guarantee he's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Four one lead can evaporate. Over analysis very fast. there on my part. Um, but here we go. Ainsley's still the X Factor there. Cyril's been playing really well. That's he's been dominating hit. everyone. He's just a quiet achiever, yeah. isn't he? And I think that that's the Ainsley other thing. Ainsley takes a pot shot at Nikki and connects In this two. demon's team, Cyril would be the last person they'd be worried about. Yes. And Cyril is killing them all. He just sits there and uh, takes hits. Oh, beautiful shot by Sunny. Here we go. Cyril Sunny Chan. is a workhorse, by the way. Is Credit he? to him. The man trains oh. hard. He's got a great attitude and he's improving very fast. That's right. But I still think Clyde is the better twin. That's right. I got Clyde's jersey, so yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm happy great. with that. No. Um, JK, JK. Yeah. They're both awesome. So Cyril's actually yeah, really doing... I think Cyril and Sheng carrying the team right now, mm -hmm. which is Let's great. have a look at the stats here for uh, our friend Cyril. Four hits. Boom. Oh, Ben Young easily blocked by Cyril. Um... But yeah, I think the tactic of Demon bringing this uh, dodging lineup rather than firepower really... Well. Oh, and and takes what? He breaks Sunny. Sunny's block! Cyril is popping Cyril, off. what are you doing? He's playing like a madman right now. This is amazing. In a, team, in a team where he's playing with... That's right, world, superstars. World superstars, bronze medalists, and he's the star. I think this is gonna, you know, really take Orcas by surprise. Um, and if, yeah, if they can't take out Cyril, how are they going to take out the rest? So, yeah, Cyril, you are it's amazing right now. Here, you are doing they, amazing do right need, now. they really need this uh, set. And Ben's throw, you know, maybe a bit bit off because uh, of the bronze medal match he yeah, plays. So he's yeah. probably under a fatigue Especially crowd. as, you know, it's a, what, day four now of a tournament. Yeah, day four, yeah. Back-to-back 40-minute -back matches. Yeah, <laughs> and they're playing both mix and men's, reach the top four. So that might not uh, work out for them. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Oh, one for one trade. Zero, and oh, but Cyril gets punished Ash by Ashley. As well. That was a tight set. I think both teams could have won it. But that was crucial. Or if Orcas didn't hey, win that. They gave the set to the Demons by mistake there. I think that should be 4-2 yeah, to Orcas. 4-2 to Orcas. Oh, it's 5-2? Five 5-2. Five two. Oh, it's 5-2. It's 5-2. Uh, sorry. Okay, it's 5-2. So, but still, uh, if it was 6-1, then it's yep. almost oh, game that over. Been, that would have been, yeah. Um, all right. So, Wei Sheng now a bit more defensive, I think, uh, realising that he set, doesn't need to risk it now that they're up. They don't need to risk the rush. This set very likely to go to sudden death. And yeah. you, you want to be up numbers oh, yes, in sudden death. Yeah, so, that's this why, 20 okay. seconds so relatively important here. Oh, Sunny. Just not having a they, they fun game at the Sunny. moment. They're just taking him out. I think that's a good call because yeah. if Ashley has the ball, then you want to take out Sunny. He's He's sunny the, the orcas can't really get rid of the Ainsley. Oh, Chris with Wei Sheng. That's a good shape, but again, Ainsley's one of the quickest races. We still have Ainsley in. But look, this sudden death. We, we need Orcas to win if we want to tie the game. 4v4. Now, the good thing is they have Nikki. Nikki can. They've got a Nikki good is a sudden death master. They've got a good lineup for sudden death here. Um, they need Ainsley out but, quickly. You know, Nico can catch or oh, dodge. He can dodge too. Back he goes. Um, all right, so Demons will probably look to double someone. They'll be wanting a hit here. Yeah, they'll probably double someone. Yep, they doubled oh, someone. But ben moves ben Young, nicely. Not bad. Gets out of the way. I don't think I could. Uh, pe many people would bit, survive a double like that. The timing from a, uh, the demons was a little bit yeah. too Maybe close. Maybe a couple of fakes yeah. here before they throw. Uh, Nico with Nico a beautiful stays dodging. Alive. Oh, Cyril stays threw. alive. They've got five. Cyril baited that ball from Ashley. They, yes. they have to get a hit here. I would almost double Ashley. I think that they might do a double and a tr single. Yeah, yeah, double and a single yes. and another single. That is. Three Amazing! Throws, three That's a hits. masterclass in how to throw five balls. If you that guys want to know how to throw five balls, yep. you look at you look back at that video because they that is the space. incredible. They created now, the space. Now Nick and Young they needs to get a catch out. here, otherwise it's over. Nick Young with a free throw. Look at Cyril's yeah, movement. Moves out of the way nicely. Yep. Just, just continues think, yeah. to, to do work. I for did his not team. expect Cyril to be carrying this demons team. Ainsley but, without a ball. You know. Interesting. Nick oh, Nick Young yeah, with a jump. That was the hit. Is a hit? Oh, Nick Young doesn't think so. I thought he had the balls out so of his Rob hands. And Kevin will have a chat. It was a hit. Quick stat update. Wei Sheng is now up to 14 hits. <laughs> Alan Zhang on six. Cyril Chen on six.
yeah, leading so for the Demons and for our friends, the Orcas. Yang's with four, Ashley Chan with five, Chris Lung with six. So I'm quite impressed with uh, the tactical move that Nico's made in not putting in Kyle and Jamie, who are you yep. know, were in the starting lineup for the World, World Championships. But he obviously knows Orcas yep. and knows that you know, their strength is the throw. So they're getting Cyril and uh, Vincent, who are obviously great dodgers. And that really complements and uh, really stifles Orca's it's, plan. It's and I'm sure, I think, what I would say is, I reckon Orca's planned for Jamie and Kyle. And Kyle's not, they're certainly. not there. Almost certainly. So now they're like, what are we doing? It shows, and I, I think mean, that, it shows, yeah, it's a sign of a really yeah, good experience. That is a really cerebral move by, right? I'm going to say Nico, because he's the captain was, of the team. He's, yeah. he's sort of, you've got Wei Sheng there too. Yeah, that, that's, that's a whole tournament to see who plays yeah. well together, to see correct, who's on correct. and who's off, and who's yeah. going to match up well against your correct. specific opponent. Yeah. And they've said, this is the team. And I think, you know. It looked weird at the start, and yeah. it's absolutely been shown yeah. to be the right thing. Yeah, because historically, Sunny has been really effective against Kyle and Jamie. Yep. But what do you do? You take out Kyle and Jamie, what is he doing and then now? you take yeah. out Sunny, Suddenly, and then yeah. Orca's plan <laughs> fall apart. Because they're like, hey guys, what do we do? all what the do we things do that we planned are not even there. Do we throw at Kyle and Sunny? Uh, do we target? throw Kyle that's right. you know, on the outline? No, that's not going to do anything. So that is impressive. Now, we Wishing now rush taking nicely. a more passive rush. I think that's a good approach since they're up, because oh, they want Wishing four. alive. They're, they're um, going to look. They're going to attempt the to slow the game down. So, I just so, like so you said, Chris it's not off. in their DNA. Yeah. So Chris is off. Oh no, Chris is in the middle. Wei which missing Ben. Which there. would that mean that um, maybe if Ben can punish Wei a bit more. I think. Oh no, Wei Sheng jumped over it. Yeah. So look, looks like Orcas have made one tactical adjustment of getting Chris into the middle, which uh, I like. I like that move. No, Wei Sheng crosses, but will Ben punish? Or he punished, yeah, well, but. That, I mean, I, don't like, I got the hit, okay. I can't talk yeah. too much trash about it, but honestly, I don't like that shot. Yeah. It's so low percentage, yeah. and you have a like a blaring target in front of you. The best exactly. player from the other team exactly. hits wise. Exactly, I agree with you there. But yeah, I think Wei Sheng has getting a lot of freedom here, and that's probably not helping. It's not, well, that's Cyril again. Cyril again takes out. Takes out. My Nikki. goodness, Cyril! Like you Just should be. Yeah. Uh, Just doing you, work. You should be very proud of how you're playing, especially you know, playing in this caliber of team. You know, you're gonna do. I think you have a bright future ahead. Look at future, him just blocking. Future Oz Rap, blocking, should we, should we yeah, say? blocking Chris Long easily. What's going on here? Cyril, he's leveled up. I don't know what's uh, what he had for breakfast, but uh, I want some. No, I'm telling uh, you, mate. It's 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 hours and hours of hard work, month by month. That's uh, what Cyril's been doing. Oh, yep, damn, 100%. I thought it was just some breakfast that I, know, I could right. eat really quickly. It sucks. You have it to go sucks. to the gym and stuff. There's no magic uh, pill. No, I'm not. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't want that. Oh, hey, Nick Young doing something crazy, but didn't work out. We Sheng, very aware. And then Ainsley with an extra shot. Oh, trouble oh. in paradise. Ben Yong ben and is Isaac angry not happy with each other. Someone. Yeah, the brothers fighting now. So things falling a little bit apart for Orcas. Um, a slight miscommunication. I think yeah. Ben ended up distracted. Chris not yeah. does well to dodge three there. Yeah, but but I think uh, other thing tactically is demons know who they want. Yep. They know. Okay, let's get Sunny out. Let's get Chris out. Whatever. But Orcas don't seem to. Oh! Nico! Oh my goodness, Nico! Ash was of dead course, anyway. Vincent in a had match, him lined if up. Nico doesn't get a catch, it's not a real match. Um, <laughs> there we go. Nico's signature catch. Are we tracking oh, oh, track catches? He's got another one. All right, there we go. Now Nico's like, Cyril, yeah, he's sit like, down. Get out. Sit down, Cyril. This is my team. He's, and he's, he's sick of Wei yeah, yeah. and Cyril <laughs> hogging the limelight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that, that one came So connects. as I was saying, yeah. So I think Demons are exactly who they want to get. But I, obviously, as I said, Kyle and Jamie aren't playing. So Orcas, they don't know who their priority target is. Um, and I think that's sort of messing their but messing themselves up the tactically. The problem is, who do you target? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. Look, they're, to be honest, all, I, would probably, well. I, would, I would say that they need to be punishing Wei Sheng. I'd go, yeah, we, yes, Wei yes, Sheng, yes. Wei yes. Sheng is so confident right now because no one is throwing at him. I think Alan Zhang and Wei Sheng is the main people yeah, to get. I would be going but, for those two as well. But you know what I mean? Like, I, I think they're actually just not doing really on. anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, Which not is gonna, good. he's not going to like that. No, he's not going to like that I don't mean it negatively, Ainsley, I promise. Oh, unlucky Chris. Hey, uh, Cyril! Uh, hey, finally, Cyril. somebody punishes Wishing. Oh, but I thought Wishing was walking out, but he's still, they still missed. He missed. But at least they took the shot, right? Yeah, he's got to know yeah, the ball's coming the back at him. They took the shot. He's up to 16 hits now, oh. Wishing. Cyril catching him on nine, though. Uh, see, so they're taking out Alan. Wishing's still crossing, but not dying. Which is funny. Um, so, yeah, I think... Yeah, Orca's tactics, I feel like, hasn't worked. Oh, and then somebody crosses Wishing and Wishing punishes them. Bang. 
So, yeah, yeah. This is exactly the, punish, the opposite right? of what we want to happen. The punish happen. is yeah. what is missing from the, the orcas. Is in, uh, I feel like the punish is missing from orcas. And when they do take them, they um, cross. And, I, and, I, and it's funny because I think orcas are a good punishing team. Oh, here's a go, Ashley. You finally. see, but that was a, that was a bait, yeah, right? That was a bait. And look, even, oh. even though Ashley caught that, Isaac didn't punish with them. Because he had Cyril Ashley up in his yeah. face, yeah. Imagine if Ashley didn't catch that, right? Like, exactly Ashley's right. dead. Exactly right. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, Cyril's on fire. Uh, oh! Lovely Vincent take out Ashley. Vincent. So, obviously... And, and I'm kind of surprised. I feel like a um, lot of the Orcas throws... The demons are blocking quite easily, as opposed to the demons players are yeah. blocking through the, orcas. The orcas are not uh, able to disrespect yeah. their opposing wings at all. Or Which they I think, get I think, I think that's a fatigue issue. You know, orcas are playing, uh, running Se second deep match tournament runs in yeah. all divisions, as opposed to demons. I feel like Jamie and Carl have played a lot in the group stages with yep. Cyril and Vincent off. Yep. They're fresh as no, day they one. switched them in. And Very then now, smart. now they're you know, getting through anyone's yeah. block. So you know, like fatigue management. Masterclass Here we go, from Ainsley. demons as well. Come on, time for a hit, Ainsley. No. <laughs> Ains well, how many hits is he on? Let's have a look at the live stats brought to you by Playback. Ainsley, where are we? Five, five hits. All right, <laughs> can you tell me Cyril on who's got the most hits? We and who's got the most catches? And... Wei Sheng has got 16 hits. Wei Sheng has 16 hits. Cyril has 10. In 25 <laughs> minutes, that's insane. <laughs> Cyril's got 10. Yeah. Um, Ainsley got a few Mika. early and he's tapered off. Oh, okay. Uh, and from the Orcas, you've got seven how about, hits. How about Cyril? Seven to Chris and eight Cyril? to Ashley. Cyril is on ten. Cyril's on ten, yeah. So Cyril and Wisheng are really doing all the damage. Um, yeah. I don't see that Orcas are targeting Wisheng enough, even though he's got 16 hits. Um, oh, so, I completely you know. agree with you. Yeah. So that's very interesting. Um, that's a nice uh, slider Isaac by Nick, Nick we Young. Sort of, it's good here. We've got the future. We've got the future of the uh, the Orcas club. Ainsley's the young, not the, the young players of the Orcas Ains club. Ainsley's the Ainsley's washed. Ainsley's old as oh, Isaac. That's an interesting dodge. Good throw. Oh. Dodges from everyone. Yeah, bit. An the excellent are composure off. there from Cyril. Yeah, the he doesn't run are into off. two balls because that would have been dumb. He just resets and says, "Look at all the balls we've got. Let's do something a bit more calculated." Good dodgeball IQ. Yeah. So I think tactically demons are dominating, but I think. Orca's, uh, Orca's talent are a bit underwhelming at the moment. They, uh, you normally expect a bit more from them because they have amazing throw and talent. But just, you know, maybe the nerves of the top game or the fact that their plan got stifled, but it's just not working. Oh, and Demons win again. Isaac. So that was a good move from Isaac. Though. Yeah, he blocked no. it with his hand up into the air, but he was yeah. still alive, so we yeah. took the shot. Look, that was just a bit of bad luck. Um, but now demons are running away with it. This set, this yeah. is probably beyond reach now, almost for the for the uh, the so orcas. So, Rem, will orcas win a medal? I, I think orcas are allergic to bronze medal matches. Is it? They've got gold? some gold medal matches coming yeah. up, though. So, correct. correct. Maybe right. the gold that's is. True. Maybe that's, that's what their focus that's is. Yeah. But yeah, I, another I hit to Wisheng. Wisheng again. Yeah. Nick oh, takes Nick out Nico. A lot um, of Nicks. A lot yeah. of Nicks in these teams. Nicky, Nico, Nick. Nick Sheng. Um, all right, so here Cyril we go. Cyril up to 11 Cyril now. Wisheng again, up to another shot. He easily destroys Ashley. C I don't know. Even though I know Wisheng's doing well, I think Cyril might be my MVP. I would, he's, I would he's give it to going, Cyril. He's going nuts. You expect Wisheng to Young, do well. What's he doing? Plus, oh. Wisheng's on the rush, so how many of his hits are from the rush? Yeah, that's true. Another shot. No, he Is misses. A, a trade Finally almost. gets out. No. Oh, no, he trades. It was a trade. Oh, and, yeah, you got and him. Nick Young takes out Alan Zhang with an op, op shot. That's great. Um, and now it's 3v3, 3v3. but... Wei Sheng and Ainsley on the other side, looking menacing. Good Ainsley slider by takes Ainsley, a shot. punished by Nikki. Um, Vincent leaves but, him alone. But here, you know, I don't think demons are in a rush to get him out uh, as, as well. But I don't think demons will be looking to slow, slow them down. No. I think. Lucky, I think lucky oh, for what us a viewers. slider by Ainsley! That dip shot. He's been here. I mean, Nikki is more him. of a dodger. I think should have dodged that. Yeah, I, I, I don't I think you want to be dodging, di uh, blocking dips here. Completely agree. Um, Nick Young, I think, is... Oh, Nick oh, Young! Just catches, catches Vincent. Catch it, again, we shank we punishing. Shank. How many hits is it? Is he on 20 hits yet? He's on 17 oh, from what goodness. I can see. It might still be updating. He's got yeah. one catch. Yeah. Nico's got one catch. I thought Nico had two. Now, I think when you meant Wei Sheng is washed, you meant that he's cleaning up the orcas, right? Is that what you meant? Yeah, that's exactly that's what, that's what, what I meant. Mean. Yeah, washed Wei Sheng is cleaning up the washed orcas right now. Washed you know how the mop was the MVP uh, from Worlds this yeah. year? Like that. Yeah. Okay, Wei Sheng in a 1v2. Now, Nick, Nick making a late play for MVP from the... Uh, yeah, Nick Young's actually doing well. From the orcas. 
All right, here we go. 2v1. Wei Sheng showing his dodging prowess. Normal Takes players nice see, see uh, you know, two opponents. Wei Sheng just sees two more hits, yeah. two stats oh, ready, Sheng, uh, ready to be plucked. He's super aggressive, but uh, his dodging allows him to be so. Oh, that was Takes that out a Isaac. Oh, he does oh, the dodge. Worm Nicks dodge. Here. And then he takes Wee him out. Wee Sheng with a one thing two. The Let's man. go. The myth. The legend. The demons. Clinical, just like the gorillas. When this you can is, play like uh, that, you don't need to worry about balls for defense. My goodness. Wee Sheng showing a dodging masterclass. Uh, he looks very happy with himself. Wee Sheng um, hits and 18. I think, and I think now all the people that caught Wee Sheng in the group stages will feel so much more prouder that they caught Wee Sheng. Yeah, 100%, because this 100%. is the real Wee Sheng. <laughs> Wee Sheng was just like, he was like, uh, I'm at 50% capacity. And he's really built Wee himself Sheng, up. Wee Sheng, you know, we've talked about yeah. Cyril training hard. Day in, day out. Yeah. Wee Sheng, another one. Okay, now come in the big guns. Kyle Confield and Jamie Jones take it out. in the game. Orcas are like, finally, we can hit our <laughs> priority targets. Sonny yeah. takes out I Kyle, get, <laughs> just like you said he would. Our game plan works now, <laughs> but the score is 9-2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Um, but yes, now... Orcas look... Orcas suddenly look more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. The, um, yeah, that was just a joke, guys. Orcas are trying their best, we know. Um, but Nikki looking a bit more aggressive. Kyle dodges oh, nicely. Good shot there. Jamie, that's, Sorry, Jamie, that's a very Jamie. good movement by Jamie, even though he's a you know, big man. That's right. Uh, he's, he still commits to dodging. Yes. He dodges better than me. He's like twice my size. Uses his knee so, yeah, Very impressive by Jamie. Um, and I'm waiting to see Jamie's uh, softball pitch. Oh, he's about to do it. Yeah, he is. Here yeah. we go, the wind up. Yeah. 3v3. Three so, three. Yeah, Sunny versus Jamie is a good, good matchup. I think Sunny would feel pretty confident to take out Jamie. But let's see how we go. Oh, nice pitch. Oh, he takes oh, the second one. No, he, he nearly took the second shot, too. Oh, nah, that's crossed by Chris. So this is interesting. Like, so Chris on the left wing. All right, what he, happened to Sonny? Uh, he got taken out in the hair. Uh, um, unfortunate. So I think Sonny, Chris on the left wing, I don't like, because his crossing to the left to right isn't as strong. Left to right, but, yeah, agree, But they've switched agree, now, agree. so which is good. Uh, Alan Zang is going to catch. No, he's no. not. Nick Young's going aggressive. Nick but Young Chris doing doesn't really have a ball. well. Chris doesn't have a ball. Let's oh, have a look at his hits. He's on six. Chris Long and only on six hits, a very, you know, underwhelming performance by him, not to his usual standards. Uh, but maybe he'll take a couple out here. Nice, oh, nice block work there. He blocked two balls two with balls a single with hand. One, yeah. Vincent. One after the other. What's with Vincent and Cyril like just leveling up? Chris oh, taken Jamie out takes him out. Jamie. Vincent oh, Nick Young, dodges oh, Nick Jamie catch. with his okay. signature curve. So now it's Jamie's time to shine. Is now, it a 1v1? You will recall Jamie did a 1v1 in the World Championship bronze medal match. Yeah. Against Canada yeah, yeah, to yeah, win yeah, it. Yeah. So Jamie knows what to do One in these big one. situations. He's doing underarm. That underarm is but so Nick hard. Oh, Nick oh, Young does yeah, underarm. That's back. invalid. That's invalid. Yeah, what is going come on. on. This guy's is the invalid calls, ref. This is API. Why are you guys playing like it's uh, Perth Dodgeball League? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, nice slider there by Nick Young. Jamie with a nice fastball. Uh oh. Now Jamie will finish this. Yeah. He okay. needs to get three balls in hand and throw yeah. two of them. I'd like Jamie to hit with a Because his reload is quick. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's not a bad Nick tactic a to free throw at Jamie, but, uh, but Jamie's movement is quite underrated for such a big man. So yeah, I agree that's with pretty you. cool. Nick uh, takes yeah. the shot. Jamie I, from his I mean, knees. I mean, Nick Young's nice. throw looks tired to, to me. Yeah, I, I don't think he's throwing yeah, at, I agree I, with I don't think he's throwing at full velocity. So I'm, I'm kind of backing Jamie here his to win this. His general movement is... Yeah. yeah. Like he's tired. Yeah, and, and I guess Jamie also has a factor of being able to catch. Two, uh, one. Yeah, no pitch. Uh, he did a bit of a slider pitch there. I'm going to watch it, not on the screen. Yep, yep. To make it a bit more exciting. Do it live. So Nick Young with a throw. Oh, good no, pre-throw. Yeah, jumps over. He's going to do another pre-throw? No. It bounced, it bounced. There's oh, no Jamie way that's a catch. catch. But I don't think it was a catch. No way that's a catch. Yeah, uh, I don't think it was a catch. No catch. Set to... to uh, Jamie's oh, very upset. Orcas think it's a hit. Orcas think it's a hit. Oh, and the it call is a is hit. hit. The call is wow. hit. Wow. Well, but, we're going to get a replay. Because if it was a hit, it should be a catch. But if it was not a catch, it should be a bounce. I, don't yeah, you think? I thought it was a bounce. I thought yeah, it was a bounce. Because if it's hit him, it hit him in the foot and then came up to him. Are we going to see a replay? Yeah. No. Anyway, that's interesting, but yeah. the ref's call, I guess. They, they must have seen a hit into ground into catch, but I thought yeah, it's that just rolled up his leg. That doesn't make sense to me, though. Uh, we Sheng again. Reffing a very hard job though, so yeah, congrats to both of them for uh, keeping keeping their Cable composure and making Rockworth. a call. Um, I'm only saying that because they'll be reffing. Uh, and obviously, Nico and Ainsley taking a rest. Nice to me. 
Oh, Chris Long. Oh, 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 take that, Sonny. Oh, and Jamie, him. frustrated with the previous oh, set, my gosh. takes it out on poor Nicky. So as we called it, they brought in the Dodgers, took an early lead, and then now the big this, guns are rattling them. This is what we expected to when these two yeah. came on. Just balls flying yeah. everywhere and people That's dropping. Right. And Sonny normally easily kills Kyle, but Kyle caught him, so Not this time, what do you yeah. do? Can't do anything. Kyle gets baited. Ash. Oh, that was... Oh, nice. Cyril taken out. Even when he's taken out, he gets that ball straight to his to his wing. Yep. And I think now demons are just taking it easy. Jamie jumps. Just gonna... Oh, Nick Young. Jamie jumps. Catching Jamie's 130-kilometer-hour throw like it's my throw. Wow. He ate that up. Amazing. Beautifully but, done. Uh, yeah, oh, look at that. Chris Beautiful already double. out. Vince Wishing's dodges. Wishing's in the middle. Fox, Why is sorry? Wishing in the middle? Wow, Kyle Cornfield taking left Ky wing off Wee Sheng. Kyle does what the he wants. The respect for Kyle Cornfield must be high. <laughs> oh, Vincent's out. Or it's Kyle not respecting Wee Sheng. <laughs> <laughs> or Kyle probably just like sat on Wee Sheng and Wee Sheng's like, okay, like, okay, this I'll is go my to the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at me, look but at me. I am the wing. <laughs> is Wee Sheng good at right wing? Oh, oh, Kyle oh, Cornfield with a nasty. slider. It wasn't that. even a, that was Ooh. not a uniform curve. It went that straight and then it just possible. hooked. That is his slider. That's a decent slider throw. Nick Young That's tying his shoelace. disgusting when someone throws sliders oh, faster then Now we shanks like, give me left wing because I can cross better. Ball comes over. But Nick Young... Uh, Kelly from the shack gets the ball. What do, you think? do you think Nick Young was the best Orcas player today? P potentially? I would, I would give it to Nick, yeah. Yeah, Nick Young did well. I mean, he's late, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, he oh, had the whistle. Oh, oh, was that a hit? Oh, oh, no, 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 no so no, that no. doesn't count. The way, the Kyle second one potentially maybe count. been out. I think they um, called a hit. Yeah, I think if, Kyle might be out. Kyle's like, what's going on? Unless the other ref very clearly saw a no hit, I you have to go with the one. original call. Oh, yep. he's it. Yep. Yeah, Kyle's no, hit. 1v1, Wishing versus Nick Young. I don't so think Kev would have had a view on this it. This is a 1v1, Young versus Old, right? Yeah. Young versus Old, yeah. The future I mean, versus the past. Technically, Wishing was in Old Shakers, so yeah, Young versus Old. Correct. Who's going to win? So, I mean, uh, one, uh, one thing is both players are MVP of their game, of their respective teams, I think, for this game. Let's have a quick um, update on their stats. Also, by the way, Cyril up to 15 hits. Wei Sheng on a massive 23. 23 hits. Nick Young That's on incredible. 9. That's incredible. Um, Wei Sheng already went a 1v2. Now he wins a 1v1. Bang, bang, Wei bang. Wei Sheng. Yeah, he carry, oh just keep throwing. Oh, my goodness. He said, oh, he you dodge 2 or dodge 3. Fire. Bang, you can't. Wei Sheng, the man, the yeah. myth. Wei Sheng on fire. Nico and Ainsley's like, you guys got this. I've got my two catches. I'm fine. Ainsley's like, I didn't do anything. I just want my medal. Now, um, if the Orcas manage to win another two sets, they will have cumul cumulatively hit 10 sets in all their bronze medal matches put together. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> that is a very mean stat to bring up. Sorry. Right. Only Devon would do Actually, that. Actually, no way. They only need one more. They only need one more, right? They only need one more? Okay. Well, no, that... no, no, they won two in the first, didn't they? Yes. I'm, I'm just going to say five, that. Seven. I will... oh, they're already on 10. As they're long already as on they 10. know that I didn't bring that up, I'm okay with that. They're already on 10. Well uh, wishing August. another cross, but no, no punish by Chris. So, yeah, I, I think that that dynamic, uh, potentially because Chris got caught early by wishing, he's not punishing um, wishing. Uh, I'm not sure, sure if that was such a good idea. Um, but otherwise, I think, you know, overall, most of the Demons players played a lot better. Uh, nice slider there by hey, Nicky. So and nice shot by Nick Young. Look at that, three people out Wait, in one these second. Are just, this is just more stats for Wei Sheng. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Wei Sheng, 1v2, 1v1. Now he's like, no, let's, let's put it up a level. Let's do 1v4. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if, if Wei Sheng wins this one... Um, if he wins this, how many hits is he on What's going to happen? 23. Should I, should he'll be I on, say he'll if he wins this one, I'll my shirt? He's got oh, one. Oh, no. He got Thank Nick. you. Thank you, Yang. I don't want to eat my shirt. So we Sheng only able to do 1v3, but 1v4, two tall order. Um, two and a half minutes, six sets. What yeah, are you reckon? Ten, six sets? Oh, you mean uh, one more <laughs> set, right? To get for the so Orcas who, to who, claw back. So who got the most hits in Orcas? For the Orcas, what have we got? Eight hits from Chris Lung, ten hits from Nick Young, nine hits from Ash Chan. Okay, so, so it's relatively Ash. close Sunny, between those Sunny three. Sunny did okay, or? Sunny, Kai, three hits. Three hits, yeah. So you can see that he's been, they've he's really been neutralized down, yep. Sunny very well. And I think, uh, I would say that was a very smart game plan. So I think, look, a tactical master class in terms of 
Uh, the great. The, oh, and we shoot with a catch. Yeah, of course. He's going to get a catch, and then he's going to get this hit. Oh, no, he got caught. No, oh, no, he, he got him. He got him. That yep. was a quick set. So we I look at the stats MVP. for 10 seconds, and I look up, and the set's finished. Yeah. So key points are the subbing masterclass by Nico, cerebral stuff. Very cerebral. The unexpected play from... Play from uh, Cyril and Wishing. I, th uh, I don't think I would think that Wishing would have popped off this much. The, the story uh, for me was Wishing being let run rampant. Yeah, you know, yeah. Wishing has not. Wishing has had way too much freedom. And they that just, is just they just fed him early. Yeah, that is just to unacceptable. Use a donor yeah. reference. I mean, they took <laughs> Wishing out <laughs> in the first two carry. sets. They they yeah. Yeah, They yeah, took yeah, him out right. in the first two sets, and then after that, they just stopped taking him out. And I just didn't understand that. Um, even with him on the rush, which, you know, should make him a target. Yeah, yeah. Because I would say, yeah, as you're right, like, to be honest, like, Nico and Ainsley, who are the, basically their star players, have not really done much. Nicky but, gets but, caught there by Jamie. But it's because they haven't needed to do anything. Sunny taken out. And I think the fight's gone out yeah, of the... Oh, Nick with an underarm. Nick Young has an underarm, eh? That's insane. His throat's getting nasty. He always had a pretty yeah. nasty curve, but he's he's got a bit more variety now. It's, it's getting a bit terrifying, old Nick Young. Yeah. But yeah, congratulations to Demons, you guys. Yeah, really well played, really well. Um, Ash as well has been handled. Ash and yeah. Chris, to be honest, both yeah. of them have been handled. Yeah. The Battle of the Wings were won by Demons. Another hit to Cyril. Uh, and then, yeah, Cyril, surprise, amazing star performance. Um, but yeah, definitely Wishing and, uh, Wish and, Wish Cyril, and Cyril were the best. Cyril really making uh, a name for himself with this, this performance, yeah. I feel. He's exploded onto the stage. We sort of, in Victoria, we saw him get better and better and better quietly, and yeah. now it feels like he's announced yeah. himself. But I wonder if the Orcas would agree that they were caught off guard not having Jamie and Kyle in the starting lineup. Yeah, it would be interesting but to I mean, chat to them they might not admit it. They might not admit it, but I feel like if I was them, I would have been surprised. We'll get them drunk surprised. at the after party and we'll, we'll get yeah. the truth out Because like, I was like, okay, we're going to take out Kyle and Jamie and we'll be fine, but clearly they had other ideas. The final sudden death um, for the match now. So yeah, now this game, they don't really care. Did you say Orcas are not going to get 10 points, 10 sets then? They if got they to 10, they got to 10. They got to 10. I forgot they got two in the first match. Ah, I see, I see. Oh yeah, that's so right. It was 2-5 so and now 4. Orcas are now done. They're not even dodging, bothering to dodge. Nick gets it's taken out. Weisheng taken out. So it looks like, let's see what Weisheng's final total yeah. will be. Can we see Weisheng's all, all stats? 24 like hits and one catch. <laughs> but he got caught once. So 24 hits. Accur well, no, that can't be right. It says he's 100% so uh, accuracy. The accuracy is not counting misses. Oh, oh okay, okay. okay. Um, give, the, give the stats guys a break, mate. It's live. Overall defense is 11%. That's... Uh, what? That, that can't be right. And we're all anyway. done. So congratulations to Doncaster. Is it Doncaster? It's just Demon. Congratulations Demons to Demons Club. for taking out API bronze medal. Orcas Look. fourth. But as I said, Orcas have made a deep run in this tournament. They've got... They're basically playing every metal match. Oh, and that's hugely well for a new club. Yeah, yeah. You know, like so we said, the demons have been playing together forever. We, you yeah. saw it here. You saw those little things add up. You saw one or two yeah. players manage to really impact the game. A quick run through of the stats for all the teams since we've got them live. Thanks again to Playback. Four hits to Nico. One catch, got caught once. Alan Zhang, eight hits. No catches, did not get caught. Wei Sheng, 24 hits. Got caught once, took one catch. Ainsley with eight hits, no catches, didn't get caught. Vince Tran, seven hits, got caught once, didn't take any catches. Cyril, 15 hits, got caught zero times, got one catch. Um, who have we got here? Blocked by something, I can't see who that is, but they got two hits. Oh, I could have just scrolled down. Jamie Jones, two hits, got caught once, didn't get any catches. Kyle Cornfield, three hits. Got caught zero times, got one catch, and for the Orcas, Sunny Kai, four hits. Got caught once, didn't take any catches. Chris Long, eight hits. Got caught once, no catches. Nick Young, the MVP for me for the Orcas, 16 hits, got caught zero times, hits. but took wow, two catches. Nice, Nick. I think two catches is the most. Wow. Nicky Nguyen, five hits, no catches, didn't get caught. Yang, four hits, got caught zero times, zero catches though. Ash Chan, 10 hits, got caught twice, got two catches. Ben Yong, three hits, no catches, didn't get caught. And Isaac Yong. Like well. So one. you can see that. Isaac Young, one hit, didn't get caught, Wishing didn't get hit. probably got more hits, um, and almost the, the same amount here? of hits as the whole is, Orcas like team. So, well done to Wishing. That was incredible performance. Uh, and we've also got stats on survivability. Isaac Young typically went out first. <laughs> but Nicholas Young, order of death, fifth to die, usually. A great result for him. And for the Demons, well, they all survived pretty well. 
as you'd expect from the scoreline. Special shout out here to Cyril, Vincent, Ainsley, all of them sixth to die in, in general. And oh my God, it's all expanding. And Nico got two catches, not one. Nico got two catches, I'm told. In one, oh, what's that two thing catches in a row. There we go. Thank you very much to the I stats mean, team. I mean, live stats were review, amazing. amazing. Playback job. review, incredible work. I really loved having I'm, live stats. I'm pretty sure these guys are typing in the stats live as we're talking. So it looks like AI is doing it, but it's actually, but it's actually uh, the people. big brain of David Tran. So we're just abusing is, the uh, <laughs> volunteer labor, yeah. as dodgeball tournaments do. But again, yeah, so the, all the bronze medal matches are done. So the winners were Gorillas, Aces, and Demons. And uh, fourth place to Orcas is still orcas a very respectable orcas. performance. <laughs> orcas, Orcas, and Orcas? orcas yeah. Oh my god. Um, what's, what's the plural of Orcas? Is Orcas the plural of Orcas? Oh, I think or that question okay. has been Orky. raised. What's, what's a group of Orcas Orkai. called? Let's Google that. <laughs> I don't know. Let me Google that right now. Gold medal matches up and coming. What are a group of Orcas called? They're called pods. So the pods win. The pods of orcas upon fourth place. Cumulatively. Or That's a cumulative. collective noun, not a, um, not a plural, is it? But as I said, it's, it's, although we make, sounds like we're making fun of that, it's actually a huge achievement in such a big tournament. So congratulations to orcas. They still have in a gold a, And they, and they, they, they have, have multiple teams medal. in some divisions, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. Actually, I believe their other orcas team What's for women's is in the gold medal match. No. No? It, it, Oh, is it? No, 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 no sorry, no. not women's. Mixed, no. mixed, mixed. Yeah, mixed. Yeah, so so they still have a... Uh, orcas there's... have guaranteed silver. They can still win a gold. And three, and, yeah. So Sunny can still win a gold, which is what I want. Alex Sunny Young, Kai. it's her birthday, so she wants she wants to win two medals on her birthday. Or she got two medals. She wants to win a is gold she and a bronze. Is she in the Orcas mixed team? Yes. Yeah, okay. She wants to win a gold and a bronze, not a bronze and a silver. That's correct. Um, still plenty of action to come. And we got Baby Monster and... Tobacco. Tobacco. What's Tabeka? Is that like a I believe it's a team cake? from Hong Kong. Oh, Hong Kong, okay. Oh, and Hong Kong women are pretty crazy. Bronze medalists at the most recent World Championships and the World Championships before. Uh, anyway, no. so ladies no. and gentlemen, we'll have a we'll They have were a silver medalists break. the year before. They're, they're tournament before. Oh, amazing. So, so we're very strong. Break, and we'll Thanks, everyone. Back. We'll be back. Hooroo. Big matches, the gold medal matches for the title. So now I have a change in commentary. I have here with me Mr. Jack Diffin from G'day. Perth and Sydney. From Perth be helping and me. Sydney. Yeah, Perth and Sydney. Um, so we have uh, a battle between Australia and Hong Kong. We got, oh, and Malaysia, <laughs> should I say. So we have a Baby Monster. Between monsters and who, men. Who uh, uh, have been uh, on a tear this tournament, I think, undefeated. Smashing everyone easily. Uh, so the lineup we have Belinda, Carolyn, Kelly, Kai, Mai, Megan, and Steph. So a combination of Sydney and Malaysian ladies. And on the other side we have Tabeko. And we have um, now, excuse me for pronouncing them wrong if I do, but we have Czech, Lam Du, Ka Kyu, Kit Yin, Ming Zi, Zi Shan, Wing Man, Yuk Lam, Yuk Lan, and Yu He, uh, who have also had a strong showing this tournament. Um, so we will see how we go. I think this will be a really, really exciting match. Uh, Every single one of these ladies have probably played at the highest level in World Championships. Um, so yeah, it should be an exciting match. Be interesting to see how they play tactically. Um, and so far we've had uh, absolute one-sided affairs. So I'd like to see a really tight game here, just for the excitement of calling this match and for the crowd. So away we go. Steph Lowe loses out the trade. Oh, but they also lose at a second player. Was it a so, double? I think they threw two balls, yeah, so... Oh, we've got the screen, I like it. Yep. So, Carolyn takes a cross shot. A lot of punishing happening at the moment. So, maybe both teams just trying to feel out each other. Uh, looks like both teams are looking to be very aggressive here. 
Um, so Baby Monster with a throw. Carolyn just misses. And uh, Tobacco will have the advantage. You said Tobacco are uh, a Hong Kong team? Yes, I believe so. But uh, Hong Kong did uh, really well in World Championships. So mm. I'm not sure how many of these ladies are actually from the Hong Kong national team. But even if they're not, I would say they're probably close to that level. Oh, Beautiful shot, shot from the middle there. Very well tracked on the uh, dodge. By number 15, taking out Mai Nguyen. And now it's a 3v6 advantage. Carolyn looks like she wants to cross a lot, um, which I don't know if it's such a good move, as long as she doesn't get punished, because obviously if she's crossing from right to left, then she's gonna, leaving herself open to the punish, but we'll see how that works. Uh, Bell with a beautiful throw. It's got a very nice curve on it. Yeah, lovely tail. Yeah, it's almost not as good as yours. Oh, my I mean, sorry, I mean, I mean not as yours is not as good as hers. That's oh, what I meant, meant to say. <laughs> um, Otherwise, I'd but be your a metal one's match. not bad too. Your <laughs> one's not bad too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were very short of the middle match. Not good enough. <laughs> but you know, these guys are the, the best in the world. So no surprise that they made it this far. So all the uh, we still have um, number eighteen, Yuan Kelly, and uh, no, Kai on for Baby Monster. Uh, oh! oh! So Kai blocks it into Bell. Bell could have caught that. So Hong Kong definitely looks like they're utilizing their fakes very well, trying to like really um, be unpredictable in when they're throwing. Uh, so you know what? It's time to stand up. This match is heating up, and so am I. Yeah. So Down Baby Monster is going to have to be really uh, alert the whole time because they're faking a lot. So you don't know when they're going to throw. But they decide to switch wings here because uh, Kai wants to throw that side. Oh, Crossing good cross. Oh, oh, oh Kai punishes. Bates it out, textbook play. But Pang, what a catch. Beautiful positioning after crossing that shot. Um, Two balls colliding uh, both There's dead. a dead ball. Oh, Ooh. and Hong Kong going, uh, Tobacco going for trades here, which is probably smart because they have more players. Doesn't quite and get their hands around it. Yeah, and Kai um, just goes for the catch because you know the set's probably over. She don't want to waste her energy that early. So Tobacco with an early lead. Oh, we've got uh, we've got music between the sets. Yeah, this is a professional setup here by Zany. This is wow. <laughs> this is the best dodgeball tournament ever. So a bit late to the party here, Jake. Um, <laughs> all right, Steph Lowe is pretty good on the rush. Oh, Hong uh, Tobacco a uh, bit scared, Fumbled lost that ball, ball, but they still the got rush. it. That's a menacing uh, opening rush by Baby Monster. Um, Some might yeah, describe so it as monstrous. Yeah, that's right. Um, I wonder if it's a play on words to the Korean brand Gentle Monster, which is a glasses brand. Maybe uh, these guys are all into K-pop and stuff. Baby uh, Monster are really favoring that cross in on set throws. Huh? Oh, what's Baby? Yeah, I don't know what Baby Monster, but... Um, at the moment, Tobacco not really... Uh, not really too scared and really matching up to it. Ooh. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I definitely think, you know, Carolyn, for me, is potentially even the best female player in the world. So, you know, like, her, her, she's going to be really important in, oh, uh, in this match. Throw. Beautiful throw by Steph. Steph Lowe's slider is, you know, probably, you know, one of the best throws um, in Australia right now. She's been carving up people this tournament and in Worlds. Uh, sorry, not this tournament, this year and in the World Championship, so, um, you know, she'll be really instrumental as well. But I really think, you know, the key for, um, key for Baby Monster is Carolyn popping off um, and, and potentially uh, the Malaysian stars as well, like Kelly. Great laterals um, on display there. Yeah. Staying alive um, down But the obviously, line. yeah, I'm not 100% I'm not sure about uh, Tobacco, I, you know, but if they're anything like oh, the great Hong Kong women that sort of demolished uh, some countries at Worlds, I think, you know, they're going to be really scary. Follows but the dodge straight through the block. Yeah. Oh, beautiful punish. Um, so every time uh, Baby Monster using those angled shots, the Tobacco are really capitalizing on that. So maybe, you know, they need to reconsider taking those shots and maybe just try to go straight through. I would say the girls have decent enough throws that they could just Break through the was blocks. that a wing double single? Uh, they shot across. That uh, was an interesting double single play. Yeah. Oh, and an immediate return. Yeah, Why is so difficult to hit? 
Yeah, Mai is a good dodger. Mai is a good dodger for sure. Um, yeah, but that's oh. A, oh, there we go. Mai better throw it than dodger. What a beautiful headshot. They've been setting up their Completely throws. Completely destroyed. Like, she's got a really late curve on that sidearm throw. It's a beautiful action, actually. Um, I like gets the a lot of velocity on it. in timing. They've been uh, setting up their throws with so many fakes, and then Mai runs straight to yeah, the line and yeah. throws with nothing. Yeah, both teams, I think, utilizing the fakes very well. Uh, uh, definitely. But uh, at the moment, uh, the game's quite slow paced, um, which suggests to me that both teams respect each other. So they're, they're not looking to take too many risks. As opposed to if you saw that. That was a risk. If you, saw that, demons, <laughs> if you saw that Demons uh, Orcas game, it was just a game of fast paced aggression. Um, but I don't know. Like I feel like Baby Monster and potentially Tobacco, they play better with aggression, but both teams. Uh, Respecting each other a bit too much, maybe. We saw yesterday that Baby Monster are very, very comfortable in punish chain matches. And that oh. it seems... Oh, oh what that. a catch. Well, that was a good punish, but it was just very unlucky that... Um, it was a great catch by number seven, no? But, uh, yeah, these catches are actually not going in favor of Baby Monster at the moment. Oh, well, we've already I, had I two know, in uh, two sets. I would, I would say that Baby Monsters are the favourites, so this is... Yeah, this is an interesting start to the game, for sure. I've yeah. caught a few of the Baby Monster games throughout the uh, tournament. They've been great to watch. And it seems like the punish chains are where they're at their strongest. Yeah. So playing a little slower, a little set for oriented, you know, wasn't what I was expecting yeah. to see. Well, at the moment, the two times they punished, they got caught. Mm. So. Mm. I mean, I mean, look, uh, early catch sometimes gets in your mind mm. and that sort of stops the punish, but I don't think you should stop doing that just because you got caught once or twice. Oh, beautiful throw by Carolyn. Here we go. Things heating up. So Baby Monster really need this set um, to sort of break the momentum. Interesting positioning here, stacking out the right side yeah. on the set throw. Uh, that, yeah, I've actually never seen that before. Um, Anyway, I'm sure she knows there must be a reason for it. I guess I guess if she's in the middle, oh. it does allow her to dodge both directions. So she's maybe a good dodger. She's, she's she, keeping her options open if to, she wants to, to dodge in like many that, directions. It puts her further away from mm. Baby Monster's left. It gives her a better angle shooting yeah. out than it does being shot out. Oh, that slider from Steph Lowe. Yeah, like, that's incredible. dirty. Yeah, people, what a nasty yeah, people shot. should really learn how to block that, but... Um, <laughs> Nobody has. Nobody, nobody can block. No, just learn how to block it. Uh, beautiful oh, double stagger. And Baby Monster, as I said, Carolyn is definitely their star player. And, and she's showing it in the set. Yeah, oh. look at that slider. Beautiful. And uh, that timing Tracking. by Carolyn. Um, so yeah, Steph and Carolyn doing damage here. Um, so one all, pretty even game. But uh, yeah, just feel like the game is a bit slow, a bit timid. Both teams are kind of really respecting each other too much. I, I remember, you know, watching the throwdown game where Orcas upset Sirens and I felt like Orcas beat Sirens because Sirens went too timid and Orcas just started taking too many risks. Um, so I, you know, I, I hope all, um, Baby Monster have learned, you know, Baby Monster, some of the Baby Monster players that played learned from that. Um, and, 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 you know, I, I really think, you know, they shine when they're more aggressive. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, oh Karen going for, the, for catch. the catch. Doesn't get to pocket it yeah, though, that's bounces a, out. That's a really good pick there for Tobeko because they really want Carolyn to be taken out of this game. So, oh, and yeah, I think, yeah, Tobeko seems to be really strong on the counters. Have we got any stats there, Jake, that are of interest at the moment? It's just being updated. Thanks for playback review. Ooh, and Tobeko coming back. Three easy straight hits. Um, and now it's a 5v3. Oh, big shot oh, in from nice the side. Dip. So Megan, uh, is that Megan? Yeah, Megan has a really nice dip there. So that, that's an interesting dip to watch out for. That's kind of like uh, a different version of the slider. Trade and started, Megan trades. Both found. Uh, that's probably okay, considering Steph and Belinda are possibly their clutch players. So let's see how let's see what we can do. Belinda is really really good at dodging, so um, she'll survive. Yeah, she'll survive the doubles very easily. And I think maybe you know they just want Steph to clean up the 
the court with the sliders. Ah, give us there the sliders, Dad. Ah, no, it's a fake. She crosses. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, Tobeko is uh, yeah, playing really well. I think the, the counter game seems to be quite much better uh, than Baby Monster. Baby Monster not really countering and relying on their set throws. Mm. Oh. I mean, when you've got the throws that they've got, it makes sense to utilize them there like you go. that. That slider again, that slider again, you know. Steph Lowe is going to just... Filthy. Yeah, eat these guys up if they don't start dodging. Because you're not going to be able to block that shot. Especially on a women's court where, it's a, you know, the distance is a bit shorter. Mm. You know, Steph Lowe takes out people in the, men, uh, in the bigger court, the mix and the men's court. So in the women's court, you know, she's farming stats if uh, Tobacco's don't start dodging. Oh, Belinda, oh, uh, that player was kind of close, out of position. I, I feel like Belinda could have taken that, but she decides against it. And again, I'm just, you know, and then that's, the the kind of, that's the kind of thing I'm seeing is like, the, the both, uh, especially Baby Monster, they seem to be holding back a bit, you know, mm. holding back the aggression, kind of worried about getting hit. Um, oh, oh it's just This slider is ridiculous. This slider is ridiculous. Um, she I might have to go. Like four she might have to do a course on this blocks. slider because uh, no one can block it. Oh, nice double! Uh, she does get blocked. Oh, and Belinda gets taken out. So it's a one v one between Dew and Steph Lowe. So, you know, my money's on Steph Lowe just because of that dangerous slider. But uh, let's see what throw Dew has. So she just seems to have a regular fastball. But the, yeah. Plays as long as, well, though, as, long as Jew is aware of you know what trajectory Steph is throwing from, because because even though the slider is quite dangerous, um, it, it follows a very predictable trajectory. She should be okay, but obviously she's probably not in familiar enough with her throw. Or oh, yep, uh, looks like yeah, Dew's throw is pretty good, but I think the slider just has a better block block breaking ability. But Dew's dodging is going to make her survive. So, so the fact that she's doing lateral movement is really making it harder for Steph to hit her. Mm. Uh, but Steph also doing lateral. So yeah, that dodging is really good. Ooh, Ooh dodging into the side. I don't yeah. know if that's such a good idea. <laughs> I think she, she better dodge in the other direction, but we'll see. Um, this is quite a close one. I think this is quite crucial. Strong block. Uh, but yeah, I feel like yeah, Steph has the better chance of getting through the block here. Uh, now it's all endurance. The fatigue's hitting. The 1v1. It keeps going. Your opponent's rushing you back. You're rushing them back. It's going to be fitness that wins this set, I think. No, good block there by Steph. Yeah. It, I, 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 I kind of not seeing Dews throw as a threat to Steph when she has two balls. Ooh, great block. Uh, ooh. So, you know, Steph, if she plays it perfect, if she plays it exactly like how she's doing, I think she has the higher chance of winning this set. Mm, playing very clean. Yep. So dodging away from the slider, that's a smart move. Oh, strong one-arm block. I think Dew would want to yeah, instantly counter after Steph throws because uh, her best chance of getting Steph out is if Steph has one ball. Mm. Um, but it's good to see Steph playing actually patiently. Sometimes she, she tends to throw the extra ball when she loses patience, but I think she's understanding the importance of this set. I um, uh, kind of feel like there's a little bit of a dip on that shot. Uh, still ball advantage to Tobeko. Uh, yeah, but Steph, Steph, Steph is just easily blocking those. Yeah, easily blocking those. I feel like Dew is a bit more tired than Steph. Maybe mm. Dew is one of the rushes. Yep, again, dodging into the slider. Scary stuff. I kind of feel like, you know when they have three balls, sometimes you pre-throw and try to disarm them. Mm. I feel like, you know, that's not a bad strat. Great lateral still. Nobody Steph ever does it. Still having plenty of juice left in the tank. Ooh, that was close. That is a good counter. Oh, wait, here we go. Steph Lowe. Oh, it bounced. I think. No, Paul, the ref calls it a block. Yeah. Steph blocks it easily. This is maybe the chance for her to get it. Yeah. I think Steph's uh, throw is also being affected by fatigue here. Surfing a lot of balls. You can see she's tired. Not a bad idea to call a timeout here just to give them a rest. And that's what Carolyn Lee might be about to do. Is she? Yeah, there you go, called it. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah this is smart a really play. smart move by Captain Carolyn because Steph Lowe is super tired, but so is Dew. So, so just to rest the girls, you know, um, no, no tactical adjustment needed. I think Steph has the, the throwing advantage. Dew looks a bit more tired than uh, Steph, actually. If you have a look at Dew, she's on the floor in her haunches. Um, yeah, she looks much more tired than Steph. 
can see dodgeball, you need a lot of uh, oh, lot these of 1v1s. to but be able yeah. to do this 1v1. Nothing drains you like a dodgeball 1v1, I tell you. Um, you it's tell me. <laughs> you telling me? You telling me about 1v1? It's a figure of Come speech. On. Come on, man. Um, it's just the get, interval just training. Just get fitter, right? Just get fitter. Um, well, it's basically just uh, a long set of interval training, sprints up, sprints back, uh, with very little rest in between. Yeah, so this is a really slow game compared to all the games we're watching. Um, who wins this set will be crucial. The, the Tobacco coach giving some last minute advice. The crowd looks very, very uh, sleepy. I don't know why. <laughs> um, all right, let's see how we go. It's almost like they're not watching uh, so the same Steph matches. So Steph Lowe, let's see that slider. Oh, it's a bit too high. Dew ducks under it. Um, yeah, yeah. Fatigue definitely affecting both players' throws. Steph's so. one-arm block just with the ball in the left is very impressive. She's relied on that uh, several times now, yeah, safely. She, she does tend to do that, but but I feel like sometimes if she does that, like if you hit her in the foot, she's a bit vulnerable. Mm. Um, but obviously, yeah. Look, fatigue starting to kick in. I think now is when maybe one of these two will start losing patience. Maybe throw an extra one. Um, that's a beautiful block. Well track. Countering. Oh, Steph Lowe. She's tired. She's very tired. Wow, Dew's actually, I think, now looks less tired than Steph. Looks much more sprightly. Which is interesting because Dew is the one doing all the countering, but, but I take guess running shots. backwards actually can take a lot of, uh, lot of energy. Um, and now the blocking's going to start becoming questionable because they're so tired. But yeah, but I guess... Oh, 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 was that a hit? No, it's not a hit, maybe, it was a bounce. Maybe not. But then the other thing is, I think this does play into Tobeko's advantage because Steph Lowe is going to be subbed out after this set 100%. Mm. And Steph Lowe is the one doing all the damage. So this is good for Tobeko regardless. But if Tobeko wins this set, this is a big, big win for them. So we'll see how we go here. So Steph really needs to win this set. Crowd's so really the getting into it now too. Advantage. Good block, I think that's close. Yeah, but you can see block. the slider always has that potential to create a finger block. Now the crowd getting involved. A this battle set. of endurance. That's a bad shagging there by... Um, this set's been 10 minutes in the making. Bad shagging there by the Baby Monster player. That That's not good, you know. Oh, oh the slider! Slides its mark! The slides it into the out. shoelaces of the Tobacco player. Uh, but she's going to be out for a little bit. Um, so, yeah, as I said, it is very important that Steph win this set. Look at this beautiful curve into the foot. Um, but you can see fatigue creating that really bad dodge because she's too tired, she can't dodge properly. Um, so, yeah, well done, Steph Lowe. Marathon effort. Um, Marathon effort, yeah. I'd like to see Good how long this fatigue is going to affect Steph because Obviously, if Steph doesn't play oh, for a great lot of the shot. game, then Immediately finds uh, the this knees. might be a problem. But and rush. a refund, was it? Good rush. But yeah, Carolyn really needs to uh, try to stay alive here because oh, my you can bounce. see if Carolyn's out quickly, then it's, it takes a long time for the sets to be finished. But yeah, Baby Monster with Content. advantage. Just uh, reflecting and rushing yeah. back. Oh, oh beautiful great shot. shot. Nice shot by Kai. Looked a little too ready to, quite shot, quite shot. to start um, that counter rush. Beautiful shot. Um, Didn't finish the block. Yeah, uh, Tobeko just doing single ball, so I think they prefer to play counter. They prefer to play counter mm. heavy game, and mm -hmm. they don't like to do team throws, which is fine. Uh, oh, well but found. now Kai, yeah. Kai Again, taking up the they're slack too from keen. Steph Lowe. They're trying to get up the yeah. court. Yeah, and they want to they rush counter, right? Yeah. Baby, uh, baby monster back, yeah, but, but they're not yeah. finishing their blocks first. But it's good to see Kai stepping up because Steph is out of out of the game for the moment. Um, Gonna have a breather and, after a yeah, set and, like that. And Carolyn hasn't even, you know, Megan and Carolyn haven't even done much yet. So, <laughs> so this is a good set. This You're is a good set. You're an unforgiving commentator, aren't you? No, I mean done much yet, as in you know, like they got, they're about to do some damage. So we're about to do some damage. Yeah, let's see it. Oh. Trade started, but neither player hit out. I think the trades would work better for Tobacco, but um, as I said, because Baby Monster is probably playing a bit more passive than I would expect them to. Um, the trade's not working out. Yeah, but yeah, Baby Monster is playing really, really slow. You'd be content to trade when you're up players, when you're up two players, uh, wouldn't you? Yeah, but what I'm saying oh, is... Oh, what a catch! Um, Straight into the pocket, gets the grippers around it. Tobacco is the one trying to trade, but Baby Monster don't want to. But, they, yeah, they should, but they don't want to. 
But you know, I, I guess it's that's one of the things with playing in a team with everyone as a superstar is everyone's life is valuable as opposed yeah. to in a more balanced team you have these support players that will take the trades and allow the stars to crush so you know it, it's sometimes harder because everyone is just as good at each other so you know sometimes you have a team with six stars and no support players there's that trade we're talking about megan wasn't ready for it so she's actually trying to survive it even though the shot was actually not on her so yeah but you can see yeah, the contrast in styles. You can see a team, a counter-heavy team that's looking to trade versus a team that are just relying on their set throws because they have such strong and beautiful throws. Um, oh, ooh, and another one throws another the fifth throw, and yeah. finds it. Yeah, so that, this contrast in style is very, very interesting. Baby monster do seem but, like they're holding back. Oh, Carolyn wants to switch wings going, let me handle this. Oh, oh it's sudden death. So baby monster very can well take it. Very well played by but Tebeka, right? Like they, yeah. they're in a 6v2, but they took two trades off. And I think that's, you know, that's the way you're going to take them out. We've got the roaming camera now, a little bit of on-court footage. All right, Straight so into sudden death. No sudden blocking death. allowed. Yeah, no blocking. Um, after, the, after this sudden death, we might look at the stats to see who's performing. Um, but yeah, Tebeka really need this set, I think. Uh, if they want to make it a cool game. But Carolyn, nice trade. As Jake said, you want to trade if you're up players because it doesn't really matter. Um, so even though, you know, trading for Carolyn, if it creates a 3v1, you take that. Mm. Uh, oh, oh, that is a, a bit lazy. That is very, very... And suddenly we have ourselves another 1v1. Really oh, and oh, oh, she takes it. She wins a 4v1. Oh, no, no, 1v3. And that is a mistake by Baby Monster. They were very, very casual. Um, I think in a sudden death situation, you should know that the opponent is going to pre-throw. And the fact that they were all in an unbalanced position and just taken out by the pre-throw is unacceptable. So yeah, that's a beautiful catch there by Kai. Was really the carrier of that team. But look at that. Catching them off guard four times. So, they got, so Baby Monster got hit four times with pre-throws in one set. That is not acceptable because you know um, you know that that's what they're trying to do. If 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 Baby Monster want to take out people that are doing that, they need to increase the aggression. They can't passively allow each of their players just to get pre-thrown and no punish. So yeah, Baby Monster needs to make some adjustments. Looks like Chris Lung is coming in to give them a bit of advice. Um, yeah, but I feel like. Baby Monster have look. I could be wrong, but because I don't know many of the um, Tobacco players, but it sounds like Baby Monster have the superior firepower. But because they're all superstars, they're too passive. They're too passive, and they're not. They're they're giving um, Tobacco too much respect, and this is allowing Baby Monster to not punish, not attack and allowing Tebeka to come back. So I think Baby Monster needs to just increase the aggression. You know, I feel like when Sirens lost to Orcas, this is exactly what happened, is the Sirens, you know, there were too many superstars in the team. They were all too worried about dying. Mm. And instead of doing, as opposed to Tebeka, they are not caring about dying and they're trying to counter, pre-throw, taking the extra risk. And sometimes you have to take the risk. Um, so I hope you they can make that adjustment. Yeah, I think they can. I hope they can make that adjustment because I think they're being a bit too passive, and 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 I think you know that's allowing them to get back into the game. And remember, this is after Steph Lowe won that clutch. Imagine if Steph had lost that clutch, Baby Monster would be down three one. All right. So stats wise, who's stats. doing well? well? I mean, obviously, straight off the bat, Steph, five hits on those sliders in. Well, I'm pretty sure sets. four of those hits in, was in one yeah, set. Yeah, in, in the same set. Uh, I mean, on the other side, though, nine hits already from uh, player one on Tobacco, which is incredible. I think she was the one that clutched that 1v3. What's her name? Sui. Well done, Sui. That, that was really smart pre-throwing, but mm. I, think, I think that knowing that it was a sudden death, I think Baby Monster should have been aware of this. So... Uh, I feel like even though we, uh, Sui did a really good job, Baby Monster sort of kind of threw that sudden death. Because they could have just, you know, if they could have, they should have expected the pre-throw and they should have just dodged it, collected all the balls that doubled her, 
or if she was going to free throw, you have to answer back. You have to punish yeah. that shot. But they didn't do either, and they lost that set. So hopefully, as I said, Baby Monster, we need, uh, you know, obviously Baby Monster having Sydney representation, I, I will support them. They need to step up here, and I think they need to be a bit more aggressive because I think their passive nature is actually allowing Tebeko, who's playing a counter-heavy game and trade-heavy game, to actually come back when they should be rolling, steamrolling them. Looking at Especially the with Steph Slider, Carolyn's throw. I feel like, how many, throw has, how many hits has Carolyn got? So Carolyn's got four hits, but, you know, I think she should have ten hits by now. Um, Just hit more shots, is that your advice? I think, as I said, I think, he need, I think Baby Monster needs to up the aggression. They, they're being too passive. Um, and the other thing is, you know, like, I don't, I'm not seeing team throws by either teams. So, you know, that, and mm. again, I, I can see, I think, both teams are respecting each other way too much, and they're playing a very ball control heavy game, which is, it, sometimes it works if you're all on point, but sometimes, you know, if you're not hitting your shots, um, you guys just need to commit, you know, like, like, like risk more balls, but commit to the dodging. Anyway, so the score is two all. So just don't miss is our <laughs> official commentator advice. So that is Jake, Jake Diffin's summary. No, no, but that, was what, sure, that was what you said. I'm sure, um, <laughs> you know, the more cerebral people will uh, take more out, more out of the analysis. But Except throw doesn't quite find there his mark. Neither the trade. Yeah, Both a little bit more staying alive. There. That's good. Um, this set seems now we can to be already see, uh, off to a the different tobacco, pace. Yeah, Tobacco uh, now doing straight throws. Beautiful counter there by Carolyn. There the we go. That's what I'm saying. Starts, but oh, what a catch! Results in the catch. That's a bit unlucky. Look, that was not a bad move. It was just unlucky. But I, I definitely like that this change in, change in pace. Mm -hmm. I think this is better. Um, so let's see if this continues. Oh, good cross there by number one. Belinda could have crossed, but that's okay. Um, now, maybe Monza, the will they do a double wall play? I'd, I'd like to see if they make that adjustment too. This uh, heavy punish gameplay. No. So yeah, again, you know, Baby Monster are relying on the power of uh, the throw of each of these superstar players, but you know, which means they're not really utilizing team throws. Oh, oh nice shuffles dodge. in and then shoots out. Dodge by Kelly. Nice work. Manages to get a hair out of the way as well, which is always the hard so part again, of dodging. So again, we have four hair. balls here. Will they continue to do with the same strat with? Keeping the ball control? Yes, they will. That's fine. But at least I want to see Baby Monster countering a bit more. So let's see how they go here. Well, they've already started this set with straight away a punish chain. Yeah, there was a really good punish chain, but it was just a catch. Oh, Beautiful. speaking of which, Beautiful. we yeah, see we another go. punish chain. And this the is seconds. exactly how Baby Monster needs to start playing Three quick to hits. start to dominate this game. So, you know, definitely that, that tactical adjustment in half time. Uh, I'm really liking that, Jake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's this is amazing. the gameplay that this I was seeing on this the is, previous this is, days. There we go. This is good. This is exactly what should have happened in that sudden death is she pre-throwed and one of the girls should have punished. So now they're, you know, sort of understanding what adjustments they need to make. Oh, my throwing an invalid throw there. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, this, this thing where the wings stay in the middle is kind of trippy, isn't it? It is. It's very unusual. unusual. Um, but as I said, you know, like Carolyn and Belle are amazing at counters. And they, in, the, in the first half, they never counted. So this is much better. Oh, oh throwing the fist. Caught the foot. Oh, oh it doesn't quite pocket the catch. The, oh, no. And a punish back. I, yeah, that, I think that that was a little bit lazy by Bell. I think she could have done better to survive that. But uh, still a great throw by number 10. Um, Ewing, well done. Oh, nice throw by Carolyn Lee. And finds the hands oh, at the end there. Oh, here we go. So baby monster bringing up the aggression, and you can see, when they're more aggressive, they can dominate this team. They're showing that. A three-minute um, set. That's yeah, the shortest that's we've right. seen so exactly. far. So, so oh, that's a great dodge by, Ke I think it was Kelly or Megan. Kelly. Um, but, but look at this. Look at this counter. Look at this punish. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Textbook chain. Yeah. This is the kind of thing that is going to get Baby Monster to start taking the momentum of this game. Um, I like how I, Tebeka are always ready to take an extra shot. And yeah. if they ever feel like their opponents right. aren't giving them their full attention, they're very prepared to throw it. And right. they've, they've secured a lot of hits so far this match right. of doing exactly that. And look, if Tobeko's crossing... So if, if Baby Monster is going to make this adjustment, then Tobeko need to realise that, and they need to stop crossing, because every time there's a cross, 
baby monster will now be looking to punish. Yeah. So they really, so they, look, I mean, they don't necessarily need to throw at a ball carrier, but they might need to just narrow the angle a bit because if you throw a really wide angle, then the punishes will be on. Yeah, it'd be a lot more exposed. So, but yeah, let, let's see if Tobacco utilize any team throws. I haven't really seen either team. Oh, there's a good oh, team throw. Splitting one nice in. Nice split one in. Um, yeah, so that yeah that team throw I think Tobacco need to do mm -hmm. uh, because it's going to be hard for them to get to the defense. Now surprisingly, Death Flow is still out. Yeah, so oh, oh nice what trade. A trade! That's a beautiful trade by number 27, taking out Carolyn Lee. So you can see Tobacco making those necessary adjustments as well. So this is creating a more exciting game. It's great to see the macro gameplay, yeah. the strategic gameplay. One team adjusts, the other team adjusts to the new style of 100%. play. It's impressive. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, and the team throw utilization now by Tobacco is handling uh, Baby Monster. So this is, yeah, this is good tactical dodgeball. It's a game of rock, um, paper, yeah, scissors as really, well. Really, you know, both ladies' uh, teams. Oh, oh another trade. trade! Both ladies' teams showing, you know, a lot of, um, you know, adjustment. Tobacco, and uh, tobacco rather. Tobacco. Very, <laughs> very happy to tobacco take that trade. Tobacco smoking while. at the moment. Smoking <laughs> the baby monsters. Um, so, <laughs> um, yeah. So that that's that's really good. So you know, each time you lose a set, you make the necessary adjustment to win the next set. Now, surprisingly, Steph Lowe's still out. So you can see that one v one really took a lot out of her, um, and and that's probably helped Tobacco a little bit. Um, but yeah. Uh, Tobacco should win this set, or oh, not should win this set, but they're favourites to win this set. Mm. And then, you know, we're looking at a really interesting match here. Probably the first one uh, to, of today. Number 19 in the middle there, holding off the punish on that throw, opting to go for another set throw. Oh. They've been very disciplined her, her with her that new game beautiful. plan. Good. That was, I, I, would, I actually kind of like that pre-throw, even though she she missed. Yep. Oh, no, she, uh, sorry, she got blocked. Yep. Um, but, you know, to, if she dodges, no. Nah. She really needed to dodge that double. It kind of, you knew that was a double. But uh, yeah, the two Malaysian superstars uh, trying to carry the baby monster to a uh, set win. Ooh, that was close. Well now, stated, it yeah, was but close. The, but looks like they are trying to do team throws if when they had five balls, but maybe not when they had four. Oh, nice shot. Does get a sneak nice on shot. the way past. So Kai, yeah, Kai has been really working really hard for Baby Monster on the absence of Steph Lowe. So yeah, well done by Kai. Let's see if she can still... Um, has, how many hits has she got? She's got quite a few. Uh, three she's got hits three, so far. Oh, no, I think that should be refreshed. She's got mm -hmm. more than three hits. Yeah, so this, this set it will be very key. I think if Bobby, Baby Monster win, then they are going to slow the game down. And oh, oh, well found. What a beautiful shot by Jung. Tracks the dodge perfectly oh, and straight through out. the blocks. Who does he take out? Is it Kelly? Sorry, Kelly, Megan, and Kai. Um, I only can tell Kai because she's wearing the blue knee pad. Um, but it, they're a bit too far away for me to tell which they are. Can't see their numbers. Sam's got old man eyes, not wearing um, his glasses. But yeah, here's... Oh, good free throw. I th yeah, so... I think Tobacco should probably utilize a pre-throw here. Kai's pretty dangerous, so if they keep just throwing one ball, uh, she'll probably take him out eventually. Oh, going Ooh, for the trade! Incredible block oh, as Kai well. Out? No, oh, no, Kai's still alive! She got that single ball block. up there while, oh. while falling back as well. Blocking so on the move like Jung that is incredibly Kai. difficult. Jung versus Kai. So Jung, Jung did most of the damage in Tobacco and Kai in uh, Baby Monster. So this is the battle of the the two damage dealers for this set. The two so damage this is, dealers. This is crucial. So we know Baby Monster won the last 1v1. So it's really important that Tebeko win this one. Um, I, I mean, wonder how looking, long this looking, set's looking, going to end up like being. Looks like Kai has this slightly more velocity in her throw. Um, but you can see the confidence with Kai because she's, she's so close to the middle line. So she's obviously not scared to block Jung's ball. She's standing at the activation line. This is ridiculous. Her confidence is incredible. As opposed to, you can see, Jung is right at the back line, but Kai's like, I can block you easily. Right at the activation line. I think Kai's looking to do a pre-throw here, but misses. But you can see, like, I think Kai's aggression and... Uh, oh, oh, oh! Oh, trade started! Oh, I think it was close. 
All right, we're gonna need but a. But definitely, <laughs> Kai's, like Kai's aggression in that set. No fear I think at all. It, it made Jung scared to throw. Yeah. So she kept missing. Baby Monster wins the set. Yeah, that aggression by Kai really stifled Jung's throw, um, and made him miss a lot. And then they went for the trade. So. Both There's a miss there. She goes on her knees. Releasing motion. at the same time. Yeah, oh. so, yeah it is right, yeah, now. By so a Kai fraction did, of a yeah, second, yeah, Baby Kai Monster. Did win that set. Um, but Baby Monster now, it's Steph Lowe's back as well, so the slider is in action. Um, Kai, oh no, she's still going to play. We have a new hit leader with uh, Steph being off for a few sets. Caro. Yeah, Carolyn Lee, start, now in front when she for starts Baby to Monster. counter, she starts to win. So, yeah, she's made that changes. Um, so yeah, Tobeko need this set, otherwise it might be game over. So I guess it'll be interesting to see, you know, Baby Monster has uh, increased the aggression and started to win. But now that they're up by two, will they try to slow the game down? Or will they try to continue their momentum? I would suggest that they should just keep playing aggressive, because they've got the power advantage. But let's see. But Tobeko really needs to start doing team throws to to finish off the set. Oh, beautiful oh, cross. What a fine that shooting is a in. beautiful cross. Kai taking out the MVP of last set. Both teams have found a lot of success yes, with I think attempting those this yeah. match. Shooting taking in from the wing. Taking that cross shot the into the middle, yeah. That's, that's not a bad tactic. I, I think if you're not going to do a team throw, then you should definitely at least throw at non-ball carriers because you have a better chance to hit. But, oh, so looking at that, did you see how they didn't move up too far yeah. to throw? So, so that kind of line. suggests to me that they're trying to now take, uh, waste some time. Stall it out. But I say that again. The last time Sirens were up in throwdown, they tried to go fully passive, and then the other team went fully aggressive, and they lost this game. So, yep. so I really don't want this to happen, but... We'll it's see. a bit of a trade-off yeah. between playing the way in which you've been winning, which Correct. of course you want to do, it's your team's Correct. strength, versus think, trying know, to reduce variability. I think the aggression is working, why change it? You know, like they're passive, every time they were passive, they were losing set. Now I know, you know, it, it is tempting to uh, play a bit slower now that you have a two-pill advantage, oh, but now you're slowly losing, because now, what, look at them, they're not countering, they're being passive, and they're just trying to run out the clock, but they're actually, it's actually not helping them. Mm. So, but I mean, obviously the star power of Carolyn, uh, if she can stay alive for eight minutes, Baby Monster still got this game. But I think they're sh kind of shooting themselves in the foot by, by playing like this, um, when, when the counters were working so well. But let's see. I could be wrong. Good, ca good cross there by Carolyn. I reckon Michelle should, probably should have uh, punished Carolyn. Let's see what they do with the three ball. Shooting in from the wing yeah. again. They love to cross. But you know, like you can see, Belinda's not punishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're able to I do that like pretty freely. I would like Belinda to punish. I know they're trying to, you know, they're trying to save time and, and be passive. But yeah, I just feel like you can win a game like this. But, but the thing is, like, you're, like, they're not trying to win. Like, Baby Monster are not trying to win this set. They're just trying to hold time. Mm. So although you can win the game like that, if you lose the set, it could come back to bite you. Yep. You'd so, you'd, you'd, yeah, you perhaps want to be a little further up before you change your yeah. game plan. So yeah, it, it, look, it, it's a, it's definitely a good tactic, but as I said, it, it's it's hurt them in the past, and I hopefully it doesn't this time. But yeah, we'll we'll find out in the next five minutes. <laughs> good cross oh. by Belinda. Yep, that's a nice hit. Yeah, at least if they're trying to win the set, I think I think that would be good. Um, oh, oh, the second Bell, as well. Bell Lou goes, let me take over now. Carolyn, you've done your job. Kai, you've done your job. Carolyn, you've done your job. You said now Carolyn it's my twice. Turn. I said Kai. <laughs> and before that, Carol, she's done twice the work. A no. 3v3 now. Going to be easier to stall it out. All right, so this is good for Baby Monster. But yeah, this counter... Oh. So I think in this situation, it's, it's probably fine because it's a 3v3. All the baby monsters have fairly good defense oh, and Belinda Luo just taken over. So yeah, if, 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 if she's going to throw like that, 
throw all the tactics uh, out the window. Yep. You don't need anything. It looks like Belle's on track to double her game hits <laughs> in one set. Yeah. She just needs one yeah. more and Forget she uh, doubles it. Forget about everything I said in the last 10 minutes if Belinda's just going to hit people like that. Because, yeah, she's taken over with just her immense skill. I mean, that was your half-time advice, was just don't miss. <laughs> no, that was your summary of my advice. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's working, so um, it was good whatever it was. Yeah. Well, staying alive well, and they've got four balls. They're going to be very I pleased like with that. If, I, I feel like if, as a coach, your advice to your players is get more hits, uh, you should lose your job as a coach. <laughs> Beautiful shot. Oh, that was really close. Bell gets counted. Oh, no, she doesn't. Oh, but Bell thought it was a hit. It, uh... But it was. Oh, Bell. That was a hit. Might have been a hit on the shirt. It, uh, it did look like it from our position. The ref didn't call it, so... So, I mean, that could be true. If Bell thought that was a hit, then she wasn't paying attention to stop that block. So she might have been caught off guard. Um, Definitely seemed caught But I think, yeah, this is where Carolyn and Kelly need to uh, finish them off. Block yeah. broken. Beautiful. Beautiful throw by Carolyn here. So now, actually, so look, they could win this set. But now it's actually a good tactical way. If they want to slow down the game now, that will actually be very smart. Oh, but they don't need to, the block because well. they're baby monsters, and they will just gobble each player up. There's nothing baby yeah. about the monsters on court so, today. Yeah, it's, uh, so really, you know, I think the second half adjustments have been good. And um, I don't know if baby monsters is the right name for this team. You know, my, <laughs> my men's team name, was Absolute Rampage. Yes. So I reckon Baby Monsters should take out the baby and put Absolute in their name and then it should be called Absolute Monsters because they and are showing... And you should showing, be Baby Rampage? Yeah, we should be Baby Rampage because yeah. we got destroyed. <laughs> so, you know, they are showing their pedigree. Uh, I'm sure, you know, the Megan, Kelly and Kai are probably world champions or at least at that level. And we have, you know, Carolyn, as I said, I think she's the best player in the world. Well, we've got Kai opinion. with nine hits. Kai with nine hits, yeah. Kai, and a catch. Kai, Kai clutched that set, got four or five hits. Um, Carolyn's up there now. Um, I think, Eleven hits on yeah. Sui from... Uh, sorry, that yeah. Sui has I think on with, Tobeko, with, though. With That's Tobeko, a large yeah. number. Tobeko, I think Sui's doing really well, but... Um, as I said, I, th I think, you know, there's just a difference in power. Difference in power between power and variability of the throw between the two teams and uh, Baby Monster just slightly more ahead with that um, and I think yeah uh, yeah I thought Baby Monster being really passive in the first half um, was was a bit interesting but you know they made those necessary adjustments uh, and they now, recognized yeah, what was working and what wasn't dominating now I really enjoyed watching the the macro gameplay change yeah. One team recognizing what wasn't working, right. making a change. The other team recognizing the opponent's change and making their own yeah. change. It's so good to see so that level is, of yeah. thinking on display. So this set, I think Baby Monster will probably now stop countering and playing a bit slow, but they, they have a comfortable lead with four minutes to go. So that's going to use know, that, this is better. ten seconds this is better. of each shot Step with the slider, too high. Um, now, now Tobacco actually needs to up the aggression here. Otherwise, this game is just going to fizzle out into a very boring win for Baby Monster, so uh, Tobeko, yeah, we'll see if Tobeko actually do that. Oh, is there a catch? No. Yeah, so yeah, Tobeko definitely, yeah, trying to trying to throw a bit more with aggression, and look, that's all they can really do, but if Baby Monster is going to just block them all, then it doesn't matter what Tobeko do at the That's at this another stage. 20 seconds burn. Oh, and another yeah. pre-throw. So look, I, I do, you know, this, is, only, this is the there. only thing Tobeko can really do, so good on them for for trying to make plays. But yeah, Baby Monster's gonna shut him down. Yep. When you're behind, you wanna try and increase yeah. variability. So now, now, you know, Tobacco need to go for catches. This you'd is the rather, only way they can win. You'd rather uh, take more risks and risk losing yeah. by more and give yourself a chance to win. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'm gonna call it. So Baby Monster <laughs> is gonna be the 2024 API champions. Tobacco, silver medal, no mean feat, amazing work. Uh, and Belinda Luo has just erupted in the second half. She's had enough of this uh, passive play, and she's like, um, I'm just as good as Carolyn. Let me hit him. So, yeah, well done. I think a good team effort by uh, Baby Monster in general. Everyone 
has at least had three hits, which is good. But with uh, Bell, Kai, and Carolyn doing the majority of the damage. And obviously, who can, you can't forget Steflo's incredible 1v1. Um, Kai's oh, up to 11 hits. Oh, Belinda with a catch! Oh, brilliant! Well done, Belinda. Yeah, Belinda's popping off. Yeah, it's a catch. It's a legit catch. Because there's been that rule change yeah, over the rule past year. Yeah, with the rule no change, point that's a legitimate required. catch. Um, yeah, Belinda, you have completely changed the game in the second half. Congratulations. Well done. Oh, oh I thought that was a hit. Good shot by Carolyn. Um, but now, baby, yeah, I think Tobacco not even now punishing Carolyn because, yeah, they probably know this game is finished. Oh, beautiful slider by Steph. I think now it's just a race between uh, who gets the most hits, Steph, Bell, or Kai. <laughs> so now it's uh, time to pad up your stats. Kai currently in the lead with 11. I mean, if she gets a catch, that's still a kill. Well, she's actually got 11 hits and a catch. Oh, she got 11 hits and a catch? Oh, my goodness. Caro's at 8, and uh, Bell also at 8 yeah. now. The second so half has been nuts for Bell. So a few fakes. Carolyn with a lazy fake, but you know, going for a catch. Uh, and it's 6 2, so so game essentially over here. Baby Monster, although a tight first half, have actually dominated in the second half. Um, I thought, yeah, I thought their strategy to, to slow down after two set lead was questionable, but then Belinda Luo just with no disregard for strategy or anything just dominates the the set and uh, now we're in a 6-2 lead but I don't know like, I thought uh, Kai was doing well but I think Belinda's impact has been a bit higher in the second half so I might say she was the MVP of this game look at that confidence look at that confidence um, Baby monster. Nice, nice right split there. Great setup. But yeah, Belinda's just oozing with confidence here. Um, and yeah, baby monster looking very, very confident. Uh, Tobacco, you know, still, you know, you got to give it to them. They're still dodging. They're still trying to punish. They're giving it their all. Um, but yeah, baby monster just too strong. Carolyn goes for a catch. Oh, oh what a catch. Wing gets another catch. She's, yeah, she's done well. She's done 11 throws and one catch. We had a bit of a little bit of desync between our scoreboard and the match there, but that catch has been counted. Yeah, nice. So Tobacco with a 6v3 advantage. So they, they want to put this point on the board just uh, as a, you know, just for pride. So let's see how they go. But or will Mai and Kai, nope. They Two will do nothing. Big hits. But Baby Monster! Are the gold medalists in API 2024? Amazing feat! Congratulations to the ladies. They'll be very proud. And I think for the Sirens girls, it's a kind of a revenge tour for missing out on that dodgeball uh, throwdown medal. So yeah, well done to Baby Monster. Second place is uh, amazing as well for Tobacco. So congratulations. Um, they're quite a strong team. But Baby Monster, just a yeah, bit, a little bit more firepower. I think that silver that was, medal. That was the difference is definitely something to write home about. API is a collection of some of the best teams in the world, so walking away with any medal or any finals position is yeah. absolutely... But I think, look, Tobacco look really happy. Look at them. Like they, no, None of them look sad. I think they knew coming into the game they were underdogs. They put up a good fight. Um, they played very, yeah, they very, very They put up a really well. good fight. That, that 1v3 sudden death clutch by Wing was... Uh, yeah pretty insane that first half and I thought that was a mistake from baby monster but uh, like that adjustment from baby monster to change that passive nature to aggression in the second half whoever suggested that whether if it was Chris who was in that huddle or Carolyn um, that yeah that mm. was the difference maker. upping the aggression yeah, yeah. getting back to their see, roots like, they were just getting so many more hits when they were doing that yep um, so it was like they were giving Tobacco respect when they didn't need to yep then they, they should have just known we're better we're going to dominate you, but I think, yeah, giving them that respect actually uh, well, made the game a bit more interesting. Well, just playing to your own win like we, yeah. we saw pretty consistently that Baby Monster were winning throughout the tournament, winning, winning matches comfortably any time that they were really leaning into punish chains. And um, they shied away from them the first set, but then, as yeah. you said, found their roots. As I said, having six superstars in a team, you know, all the superstars are 
they find their, their life is very valuable, mm. so then everyone's passive. But it's kind of not, it's to their detriment because it doesn't, you know, like if you have power, if you have speed, you should utilize that with aggression. Um, but yeah, as I said, they started out a bit passive, but you know, they made the necessary adjustment. Um, uh, so it looks like Kai won the throwing battle, getting uh, 11 hits. And a catch. And a catch. Carolyn, solid eight. Belinda, solid eight. Seth Low, six, plus the 1v1 clutch. But um, I think our hit leader was Sui. Our hit leader was Wing Sui. Incredible was, 14 yeah. hits. So she carried the team on her back, but um, not enough support from other, other players. All right, so that concludes the women's gold medal match. We'll be back in uh, five minutes or so. Thank you. And we are away into our second gold medal match of the day. Orcanus versus Demons. Uh, and who are you? I am Jake. And you I am Phil. To, you don't need to know more about either of us. And in fact, the, the, the focus of this is definitely the players on our screen right now. So that uh, initial uh, play not finding. Ah, oh, no one gets hit. Oh, no. Julia sorry, there was gets a hit. Here. With a single? Oh wait, the multiple people get a hit. And Demons is left with two players left. Oh, I couldn't <laughs> have been more wrong. And Nico throwing one loose, I like it. Why move up the line when you can throw from the baseline? <laughs> Sunny with some amazing tail on fresh balls. Ooh, I like that. Nico timed that fake really well and it was a very mm. strong shot down the line. Oh, let's see. It's very cool to see the Orcanus boys have a bit of a break from the, the men's game. So now this is the mixed game. And Orcanus still looking strong with six players on court. Demons with four. Single missing Sonny. Orcanus opting to collect that ball and nope, not opting to collect it in set throw. Ash sees an opportunity to catch his opponent off guard. Nico tracks Sonny's lateral but doesn't find it. Ooh. Sonny sends it back. Great power in those Ooh. throws. There's a bit of a wing on wing thing happening <laughs> here. Talk about laterals. He started on the right side of the court and ended up in the left corner. <laughs> oh, Jenny Ear on the demon side gets taken out, leaving Nico by himself with four balls. Ash has got one of those wonky dip diagonal mm. throws that are so hard to track. And he does this windmill thing with his, uh, his elbow and arm as well. You don't even know when he's going to release it. All right, I'm, I'm going to be watching for the, for the, uh, the windmill now. Just Nico left. Looking strong. Looking safe behind one ball. Strong block. Wow. Ooh. Wow. They should let Jimmy throw. Oh, Nico's looking for a catch. I love it. He's in it to win it. With, Mel with the has ball. he got all the balls? I think he's got five. Oh, oh is there a oh, catch? Jimmy! Oh, take that, Nico. Devram here, everyone. I'm back. Yep. They let me sneak into the commentary booth. Thanks, guys. Security wasn't doing their job. Nah. I saw an opening and I took it. <laughs> You're one of those people that climbs the fence at festivals, aren't you? I don't go to festivals. Uh, I forgot you're ancient. <laughs> Another set starting. Orkin has taken an early point. Doing better than in their bronze medal matches. Terrible rush Ooh, there. What was no, that rush? It was calculated. Alex almost picks up a hit off it. Ainsley gets his foot out of the way. Demons should try not to give him five here. Didn't work for them last time. Oh, oh the couple taken out. Big Vig. Big Vig. Oh, they did give them five. Fools. Oh no, it's four, it's four. Disregard.
Ash will be looking back. to prove himself after getting absolutely mauled in the men's bronze match. <laughs> Okay. Thought that hit him. It, we heard something at the same time. Yeah, maybe it was something else. Oh, look at the movement on that ball. Ainsley oh, gets taken return. out. Jimmy. Jimmy's been performing incredibly. Mel then gets taken out there. Yes. Yeah, Jimmy doing well. well how, how, how are his stats looking? Uh, oh, it's the other it's previous match. Disregard. <laughs> Is that your new word of the month? Disregard? Yes. I like it. It's a good word, strong. Do you want a chair, Phil? He's Thank getting you. a chair. Now we're all equally comfortable. All right. Should we switch headsets? Or? Oh. The tri-cast begins. And we'll have our stats up shortly. And what have we got here? A 4v3? <clears throat> 4v3. It's felt like half of these metal matches have been some variation of Demas versus some variation of Walkers. <laughs> Walkers <yeah. laughs> we promise there are more than two clubs at this tournament. We'll see at least at one new club in the men's gold. <laughs> That'll be a spicy one. I am so keen for men's gold. I have to ref it. <laughs> <laughs> that's going up in the air. Okay, yeah, that's not coming back. Oh. Oof. Okay, see you, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm disappointed you have to ref it. I would love to hear your comment. <laughs> mm. Can we put a mic on you whilst you're refing? I would. Ooh. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I can. I can ref ref and tape. <laughs> have they given them five here? Brave. Ooh. Okay. Someone's getting doubled. I reckon. Surely. Probably the ball. One, two. Uh, strong defense. Stays alive. Stays alive easily. Very comfortable. First Hard throw didn't make the distance, I think, which helped him. Hard to block Ash with one ball, but... All right, we have our stats. Here we go. Ooh, Ooh I love that'll this. Be a long Jimmy, shortly. three hits already. Oh, what a shot from Ash down the line, curving on target. 2v2. Ash survives. <laughs> Nicely, nicely dodged there. Okay, okay. Dodged, blocked, whatever. Oh, the pressure. A trade attempts. Yeah. Throwing the fifth comfortably. Ooh. Oof. Ooh. Everyone's somehow still alive. Yeah. A lot of balls flying. Good dodging or bad throwing? What do we reckon? Good dodging. Good dodging. Good dodging. Good dodging. Yeah. Good dodging. Good dodging. Ashley lines up. Oh, it's all fakery. Hawkers. Enjoying playing this a little slower, maintaining their ball control, being really strict. Demons have been throwing a... Relatively loose, yeah. Yeah, the complete opposite play style. Throwing the fifth in a 2v2. Oh! Is that... No way. Oh, that, well, Ashley sees stuck. it. Yeah. Passes the ball off. He, he confirms it to catch really? himself. It was... Like, I don't think it went anywhere near the ground. That yeah. was just wedged in. Wedged in his calves. Oh, oh it doesn't Ooh, really that was almost a catch back on Ainsley, though, but he gets the hit. Yeah. 1-1. One, one. Just falls out of the grippers. we got some replays coming. Oh, the fumble there. That Jimmy was dies. Jimmy getting taken out. Yeah. We don't see the catch. Or do we? Jenny getting taken out. Mm. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Yeah, that was, wow. that was just poor. Oh, unlucky, Ash. Unlucky. That Morally, unlucky. that's a hit, mate. Morally. <laughs> when we read the stats out at the end, I'll subtract one got caught and add one hit for yeah, you. Yeah. To make <laughs> you feel better. Very slow rushes from both. Not a lot happening. We haven't really seen in any final one side comprehensively win the rush. Mm. Everyone's sort of given it up, which is interesting. Do you think that's a fatigue thing? Do you think that's just like a, a player archetype thing? Are the, player, are the slow, big, heavy throwing players just winning? I don't know whether it's the teams have felt that their rushes are close enough that they've both decided to just not try. I'm not sure. The, the f interesting one was the mixed where 
Orcas very clearly gave up on it. They set up three balls right next to each other yeah. and only sent one player up. But um, Aces really didn't throw either. Um, even, I mean, they started to later on in the match, but they just weren't connecting anyway. So well, that was quite interesting. I like that uh, return immediately from Alex. Mm. Keeping Nico Static on his always good. Bit of a slower pace. Don't know which team that really suits. We'll see, I guess. Cameraman doing some great slide work on the left. Look at that. Look at that posture. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mm, no. Yeah, Ash counters, doesn't hit. Single ball's going a lot at the moment. Uh, looks like mostly targeting ball carriers as well, so defensive styles from both. Nico Ooh. crosses. Jimmy just lets him. Rude. <laughs> Four balls now to the Orcas. They want to hit here. Probably throw two, yeah? Two oh, indeed. See you, see you Nico. Oh. And a line out. Yeah, right? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of shouts. Ainsley's upset. Always a good sign. <laughs> yeah, I thought he may have stepped on the line. He, he was very close. Uh, it was right in front of the ref, so maybe the ref saw it and saw that he stayed in. Mm. There is a lot going on, though, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. can't really blame the ref for missing that one. You can only look at one thing at a time. Oh, Alex Young. Absolutely appalling defensive work there from Ashley. <laughs> No, turned no, I, into it. I choose to believe it was all the throw. It was a good throw. Uh, oh. And another, and another. That's taken out. It's a 1v1, right? Two, yes. Two, uh, no, 2v1, 2v1. Alex putting the team on her back. Amy set. and Jimmy against. Oh, and Amy gets it. Amy hits on the Amy with the hit. Yeah. Boom. The all right, gals. are we going to see the line out? Oh, what do you reckon? Oh, I missed it. I missed Can it. Can we see it again? Let's see that highlight of the line out again, That please. was. <laughs> That's what we care about. Yeah. Oh, oh come on, guys. I think Kev was looking. I think Kev saw that he stayed in. Okay. Must have been just Because there's a slight shake of his head saying, nah. I no, trust no. Kev. I trust Kev. All right, 2-1 Orcas. Orkinus, sorry. Orkness. Orkinus. Orkinus. Fun fact, in us. It, is the, in us. it is the Latin species name <laughs> for Orcas, is it not? Yes, I believe so. That the, is a fun fact. Whatever it's called. Ainsley gets taken care of. Mm -hmm. Alex throwing quite well from the middle here. Doing some damage. Demon's kind of missing their own damage dealer in the middle. Sunny stays alive. Jimmy and Alex leading the hits for the uh, Orkinus team with four. Jimmy also has a catch. Ish. <laughs> oh, no, wait, no, that catch was real. That's that, that rebound yeah, catch. Yeah, yeah. For the Demons, what have we got? Four hits to Ainsley. Three hits to Alicia. Nico crosses back, Sonny gets under it. He can move that man. He sends it, he puts his body through some punishment, though, when he does it. Ooh. Oh, very close. Jumps over Sonny's ball nicely done there. The movement on Sonny's balls with these fresh balls has been... If this sort of flow keeps up, I think Orkinus will win, but the Demons have the... They have got uh, Kyle in reserve if they want to change things up. And I, and I feel like that would change things up. So if they decide that this isn't working, there's lots of things they can do to try. Mm. Oh, yeah, I like nice. that. That was a oh, pretty... Alex survives. What the hell? He's wow. upset that he missed that. Yeah. They both threw, yeah. Well done there by Alex, because the bait failed, which normally means you're going to lose a player. Ash survives. Bit of a scrappy game so far. A little yeah, bit, hey. scrappy's a good word to describe it. Lots of solos being thrown and missing. Standard Mel behaviour. Yeah, Nico decides not to throw at Mel, crosses in. Probably wise, to be honest. Yeah, and then, <laughs> wow, she still fishes out a catch anyways. So, just like that, it's a six on three. Oh, oh, wow. Sunny Cheeky gets the shot, takes it out. 
Nicely done. 2v6. Like Jimmy with good tracking, but the dodge was better. Four balls now. Do they throw two? Do they throw one? Probably just one. I like Jimmy's stance on the uh, defensive, where he's standing further ahead of his teammates, giving each other better lines of motion side to side. Oh, and across from That's Nico. Jimmy out. Sonny doing damage here. Let's have yeah. a quick look at his stats. Zero hits. Okay, that's just updating, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is probably his first set that he's actually doing some damage yeah, now. Yeah, true. Okay. He's taken a, taken a leaf from Eric's playbook. Knows how to deal some damage. Up come Orkanus. Jimmy with the throw. Nico dodges it, then blocks Ash's counter. Well, well done, Nico. Very heads up maneuvering. Putting Nico on a one ball blocking clinic. He's been very consistent. One handed blocking is the way. Oh. Two handed blockings for cowards. Wow. Nico swings one into Jimmy, who jumps over it, it looks like. Stays alive. Again, this equilibrium not great for the demons. Oh, it feels yeah. like they just slowly drop players and then lose the set. Yes. yes. I'd make a change if I was them, put but the mullet on. we'll see what they do. Yes, put the mullet on, I agree. <laughs> I didn't enjoy seeing Nico slide across the floor on his knees without pads on. Though. What a <sighs> phenomenal catch what from a catch. Oh yeah. my <laughs> god. Julia can't be too upset with that. I think she did what she <laughs> could. Pretty nuts. <laughs> and there's the takeout of Nico. The rush has started in the next set. No one out, as usual. Yeah. Yawn. Put bears yeah. back on. I want to see some quick double rushes. Bring back hey. the Vietnam Dodgeball Association. <laughs> Bring them to Worlds, please. Ash crosses. Oh, you can't miss those, mate. That was a big miss, actually. They needed Ash out early. <laughs> Mel with wow. the bottom of his Wow, actually. Puts him off. It was just enough. Who is that in the corner for the demons? Let's have a look at our player list. Gia. Gia. Weapon. Oh, Jimmy. and he takes out Jimmy. That was nice. Ash just let that happen. Let, counter comes a little bit late, gets dodged anyway. Five balls to the demons. Mel, the Doing one ball thing. expert, the single ball expert. Doing Here we thing. go. She's just all over. Oh, no, they take her out. Nice. Oh, oh and, and the Sonny's caught in the crossfire. Unlucky. Ash. Oh. This is a bit better from the Demons now. They're making their hits count. 2v5. Up come the Orcanus. Nice block from Gia. I swear every time I see Alex at a comp, she's got a new throw. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was her normal throw, wasn't it? It was the it was the whippy low like low arm cross side arm ish thing. Whatever it is, it's been working. She is uh, one of the hit leaders of this match. Oh, Vincent oh, has got her two. down and he ignores oh, her. Oh, doesn't go for it. That was relatively stupid. Oh, she's out. Yeah. Someone did hit her. It yeah. was uh, both links cross. Yeah, that must have been the call. I was very confused by what Vincent was doing. <laughs> Oh, well almost, a, almost an attempted catch from Julie, but she decides to bail out of it. Good call. Ugh, Vincent. That Throw was, together is the call. It was disgust in your voice. Uh, I think the timing of the free throw was good. Ah, oh, there it is! Catching Amy. Out. Is that Amy? It was just a catch. Was it? Catching out. Catching out. The second ball hitter. The oh, second okay, ball hitter. There you go. Catching out is the right call here. I'm not sure who got caught, though. Uh, it was the right wing that got caught. The right ball. Interesting. Oh, 4v1. sorry. I mean, yeah. 4v1. Right now. Brings in Jimmy. Jimmy's in. Jim Jam. I heard a whistle, but I don't know what for. That was nowhere was that near a, him. Was that a. Finger? Oh, he's saying, he's saying ball. Yeah. Confirmed no hit from. The referees, maybe there was a noise. Maybe it did scrape the ball. 4v2, four balls to Jimmy. Oh, that, that curve is actually quite nice. It's, really, it's so whippy. Inside out. Whippy release. It's hard to track the hands and uh, see him wind up because he's keeping it behind the back in that whippy motion. Strong well, defense. Is. Five balls. He's got five here. He'll want to hit. 
Go ball carrier or go sneaky and go... No, ball go, He's go got ball the carrier. curve to honestly make the ball carrier think he's throwing at him and then swing it into the middle. Mm. Which is probably what I'd go for. Oh. But ball rolls back. He's just giving them back too. Oh, oh. oh doesn't... I hope you throw it. We would have given them four there. Yeah. True. Great blocking. Nice. Yes. Jimmy is really performing this comp. Defending really well. And his hits will indicate he's attacking well too. If I can update this. Where are we? Jimmy Law, six hits. Oi. Is he the leader for the match? Alex Young also on six. And from the Demons, five. Alicia is the highest. It says Alicia. Who is Alicia? On number 21. Yep. Oh, yeah, she's on right yeah, now. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Five balls. Jimmy Law. And ten seconds left. The countdown is coming. Yep. The Demon's probably happy to win this in sudden death, I guess. Oh, oh that hits. Oh, that it hits. That hits. hits. Alicia what adds to her tally. Wow. Absolutely beautifully timed. Curves back on target. Bit of wobble in the air. Is the rule still that just no balls can become live after the time finishes? Like you finish the play? I believe so. Yeah. The perfectly timed throw then. Really, really nicely done. So they got 3 2 or Keenis. This is the first time today they've been ahead at half time. Can they carry that through to the second half? You really put in the Enus in Orkinus. Yeah. Yeah. Sure am. Let's have a look at some instant replays. Yeah. Give us a stat update, Jack. Oh, well, Who's impressed you? Honestly, I've been so impressed by... Well, I mean, look at the stats. The stats show it. Jimmy and Alex. Alex cleaning up one of those sets earlier, almost single-handedly. And Jimmy with an amazing performance. Notable for me is uh, Sonny Kai. Order of death, second to die. <laughs> He's going out <laughs> early. He's going out early. I think that's something that um, the Orkinus team can look at and say, look... Oh. If we can keep him in, we can do more damage. You know what's even more impressive than second to die? Eighth to die. Amy what, Lee. What a fright. Eighth to die in a six-player team. Very impressive. Demons having a chat. Nico imparting some wisdom. Nico second to die for the Demons. So that's another one. Ainsley as well. So some... I think that's really what it's been for the Demons, is uh, big players going out early. Yeah. Um, firepower leaving the court early. Because uh, all of their hit, I mean, Alicia, Alicia as well. Also second to die, but he's on six hits, so... Make it hay while she's on court. Looks like the players are still the same for Demon's side. There's no... Mullet awesome. power. Another lackluster rush from everyone. <laughs> Maybe everyone's tired. <laughs> yeah. Scathing. Bring yeah. us entertainment. Nico, I reckon, is throwing. Takes a shot at Sonny. Sonny survives. Everyone's still in. Orkinus now is turned to throw. Jimmy takes the shot. Lots of wings being targeted here. I don't really know. Ooh, are they going to? Oh. I don't really know if that's the play. Clear out the middle, I say. They've got Nico in the middle without a ball. That's when he's scariest. Ball in. Oh, oh stay away oh. from that, Julia. Yeah, that, was, that would not have ended well for her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they get the refund. They get another four ball. And they're targeting wings again with wow. single balls. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't think Orkinus are in a hurry with this set. I reckon they're probably happy to hold on to... Ball they're only 3-2 the up. It's not. Great shot from Jimmy. Yeah. Another stat. Chia was just caught out. Yeah, it's, uh, that's how you say it, right? Ashley flicks one at the wing as well. Everyone's targeting wings. Again. <laughs> <laughs> They'll figure it out soon, right? <laughs> well, is, maybe. <laughs> is this why you're the coach of Australia? Look, look it's working. It's working for Orkinus, so. Yeah. But 
I don't know if it's working enough to justify just continually doing it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, whatever. They're on court. They can do what they want. Would you suggest they cross one in at an on-ball carrier? Uh, when you got when you got three oh. when you got three thrown at a ball carrier is fine. It's when they had four balls and Nico in the middle without a ball that it was like I don't know two yeah. balling. Yeah. But they managed they, to find Nico on the right wing. Hey, so they may be they may be very wary of giving the demons four balls. There, yeah. So they, it could be it. I'm sure there's I'm sure I'd there be is wary method. Of that. I'm sure there is method to to what they're thinking of. Ashley blocks that. Yep. Refs having a chat. It did. The ball did do strange stuff in midair. Ashley's walking She's off. She's already walking off. Yeah, she it's claimed the hit. Nico reckons it was a hit. Oh no! Oh no! They Ashley back on. has been back on. told to return to All the right. court. Oh, well, refs have made their call. On we go. Kissed by a fairy. That's right. Kissed by a Rob Worth. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny fakes aggressively. Vincent just lets him. Knows he's just posturing. Alex. Quite fun to feed. Oh. Doesn't quite find a catch either. Another hit. Another hit. Very well returned. And Ash let it happen. Yeah, Alicia doing really well. Alicia again. Oof. Ooh. Oof. That was close. Very. Jimmy stays alive though. 5v4. 5v3. See you, Julia. Ash survives the uh, rush back from Alicia. And Alicia survives Ash's throw. They do have four now, the Demons, but they're lacking a few of their big throwers. Still got Alicia in there. Sunny gets trapped. All the laterals across the court weren't enough. Good throw there from Vince. Looks like, yep. Gets the hit. 4v3. Orca's advantage. Timmy's. Boom. Doing fire. work. Yeah, Doing right. work. Right still takes out Vincent. I think this is... I've ne this this comp. Jimmy now up to seven hits. I think that'll be his eighth, isn't it? Could well be. Ooh, Ooh Alicia Rico. with a shot there. Looks like it was blocked. Four balls now to the Demons. Hey. Ashley swings Oof. in. Jimmy defends. Back comes the ball. That was a great throw, though. Jimmy now takes a shot. Oh, gosh. Ball's flying everywhere. Oh, Jimmy! Oh, pockets a catch there. Huge. Huge. Brings back in Alex Young. Showing he's not just a thrower. Nope. He's, he's, just, he's just in everything today. Ash blocks the pre-throw. Eight hits, two catches. Another pre-throw, blocked straight back. Bo yeah, blocked back. Alicia doing a 1v5, doing some cheeky pre-throws, probably hoping to bait a catch. I don't really hate this strategy. I saw it in the mixed as well, just um, pre-throw all six and then go for a catch. You might get more you chances. Like it or you hate it. Oh, I don't hate it at all. Oh, okay. I think it's fine. I mean, depending on whether you want time or yep. not. But yep. if you want a quick set, you may as well just yep. do it. Yeah. Risk it for the biscuit. And Orkinus 4 2. Hey, the mullet's coming on. Yeah. Here we go. Yes. Let's Fields. go. He looks like he's come on for Ainsley. I think that's a good call. Ainsley really struggling to have an impact. Oh, Gia, right? Gia came off. I'm ready to oh, see yeah, some smoke. Yeah, Sorry, I take it all back. Sorry, uh, I said you were struggling to have an impact, Ainsley. I know he's going to watch this back and message me. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle in the middle. Oh, Will Kyle he survive the, the, first, the first throw? That's the question. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Jimmy on phase. Jimmy says, get out of here. Surely they, they target Kyle here, yeah. right? Surely. Yeah. yeah. There we go. We know. The two balls. I look away for a second and Kyle's out. Yep, they threw two at him. Uh, they did a split. He was in the middle. They do know how to throw two balls. Yes. yes. Like, you know, I was trying to qualify what I said. What they're doing is working. They don't necessarily need to change anything. <laughs> it just felt like it was only just working. What a oh, shot! Spectacular well hits from both wow. Nico and from Mr. Tran. Mr. Vincent Tran. Takes out two big players. Big. 
Alex is so aggressive. Up. Gets ignored by Vincent anyway. I, uh, if you're going to post up that high, you should at least punish, right? Mm -hmm. She seemed content to take the ball, but I suspect that's what we'll see if it happens again. Oh, Big the great shot! Hit. Whoa. Oh, oh, it doesn't get a hand around it, and that's a double out! Double right out. reflex, but uh, wrong execution. Wow. <laughs> Would have looked phenomenal if it worked. 4v2 now. Demons really do need this set. Oh, yeah. Amazing tracking. Ash, Ash has actually had the measure of, of Nico, I think, in this battle though, yes. so far on the right wing. There's a couple of times he's taken him out with a single ball. Look, if if there were two players to be left on, you'd be pretty content with Ash and Alex. Absolutely. Especially looking at the stats behind them. Alex fakes, Ash, Ash throws. Good timing on both of those. 12 hits between those two players, six each. Not a bad haul. The throw comes, Alex dodges to the side. Four balls now to Orkinus. The free throw comes out. Two dodges. Oh, I oh, like it. I was going to say, Vincent Vince, only has one ball in hand. Vince, the, the, they had Vince, no support. Vince panicked a little bit there, yeah. I think, too. He was caught in no man's land. Yeah. With 2v2 two two. now. Orkinus doing well to bring this back to equilibrium. Let's see if they can swing it the other way. It's going to be a glorious clutch. If Alex misses everything. Off. Jenny also misses everything, except the ground. If nicely the ground. defended, nicely defended there. Three balls each. Orkinus moves up with four. Feels like Orkinus have got a slightly more That's dangerous first. arms here. Oh. Did it I wasn't sure whether Jenny had got hit in the foot there, but it must have missed her. Alex, um, Alex, gets, think so. Alex yeah. gets taken out in the confusion, yeah. <laughs> maybe it maybe it bounced. I'm not sure what the ref's call is here. Two balls coming, Ash. I didn't e need to look oh. like a hit. Yeah. So I, I don't understand the celebration. Here he comes. Block beautifully, wow. just stays in court too. Yeah. That back leg was trailing. Ash goes again. A little bit, a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, zing behind those throws now. Maybe someone's someone's pissed him off. Pissed in his coffee pot. Wow. Nicely blocked again from Ash. That second ball from Jenny is the one that needs to hit him because he's tracking the one directly in front and making sure to block it. And that just got a little bit harder. Jenny moves nicely out of the way. Three balls each. Demon's advantage. 1v1. Those, a pretty critical 1v1, this one. Those sliders from Ash are very difficult to block if you're on the left side of the court. Or oh, difficult to survive. So you can't, it's difficult to dodge away from it rather than with it. If the Demons lose this set, they're going to really need to start going for speed versus the way they've been playing. Whereas if they win it, they can keep doing what they've been doing. It's going to be, it's a pretty pivotal set, I think. Ash swings Oops. one wide. Jenny Ooh, well takes a shot. Oh, Ash, oh, oh. oh she's gone up. Oh, she's oh, she's, she's got it! it. She did it! No no she's given it! She took the opportunity as the ball rolls back to take another shot. Boom! Jenny here, uh, 4-3, Orkinus lead the Demons. This is still anybody's wow, match. Wow, I love that. That's great. We've got a replay coming. Ash blocks. Oh. And then Ash does not block. <laughs> Toodles. Dang. Astute observation. Bang. Well, he blocks with his arm. <laughs> and a little bit of knee, perhaps. Alicia is at uh, nine hits. Nine hits. Alicia doing work. Yeah. yeah. Far out. Leader for the match, right? Oh, no, nine as well to Jimmy. Another rush. Another no throw. No, no takes. Yawn. Oh, <laughs> we've got uh, we've got the mullet off again. Ainsley back. Big Vix oh. back in. Also missing. What was that? I think everyone's staying alive. Everyone's alive. Sunny's out. Oh, Sunny. Oh, wait. How did Sunny, Sunny get, Sunny get, get hit? Was that the first hit? Oh, yeah, maybe. No, no, no. Ainsley's first throw. He missed everything. Oh, no. Uh, the, was, the cross, I think it was from was it the cross from the outside. Oh, oh, that is a nice early shot. Oh. Ainsley heard us talking about him, and he said, I'll show those yep. goddamn commentators. <laughs> I love the change in pace there. They've been faking, they've been setting each up, and Ainsley 
changes it. It doesn't take a setup at all. I think that was a. I think that was a quick word from Nico at the uh, change of you know the the set re, uh, restarting and everyone relining. I think he sort of said, "Let's do, let's go. Let's let's up the pace a tad and see how it goes." Oh, that is a nice. Shot. Beautiful fake from Vincent. Drew Alex's attention. Almost drew a pre dodge out of Ronan, and she just swung it in from the other side. The big Very big. nice. <laughs> Four balls, or Keenis. Ainsley, caught Ainsley. on his trailing hand. Yep. Jenny tries to push back Amy and Mel, fails. Backs out, probably smart. <laughs> Hawkers need a hit here as well, I'd say. Don't get one. Yatsa stays in. They've got another crack at it there. They've got four balls again. Ash. Throws again, blocked again. Let someone else throw Ash. <laughs> <laughs> so greedy. Maybe he can see his stats. Oh, Vince, that was quite a nice throw. That's very nice. Went one way, then went the other. Very yeah, nice. I like one. Yeah, yeah. Good That's shape on it. Cool. Ash has another go and another <laughs> miss. <laughs> uh, feels like the demons have got a little bit of momentum now. They, they felt like they lacked energy before. Now, I'm liking the energy from their side a bit more. And the Orcas are surely getting tired. It's been a lot of matches. Mel has a throw. Plenty on target, but just wide. Wow, Vince in. catches the leg. It's just that Mel leaves behind as she dodges. Still leading from left to right. Boom, 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 boom. And Ashley's the last one. If he wins this, his stats will shoot up. Another nice block from Yatsa. They're doing a wing swap because Vincent's on fire. Oh. oh, and the fakery on him. Oh. Phenom. Oh. 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 Vincent Tread in a textbook catch. Ruins Ash's stats. <laughs> Vincent on fire. Tell us more about Vincent Tran. Vincent Tran, formerly from the Bears, known in the Victorian dodgeball community for his excellent work as a statistician, ah. but not for doing the stats, for highlighting instances of potential cheating <laughs> the blue card, and drawing man. them to the attention of the organisers. Oh, doing they do God's the work. Rush. Finally, someone yeah, through. Take out Jimmy. And Jimmy gets hit. Yep. Oh, a big throw from Ainsley. Misses absolutely everybody. Looked cool, though, Ainsley. Well done. <laughs> Four balls. Orcanus. Orcanus only using three. Sonny from the side misses. Alex covers him off from Vincent's menacing behavior. Ainsley's throwing for sure. Called it. There Get it is. Up. Easy catch. Oh, the pop up from Ash. Could not have come at a worse time for Orcanus. This is just giving more and more momentum to the Demons. Yep. It's just five minutes left in the rest of this game. It feels like, you know, they've tried the Kyle experiment. It's failed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Kyle. Yes. Sorry, Kyle. Sorry, Kyle. Ainsley's regained his position on court. <laughs> Great shot from Alex. Ooh. Just so switched on. Yeah, doing well. Good. How's their stats going? Let's have a look. Seven throws, seven hits. Seven hits, sorry. More, th more throws than that. Boom! Blocked. Sonny taken out on the other side of the court, though. I'm is not that a sure. line foul? Oh, yeah, I'm not sure how he went out. And now it is 5v3, Orkinus. 5v2, Orkinus. Sorry. Demons. Demons still with their big throwers on court. Orkinus have got Mel, known more for her catching, and Alex, definitely known for her throwing and catching. Just known. Known. Alex it is, is known. known. It is known. <laughs> Bang, oh. Ainsley gets blocked. The ball rolls back, no, they get one of them back. I think it's four balls to two, or Keenus with the advantage. Yeah, getting a refund on that fifth ball. Helpful, helpful. Very nice. Ashley. I like how Alex sets up to throw another immediately, without hesitation. Ready to go, at all times, constant vigilance. Shut down Ainsley, to, oh, oh, the second it. throw. She tracked Ainsley's sky ball and Vincent snuck one in. 
I wonder if that was intentional by Hansley. I highly doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, and a great hit. Uh, Tried to do a catch. It. He's chopped it. And another, and another! No way! Three in Alex a row. Young! Yeah, the crowd starts to get into this. If she wins this, this is big. Oh, oh it doesn't find it. They get her, they get her, and she collapses to the ground. Wow. I believe, that'll, I believe that'll bring her 7 to 10. Yeah, let's have another look. One. Boom. One. See you, Vince. Everyone's distracted. And Two. Jimmy is just watching. Right the foot, Jimmy is just watching. <laughs> that is atrocious from you. I tell oh, why you no. take a shot. <laughs> Coward. I had three chances. Alex, uh, I mean, they uh, finished it up at the end. Alex Alex they got there. Yeah. They He's got getting there some money the after. After. It's another. Oh, that was a great rush. All right. Well done, Demons. Uh, Orkinus has nice made a substitution. They brought in Yang. They have brought in Yang. One of my favourite people. Oh, oh Ainsley. The split gets that him. That was beautifully timed. Mm. Beautifully timed. Yang made him jump. Ashley took him out. Textbook split. I mean, it feels like the Demons have all the momentum, but it's only 5-4. That's one set away from back to 5-all. Uh, and we've only got two minutes left on the clock. Oh, wow. We are well placed here for a very exciting finish to the yes. match. Yang. Let's get tagged. Oh. Oh. Ash gets Ash caught. nearly gets headshot by yeah. this here as well. Oh, sorry. Yang's still in. Wait, I don't think happening. Yang got hit. Ash got caught. I, Yang. Thought, I thought Yang did get hit. It, it either, yeah. I mean, it was close. It's it either bounced up. just before it hit him or it hit him. Yep. We'll he see what the rest he was facing the other way and had his foot out there, so it's, it's yeah, he, yeah. he can't know. I think he's asking Ainsley. Classic Ainsley says, of course I hit you, everything <laughs> I throw hits. Yeah, and quick promptly walks. And we're back. Six on four. Demons. Strong Alex blocks block. a nice throw from Ainsley. Better block. Be back to the Demons advantage. Will Ainsley let someone else throw? No. Oofed. Jimmy survives by the barest of margins. By the thinness of his pants. I think that's an expression that people uh, use. The thickness of his pants. Alex oh. fights Ainsley, the rivalry. He almost had that catch, and then he said, you know what? No, I'll give some stats to my team. <laughs> Great hit from Vincent. Quite, that, was, uh, that was probably an important hit, that to be honest. Very important hit. Vincent is performing. 40 seconds. Oh. As I say that, Vincent gets hit out. Hit out by Mel. It's going to go to sudden death, it looks. You want to be up players in sudden death. 30 seconds, guys. And they probably want Jimmy gone. Oh. And they get it. They get it. That is a big out. Jumpy Jimmy sent to the sidelines. It, it, it's going to make life easier for them in sudden death without Jimmy on the court, for sure. Mel comes up, block, block, Fiatza doing well. Great throws though, following well, on target. Mel wants it. Please <laughs> Four throw it seconds Mel, to someone. go, they're going to let this go to someone someone death. Someone throw a ball at Mel. Demons opting to not. Smart work from the Demons, mm. I think. Go for the sudden death. They'll be in a similar spot, to be honest, than if they had taken that shot, but why risk it? Up they go. Ash with some sound words of advice. No blocking. Three players for the Demons, two players for Orkinus. Still anybody's set and as a result anybody's match. If Orkinus wins this it'll go to five all. I believe it will then go to extra time, four Ooh. minute overtime set. If our, oh it's four, it's four v two, even harder. This is going to be an uphill battle for the uh, Orkinus, but it's definitely not a cheap, not impossible. Oh. It's now got a, a fair bit harder. Um, yep. <laughs> I yep. think it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a Mel catch. They're going to try and catch her, aren't they? Oofed. Oh. Oof, that was beautifully timed, that counter, but it missed. Two balls now to the Demons. Four to Mel Howes mm -hmm. from Orkinus. Mel has to throw. We are in statistically unlikely but not impossible. Territory. She takes a shot, it goes high. She wanted to draw them in. Oh, that the was second, oh, so the second ball. Bang. She again, she tracked the ball that went over her head. Maybe they are doing it deliberately. <laughs> and the Demons Dodgeball Club have won the gold medal. In a 6-4 nail-biter. That was 
Oh, they really turned around that second half. Didn't Congratulations they? Yeah, they to did, both teams. Did. That was a great match. Orkina's doing really well too. We've got some highlights from that match coming up now. Let's I will uh, leave you guys to it as I believe I need to ref the next one. Ooh. No, we'll find someone else. Damn. <laughs> Have a good, good one, luck. everyone. Thanks for having me. See you later. Thanks, Debra. Hello and welcome back. We have our final match of the day, the men's gold medal match between Brain Dead and Prime. And you're here with three commentators on board. Jake Diffin, Sam Lama, and Phil Tran. Don't say my surname. Sorry. I'm going to be talking trash. I don't want people to know who I am. Can the lineup before the start? Would you like to do the lineup, Sam? Uh, I'll do the brain right. dead lineup. And I'll do prime. Uh, so brain dead, we have Xander, Shoda, James, Brandon, Steve, Josh, and Dylan. Two so Josh. Prime, we have Aaron, Evan, Shoda with an early cut! And the wave off the court. Harry, Jack, Gio is on. So that's a sign of... Xander tagged out on the retaliatory rush. Yeah, if Shoda's catching early, then Prime needs to be aware of that. When Shoda's on, he is on. I think in Worlds, he uh, really showed that catch in the grand final. Lots of punishes back and forth, but not many of them landing. Be some interesting matchup with uh, Shoda against Evan, who, who they versed each other in the World World uh, World's Grand Final in um, Austria this year. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but also, um, I think Aaron Shoda High. reckons he hit. <laughs> Dev doesn't think so. Yeah, Aaron High on the left wing also um, very dangerous. But Harry, my goodness, shoots out from the centre. Catches the fingers of Shoda. Yep. He's been unblockable. He was unblockable in the mix bronze medal match. So You're talking about Shoda? No, I'm talking about Harry. Harry. Ah. Steve and David with a great oh, shot. Good wow. shot on Evan. And just like that, they've evened it from five to three apiece. And four balls as well. Jimmy shoots out, but goes high. Oh. A bit of position switch. Yep. Oh, Harry. Good shot. Aggressive Just dip. Miss. Very aggressive dip. Yeah, he's got a really light curve. It's really hard to block. I'd suggest the brain dead boys try dodge it. Great. Oh, shot. Dylan Cruz. Dylan Cruz. I think he was. Aaron. Was he part of the gold medal winning USA team? I think. I, I think, think he Shoda, was. Yeah, he definitely was. Dylan and Xander were all in there. So we got. Oh, Jack with a nice dip. Everyone's got a dip these days. A little bit of position switch from Brain Dead. Thank I don't. I don't think that clipped on the way over. Looked a bit high. So Jack, as you know, gets really low. Very defensive, as yeah, you can see there. Very defensive. It'll be hard to hit. So I think they want to take out Harry first, and then take care of Jack. We're gonna see Jimmy with the shot. Now we're gonna see a cross. Oh, oh and it's over from Stephen is right into Harry. It's uh, the two first names. They give him such power. <laughs> and he's, he's on fire this set. He's already <laughs> taken out two big targets. And the trip. Ooh. Triple does Back. not take Probably out Jack. the best option for to take out Jack. Yeah. Jack is very nice good with his defense. Dylan calls himself yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, 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 Stephen caught sleeping. Jack. Yeah. You really need to level these uh, dippers because it's yeah. almost impossible to block. And then it was Jimmy. 1v1 for the first set. Jack v Jimmy. Who's going to win? Oh, and the, no. and the dip. Oh, yeah. wow. As I said, you have to level those dips. Aggressive. It's almost impossible slider, to Slider, wasn't yeah. it, with that movement yeah. and dip. So I, I think Jack has both a slider and a 12 6 combo. That's wow. definitely a slider. Yeah. And actually, didn't look like it had that much speed. No, but, but think, it had enough yeah. movement to make it yeah. difficult. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, definitely have to lateral that. Look Can't. at the difference in rush positions here. Prime really, are they accepting that they're not going to get the balls out first? Setting up further away? Oh. Um, not too sure. 
Oh, what a big shot in from Shona again. Time. Finds two. two. Wow. Oh. Bounced off Harry and caught the feet of Jack. Wow. Oh. Xander not quite getting that one. So I don't know if the... The, the team named Branded is reminiscent of how they play, <laughs> where they just play aggressive with no strap. Maybe. Uh, which is completely opposite to how Prime would play. I think they'd play with a lot of structure. Big throws from Xander, back of the line, back of the court and still finds a hit. Ooh. But yeah, even Joel has a nice sidearm dip. I think it's a bit quicker than Jack's dip, but Jack having more, so uh, more angle. But for me, I think Aaron and Evan are the main stars for Prime. So it's important that Brain get taken out. Mm. Beautiful shot there by Aaron. Stephen David off the court. Yeah, he's a, I think Aaron's a confidence player. So um, once he get, gets a few hits in, I think he's going to... Showed us quick on those punish releases. Wow. Jimmy with a strong block. Beautiful dip. Yeah, that, that Joel dip is uh, pretty dangerous. Right, we've so got Prime our trying, back. To, trying to come back from a 6v4 deficit here. Prime with 10 players on their lineup. And, and, and I was saying how Aces didn't have their main lineup for their Burnmiddle match, but I think it's because they wanted to save their players for this game. Now I realize. Xander did get that hit. Okay. So Ivan gets taken out, Joshua gets taken out, becomes a 3v2. Prime moving up with four balls. Yeah, that dip, yeah, that's how you're supposed to survive that dip. You've got to do that lateral movement. Yeah, 100%. Um. Let's see, from the middle there. Ooh. Jimmy, great, uh, great accuracy, very on target. Yeah. Quick back and forth, goes for the catch, doesn't get his hands no, around takes it. Takes out Jimmy. It was just off center for him. So from a 6v4 to a 2v2, yeah. so Prime's come back a bit. Aaron's still alive. I think he's the key here to for brain dead. Ooh. Big throws. Very quick, well-timed laterals as well. Oh, right Aaron with a beautiful oh. shot. Oh, takes out Dylan. Xander tried to do the punish, could not connect. He, his, one. he did get his feet out of the way because it was sent back his way mm. very, very quickly from Joel. He was ready. 1v2. Well placed, well placed. And uh, throwing it wide, shutting down the um, the rush there. They weren't able. Yeah, and Xander's fairly aggressive, so he'll, he'll lose patience here. Um, Do you think he might fish for a catch? Um, I don't know. I don't think he's known to be a catcher. He does oh, again, no. as I said, Aaron Hart. There he goes. This throw is, I think, pretty fast. A second uh, point. Close to unblockable, really, and I don't think he has a dip. So, yeah, you can see him just oh. carving out the middle. Stephen almost gets a leg to the that, face. Oh, and oh. that dip from John. Oh, shot. oh, my goodness. And you can see Aaron just easily breaking through the block of Xander. Shoja. Oh, that faster, much faster. Smokes one. Beautiful shot. Beautiful. Oh, dear. Wow. Got caught sleeping a little bit. A bit of cheekiness going around from Prime. Devram Van Dyke not having any of it. No waving, please. Yeah, it's not, not ideal sportsmanship to no. be doing that. And Jack apologizes by waving. <laughs> that he waved at them. <laughs> and then gets it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a taste of his oh, I love it, I love it. Oh, shush. All right, brain dead. Strong shot from Lightner. Ooh. Goes wide. How can we going to see Harry do something from the middle? No, we're not. Great tracking from Evan. It's actually impressive to be able to block Evan's ball like that from yeah. Brandon. While in the air. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty fast. Lightning goes up. Oh, that's very unlucky. Oh, and a fourth given over. A low percentile shot. Brandon very pleased. Crossing in. Ooh. Aggressive play, Jimmy gonna send one Stephen back. Stephen gets caught. Leitner. Oh, oh, is that a catch as well? Leitner got caught. Wow. A catch and a hit. Oh. Unlucky there for Brandon. Wow. 
6v2. Dylan. Nice free throw yep. by Dylan, Dylan yep. taking a draw. So we got four here. Will they do a double play? Yes, they will. Trying to do the split. Oh, an extra. Wow. They take him out. They all the balls. But given they have play advantage, it's not necessarily the worst move. Oh, they've got two back as well. Jimmy's going for a catch, right? Yeah, James probably only hope is to go for a catcher. Yeah. He is a catcher too, He's yeah? He's such a good catcher. Yeah. So. Let's see it. Don't count your horses. Leaves them, keeps his hands in. Very disciplined. Placing them well out of reach. Oh, and, and number one from Prime. I think he just won the mixed gold medal, so he could be a double gold medalist in this tournament. Yeah, Gia. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I think we're going to see Jimmy think it. take this one as a block. Yep. He set the precedent that he's prepared oh. to. No, and gets doubled. The wings just timed it right hey. Very well synced there. Timeout called by Brain Dead. Yeah. So I, yeah, I definitely think that. Oh, that was the catch we That's saw crazy between catch. the legs. Jimmy steps up and just gets the wing double, finds yeah. his feet. So Prime definitely have the firepower advantage. Not not necessarily in terms of throwing speed, but in terms of um, the variety of shots with lots of dips and sliders Prime. and all that. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I think Brain Dead need to play aggressive because even though they have really good throwers, I just don't think they have. I think there is a discrepancy in in the power and, and dips. Um, yeah, some wild movement on these balls. Yeah, they're losing out on the chaos, and Prime has more weird throws, right? Mm -hmm. they, mm -hmm. Yeah. And really, I think their best bet to survive is doing lateral movement. I, I don't think they're blocking yes. most of these shots. Yeah, 100%. They haven't recognized that. Um, they don't have your brain, Sam. you got to no, go think, over there. you got to go I coach think, him. I think Xander was doing it. But the thing with, I think the thing with Braindead is Shoda and Xander are the key. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. sh because Shoda likes to catch, he's kind of like, like a... It either works or it doesn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So he always goes all in for his catches. Coin flip, coin flip. And I guess, yeah, Brain Dead when he's is on, the he's perfect on. name for that team because you know, they, they will play with heart um, as opposed to, I think, play yeah, Malaysia play a bit more structure and a bit more cerebral. Got heart versus brain on display. Beautiful fake. aggressive fakes. Xander manages oh. to get a trade out of his... Wow. Uh, but it's a two-for-one trade. That's so big. That's good. Oh, it was two. Yeah. Was it a team hit? Yeah, I, I, I saw the wing trade, but I didn't see what happened there. Oh, the laterals. They've learned, Sam. <laughs> they heard you. They tuned into the stream they for free that. coaching. They that. Uh, Brandon is saying, thanks, Sam. Great shot. Oh, beautiful shot by Dylan. So now Prime have lost their two star players. Yep. So Brain did have, you know, a real good chance to come back, take the first set. Shota sending a message. Not a ball. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh back out the oh, oh, yeah. No one hit no, so far. Nothing connects. Opportunities were there, but nothing connects. We saw four throws and no hits. Something's happening. Oh. Yeah, see Shota going for the catch, but lucky to be alive there. Number one, placing it out wide, hoping he reaches. Down the line, Harry stays safe. It's not often you see Lightner without a ball. Oh. Up! <laughs> Gives him a little a waggle. A little waggle waggle. And some amazing movement on the ball by Jack. So I think with the antics... Oh, and sends it oh. straight back. They're calling it a hit. It, uh, it made the sound. <laughs> it didn't, but... It, it, a little bit of antic shown by Brandon here, I think, as a response to the waving from Jack in the previous uh, sets. It, it did make the hit sound, but oh. didn't connect. Oh, and a great shot there from Shona finds his mark, oh. gets taken oh. down, and wow. the catch, the set that is over. Is it. That's it. A punished train that ends in a catch. Wow. <laughs> that is so, such ball. So Brandon really fired up from Brandon's antics. 
Yeah. 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 Boost that they needed. <laughs> little finger waggle. Yeah. I and think it really a, got into the heads of the Malaysians. And, uh, it, uh, I mean, it, look, it made the sound and it, it, was, it was a close one. Difficult to call. Yeah. All right, we're back wow. into... Well, no, we've, uh, we've got a... Game in our hands. Full start. Yeah. Well, we've got ah. that as well. <laughs> a little bit of... little column A, a little column B. So, rush pretty even. Brenda, it's fast Shoda. on. Does beautiful. Oh! Shoda does it again! That's it. saying, he's all in Shoda. Oh. He either makes the play. Oh! And oh! 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 the third oh! hit! Oh! And just like that, the match has flipped on a dime! Oh, players! And that and that's a signature branded that's, play. That's it, that, yeah. that is a branded play. That's what they need to do. But it's freaking amazing. I mean, Jack went for the region and the, an yeah, unlucky so, double there. Yeah. It's a perfect oh. name for that team. But oh. for the oh. 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 I think just took out five players in 20 seconds. <laughs> that was great. That was not good. <laughs> We've got a handsome Josh on the sideline, hyping up the crowd as well. Yeah. The crowd's going one, 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 two. two. Great shot. Catches. Oh, he just waits. It's bounced it. off his chest and everything. Double he got hit. into the hands. Oh my god. And We're then back another into hit. another rush. So hit five. So what's his stats now? Showed up. Gets caught. Oh. <laughs> Gets caught. The rebound and the catch back. is done. Yeah. <laughs> and in yeah. the antics now. Oh, One more for Prime. Who caught that ball? Uh, it was off his teammate, I think. Uh, uh, Oh, yeah, someone here, yeah. in the middle. So brain dead coming alive. Finally, after Sand uh, demonstrating blocking. <laughs> yeah, so lateral movement shown by the brain dead boys, which is good. And a big great hit shot, there. Great shot, Brandon. Thank still you. wiggling his fingers, <laughs> but I think it's working. I think psychologically, it's working on the prime players. Big rushes! Wow! And big hits! Oh, yeah, wow. can take it out of the middle. 77 staying alive on the left. He was so lucky, hey. Dylan. I thought it hit him, but uh, apparently he's staying safe. Oh! Getting called out by the line. Wow! Rep. Yeah, there it is. Wow, this has really shifted the momentum yeah, for Brandon. Oh, lovely cross fake. Doesn't first. quite connect. Oh. Somehow. Jack, this is Brandon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Just like the feet. <laughs> Jack is That's so close shot, to that but line. But now they got to throw again was, because uh, they got play advantage. It's yep. a little awkward. I think we're going to see Xander smoke in. No, we're not. Opposite wing down the line. Yeah, so brain dead need to be aware. They got the two dippers. They need to be a little less brain dead yeah. on their set throws. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But yeah, they're definitely lateraling much better. So good adjustment. Surviving a lot longer. Oh, that's oh, two in a row that have been <laughs> sent to the stadium <laughs> from Leitner. So he's helping the team. Uh, oh, an aggressive return. So wow. Brandon's helping his team mentally, but uh, not with his throws. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, Brain Dad have got enough power. They, that's the mental energy that he's he's carrying the oh, team good. spiritually. Yep. Beautiful, wow. beautiful movement. Those whiffy balls are so difficult to track from Joel. Oh, finds the oh. arm! Oh no! The, yeah, it, it's yeah, Xander knew Sarah was out. She is out, it's just um, Joel so left. So still a good trade. Joel versus three. Oh, I caught him Joel, my bad. Apologies. Same, same. I think they did just do a 1v3 before, right? In the first set. Ooh. Oh, Brandon, oh, Brandon with a What's happening? Oh, oh he's so ready. Oh. Oh. No, I can't quiet. believe that worked. Oh, oh. you safe. Oh. Is that a hit? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brandon, <laughs> being a bit of a clown. Yeah. I'm, surpri <laughs> I'm surprised that left's allowing it. He'd Dev be lucky to get to the sideline. I'm surprised there yeah. were no cards. Yeah. He's never trying to get a card for this. He keeps yeah. going, yeah. Pushing the boundaries. But Joel, yeah, it goes really low. He's very good defensively. So, it just so, lies down. Yeah, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Unless they have a dip... Um, they need to double him here, otherwise it's going to take a while to take him out. Yeah. Three minutes left of the first half, I mm -hmm. believe. Mm -hmm. There it is. 
Thank you, Dev. Thank you, Dev. Ooh, throws a dip back. Strong. Uh, again, no uh, just try, yeah. trying to block that dip is just yeah. not a good idea. You have to get out of the way. Not a good idea. Yeah, it's you're right. Very, very hard. I haven't recognised what you've recognised. And Joel's on track to win another 1v3. Yeah, he needs to do a lateral movement. Yep, beautiful. Oh, oh he's going to go oh, for yeah. it. Oh, and he gets the hit. Yeah, yeah. Joel trying to sneakily to the counter, but I think the, the crowd uh, made him stop. Timeout called by Prime. Definitely in their best interest to use it this way. Disrupt your opponent's momentum. So look at that comeback from 0-3 yes. three to 3-0. Three, yep. All because Brandon wiggled his <laughs> finger. <laughs> and, it, and it just completely mentally affected the prime players to just doing some crazy stuff. Yeah. I think it affected uh, Brain yeah. Dead as well. So this is, you know, as much as a psychological battle as it is just a battle of skill. Um, what a dodge, that one. Oh. But as you said, yeah, I think Brandon's close to look, getting a card here, so... <laughs> He's on thin ice. Surely, right? Surely. Yeah. Bring it out. I want to see it. Oh, Joel trying to try to counter that. Trying to what? Ca oh, no. Finger oh, block, right, but he's right, trying right. to counter it. Um, but, yeah, so the momentum has completely shifted. But Prime is a team that's smart enough to, to make the adjustment. Let's have a cheeky look at the stats. Oh, no, we're straight back into it. Shoda, is he going to throw? No, opting not to. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, so this might be the last set of the first half. Can Brain Dead continue the momentum? Oh, surprisingly, Aaron and uh, Evan have switched wings. Okay. So obviously, they've definitely made an adjustment. So we'll see if this pans out. The two lefties. Oh, wow. and a catch. Big catch. Oh, sure. Keeps it in the pocket. Oh, and yeah, the full Back. Oh, my oh, Lord, my what goodness. is happening right There's now? There's complete chaos on the court. Shoulders out. <laughs> and Brandon held in by his teammate. He stays alive. I somehow were at four apiece. I don't understand. No. After all that, 4v4. Oh, Evan's out. Wow. Just, Just shot caught. by uh, Dylan. No one's going to fake for each other. They're all standing Ooh, at the line. Oh, is that a hit? Oh. Yeah, Devon's calling it. Decision Devin made. It a hit. Devon Van Dyke having none of it. And Brain Dead have a good advantage here. Laterals from Xander again. Staying alive through Jack's swing. Ooh. Ooh. Aggressive cross. So it wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea for Brain Dead to just keep this advantage going to sudden death mm -hmm, mm -hmm. rather than lose a play or two. Yeah. They've got the throwing, they've got the catching, and their opponents have got blocking, so... That's so true. That's actually so true. So, yeah, as long as Brain Dead don't take any unnecessary risks, I think they should be winning this sudden death. Thirty seconds on the clock. So Jack, he's gonna dip. So you better dodge it. Yep. Good dodge. Oh! oh. And a one for Good one. Time. Just saw that Beautiful coming. Beautiful just by uh, yeah. Jeff. Committed Jump. fully to it. Yeah, actually. Twelve right. seconds to go. Brandon should just throw all three right now. Yeah, oh. and a big yeah. hit. Yeah, that's, that's a hit. hit. That's a hit. That's a shot hit. by Dylan Cruz. And Brandon have completely turned this game around. Wow, Brendan with four wins in a row. What a performance. Yeah. So because there was time on the clock, are we going to do a sudden death set? Looks like it. Oh, no, no, I don't think they will. Oh, Shota giving us some brow. Oh, will they? I don't think they should. I think they should sit side. We are having a sudden death oh, set, I think. That didn't okay. happen in the mixed game. That's surprising. Um, yeah. This is probably actually to... I imagine we're playing. It, oh, there was that catch who again. Do you think that benefits more? I don't know. And Brandon held in the court. Who do you think that benefits more? Sudden I, death? I think it benefits Prime more, actually. Because oh, I was thinking it would benefit. Oh, Ooh, I was going to wow. say Brandon, and it's already a big hit. I mean, yeah, that's true, because Malaysia like to block. They do, they do. <laughs> Brain Dead haven't done much of just, that so far. Yeah. Shooter out on left wing now. Shota's going to oh, go for a catch. Big catch. Oh, on the other side. 
Josh Joel catches swing. jab. Oh, and uh, Shota takes Sorry, out Evan. Sorry, not Joel. So, this is very good for Brain Dead. The catches. Oh. <laughs> he drops the ball. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh, This is ridiculous. And let me just point out, like, I verse Prime, and all the catches he's making are not they're easy not at all. Easy yeah. like, they're like, he makes them look easy. That are impossible to catch. And he's catching make the trade, oh. but Xander yeah. keeps him safe. Xander, support. Oh, that's oh, another trade. Easy trade. With players up. It's game over. Harry trying to make a case that it was a hit, but it was Didn't a trade. They traded, no? Yeah, it was a hit, yeah, hit, no? It was a trade. Uh, is he saying that the balls collided in the air, perhaps could be dead? Oh. Oh, we're filming referees. Oh. This feels illegal. No, that no, result confirms. So as I was saying, like, Shota catching these balls like he has a baseball mitt with him. Yeah. It's insane. Like, these are not easy balls to catch. Oh, oh straight, so, slide yeah. straight in. These Americans and Canadians making it look oh. like oh. it's easy. And then Xander's throw there, ball. Yeah, beautiful timing there. By yeah. Well seen, well tracked. So it's 5-3 to Brain Dead. Um, so this combination of USA and Aussie players uh, looking incredibly strong. Throwing and vibing, that's what Brain Dead's about. Yeah. Oh, and catching, how could we forget? We did not see this, this scoreline 10 minutes ago, did we? <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> the match wasn't being played the same way. No. It feels like Brain Dead have found a way to coax their opponents into playing the style that benefits them more. That benefits Brain Dead more. It's always important. If you can manage to get your opponent to play to your win condition rather than their own, then you're in a good spot. And that's what they've been doing very well. <laughs> and apparently all it takes is a finger waggle. Yeah. I think that a lot of people were scared of Prime, so they were scared, but Brain Dead, you know, they just naturally play aggressive. Yeah, playing with no fear. Uh, and if Schroeder's catching, you know, like as I said, Schroeder is an all-in player. Yep. Either he'll catch him or he'll get hit, but, you know, he's in a catching he'll mood today. Dice. So if he's going to catch all those balls and turn the momentum, because if you think about it, like catching is so important, right? You not only kill someone, but you get someone back. Double value. So that value that Schroeder provides is incredible. And obviously Aaron and Evan on the other side, who are the star players for Prime, are not being that effective at the moment. And they're being shut down by Xander and Shoda. So yeah, I think, I think you know, Aaron and Evan really need to step up here. Oh, I think they're subbing out Aaron, uh, Evan. So... Well, they've got 10 players, so... <laughs> Plenty of substitutions available. So I think, you know, Brain Dead need to carry this momentum and just try to finish this game now and don't let, don't let Prime back into this game. David. And we're off. Are the stats updated? Brain Dead receives. Uh, takes uh, and attack Aaron. Aaron. Showed on Aaron. Yeah, that was beautiful. That's the matchup. It doesn't seem to be updated. All ball carriers went defensive. Aaron yeah. had nothing. Well, I don't think Aaron expected that at all. Yeah. Oh, oh but Evan! Oh. Oh, Evan's a sub dog. He just pulled off a throw and a catch. So bringing back in Aaron, bringing which is huge. Bringing back in Aaron. That's huge. Aaron's coming back with vengeance now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dylan loses his Ben. Ben? Oh, his no. towel? His, his towel. towel. His towel. He's wearing a towel. Okay. It's not that sweaty. <laughs> Yeah, Dylan mean, Cruz on fire here. When he throws like that, he can have his towel. Yeah. So Evan's struggling defensively, even though he's throwing okay. Um, but yeah, they're definitely targeting Aaron and Evan. So, you know, definitely Brain Dead do have a game plan. And it seems to be working so far. Shoda takes out oh, Aaron. Oh, Shoda finds it. But both misses. Mm. Good punish there by the center. Did So Prime, yeah, really need this set, but... Ooh, Brandon with a beautiful shot. Very close, huh? So Brandon surviving these throws very well with increased lateral movement and vertical movement. So Dylan is our hit leader in this match with nine hits. On 
On prime side, we've also got Joel on six. <coughs> Yeah, so the pressure of Braindead is actually messing, messing up the Malaysians' rhythm because uncharacteristically, they're missing a lot of shots. They, mm. you know, I, I don't think I've miss, seen them miss this much at this tournament. So, yeah. Oh, Stakes it, finds uh, that sounded like it hit more than ball. Oh, good shot. And another oh, find. Oh, David, Stephen David manages to find an extra hit in the chaos. Yeah. It's probably cool. Just mirroring each other until one person releases, hey, and then yeah. all these split decision uh, throws are made. No, so the refs have got it right. It is prime to throw. Last throw was from 22, Stephen David. Yeah. So Steps this, in, curves out. This set, Prime has missed most of their set throws, which is very uncharacteristic. So I think mentally they have really been affected by that. <laughs> exact hand wiggle. <laughs> Since then, uh, Prime, yeah, the accuracy has dropped a lot. Uh, and oh, the 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 That's a brain dead play yeah, by Prime. Yeah. He's yeah, on their own team. They really, yeah, they're really affected psychologically, oh, no. which is very surprising. There we go. Oh. Oh, beautiful shot. Brandon Leitner is oozing confidence right now. <laughs> and really, really affecting the Prime players. I mean, Prime potentially... Oh, wow! wow. Nice free throw. Dylan oh, Dylan Cruz, Cruz survives. Manages to get that ball beneath him. So graceful. Jumps his own height yeah. and lands flat. Lands on his stomach. That's crazy. Oh, centre double finds its mark. I think the Prime, two Gorillas players pleased with themselves. Yeah, I think Prime really need to take a timeout. Maybe do some deep that, breathing exercises. That's they true, really that's need true. to... Well, they've already used yeah. their timeout. Oh, okay. is, I think oh, it's one a game in this tournament. One a game? It oh. may be, maybe. I'm not sure if we're playing full regulation. Wow. Full regulation is what? Is it um, one per half? Yeah. 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 Great laterals. From Good trade there. Oh. Ooh. Two hit out. Okay. Oh, sorry, one hit out. Brain dead still up with players. Yeah, Prime only really hitting in punishes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is hard for them. Yeah, the lateral movement really, really stifling those dips. I was going to say the exact same thing. They've figured it out now. They know what they need to do to survive. <laughs> Good shot by Brandon. Oh! oh! Oh my god! I don't think I've seen that before oh. in any dodgeball event. I've seen it, I've seen it uh, happen another time, but this one was like, oh my gosh. That was so clear as day. Everyone's yelling catch, but went straight up and he didn't even look up. In a dodgeball tournament, I don't think I've seen that. Popped him on his back. Lightner aiming low. Man, Brain Dead can just do a trade now and that's this set. Ooh, that had some great movement on it. It was Let's full body height. Dip. Yeah. Unless if Aaron can finish this 1v3. Yeah, this is a crucial shot. If, if Aaron loses this, brain dead. I have one hand on the trophy. Somehow blocks with the side oh. of the ball. His yeah. own teammates caught him out. Yeah. 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 Even the ref said it was not a, not a well, hit. <laughs> I was going to be oh, impressed. Look at this beautiful. Oh, oh man. You've I can't got believe to, it. There should be a nickname for that. You've got to feel and for who threw him. the ball, guys? That should be the, like a. Oh, the finger wag. Airstrike. Oh, Airstrike. Airstrike. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see it coming. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you got airstrike by Brandon Leitner. <laughs> um, yeah. So 6 3, brain dead now with a commanding lead. Respect for the teammate. Calling it as he saw it. Oh, oh what is this? Shoda with a Malaysia move. I think he's at risk of getting an invalid well, for that one. This should definitely be invalid. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Devram, even though he says he wants more stricter rules, clearly not calling it himself. Ooh. We got under it's, 14 yeah. minutes. It's difficult left. to block with the side of the ball when you're holding it with your <laughs> hands. <laughs> and a big shot. Oh, oh, yeah, and big catch. Catch. For that was a Jack. beautiful shot. Jack jumps up with that rebound catch. Catches out. This match is hit leader. Xander with nine hit. Sorry, wow. ten hits. Oh. Shoto with seven and God knows how many catches, but then another catch. Alright, wow. Xander gets another chance. Oh my gosh. 
the catching in this Reindeer team has been insane. Infinite lives. Oh, is it going to be another Astro? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, two in one game? Jeez. Oh, okay. Shota looks like he wants to catch here. Oh no. Jimmy's back on the court as well. We, we uh, Some substitutions. Wow, beautiful wow, the cross, hit, the cross. Shota, he's looking to catch, but oh, he's going to find no it. Catch. Yeah, doesn't find it. But Del Cruz gets one oh. back. And after all that, it's just a 4v4 again. 4v4. What a throw. Jimmy gets snicked on the way past. That was a, that was a fast oh, so throw. Very crazy. They've yeah. subbed him in for someone. Yeah. Maybe Harry. And he's just been targeted. Evan with a beautiful throw. Dylan takes his out. Yep. Great honesty. Well, also gets called out. Xander, I think. There's the oh, one. Oh, oh, Jack Jack gets two rebound, rebound catches. Oh, and it's the same Xander throw as well. And it's on Xander again. Oh, <laughs> no. That's just bad luck. That Mr. is very Xander. bad luck. Ooh, oh, good survivability here. Josh, yeah, it dodges a triple. He has five balls in hand. 1v5. Ooh. Oh, oh, a double! Oh, Larry oh, up to his teammates. Yeah. 1v5, turn it into 1v3. Now he could take his time here and really milk up the clock a little bit. But I don't think that ha that's how Brain did like to play. No. <laughs> so I, I don't think he'll actually really care that much. But yeah, but Prime needs this out now. Well, there's still 11 minutes left, so this is very, very winnable for both teams. Three catches in one set. So you want to say that uh, Brain did finally, uh, sorry, Prime finally won another set, but I mean two lucky catches. So, yeah. oh, that so was... I, I don't think it was, you know, anything tactical that they did. I think they just got very lucky. Oh my gosh! Great grab, stays in the line. But three lucky catches makes a big difference. Incredible grab here. Jack. Oh, and like in the court and everything, so good. And then a second one here. And it's here. the same, the same. <laughs> it's, it's the same triangle. It's the combo. same throw from Xander <laughs> hitting the same player, <laughs> popping up and being caught by the same <laughs> player. <laughs> what a game! What a game! But I guess that evens out all the catches that Brandon had got. But I mean, Ben did catch were all legit. <laughs> yeah. Legit skill catches yes. as opposed to not prime Bounce a bit off. lucky, but still, they all count. Yes. They all count for the same. But I think the story for me has been that since Brandon's waggles, Prime's accuracy has gone down a lot. Mm. And, and this is very uncharacteristic of this team to be so inaccurate. Um, and yeah, and I and I can only say it's something psychological that has happened. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, big throw, Terse just in front. So they moved Evan to the middle now, trying out a new wing. Crosses in, doesn't find the hit. Showed it with a solo perhaps, but holds it. Ooh. I like it. I like it. Discipline on display. Waits for his teammates. Setting up again. Do they know who's going to throw? None of them faking, all of them waiting. Mm. Imagine how terrifying they'd be if they used the balls while they held them. <laughs> all right, Prime really need a hit here. Oh, oh it doesn't get it around. a catch. Just misses a catch. There's a strong dip. Aaron gets clipped. So, yeah, neutralizing Aaron high has been a big thing for Brandon here. Oh, wow. Staggered center double takes out two. The Gorillas players now on the sidelines. But we got three world champions right there <laughs> against three silver medalists. Oh, interesting strat there. That Throwing away three. Was it triple singles on different targets? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think they messed up the communication. 
Oh, oh I, I saw that happen before. Last time they got hit with that. Ooh, oh, Evan almost well gets catch. Followed up. Bounces just in front. Now, if Prime gets this set, this this game is back on. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want to see that just to make it an exciting match. Same. Well blocked, well blocked. Dylan with 10, uh, ten hits here. See if he makes another. No, it showed it a throw. Zana stays alive. Is he going to return it? They've, they've comfortably oh, spinned oh, it down. Shot, he finds it. Yeah. That was a great shot by Zander yeah. because no one was ready to punish him. Yes. So he, it's good that he took that shot rather than waiting for his teammate. Uh, now it's 3v3. But important that Zander and Shota are still alive. So I think style pile wise, Braindead have the advantage. Mm. They've got their three highest damage yeah, dealers Dylan's in. Been, Dylan's the highest hitter, right? I think Xander's now Zander. overtaken him after that. Oh no, sorry, that's uh, that's total on target. He's been caught three times because of those team catches. <laughs> so you're Ooh. right, Dylan is top on hits. Oh, strong block, strong block. Brain dead moves up with four balls. Single by Dylan misses. They bring it back, here we go. Yeah, it's beautiful. So as long as Brain Dead keep doing the lateral movements, I think they'll be fine. So prime dippers would will need to adjust for that lateral movement if they want to get a hit here. Yeah. Showed his showed his height. Yeah, but as I said, like these guys are so accurate normally, but they're struggling at the moment. Match has slowed down a little bit. A lot more discipline in these 3v3s. Ball control is very important. And Sander with the same lateral that has treated him so well, that one step into the right. Yeah, and he there's, survived. There's no adjustment from... Double digit uh, throws, I think he survived now. Ooh, Ooh nice dodging by Jack. Incredible dodge there. Redirects himself almost mid-air. <laughs> Look, that's the 20th yeah. time we've I mean, seen Xander I mean, do it and now, survive. That player should be able to adjust for that movement, but he clearly hasn't. Yeah. Which is perfect for Brain Dead. Prime taking it slower as well. I think they do feel like Xander is the one that has the worst defense in this particular lineup, so they keep peppering Xander. Oh, no. uh, but Xander really showing good. Oh, yeah. great shot. And shoulder. The reflect oh, rush. Oh, my goodness. I like that extra shot from Xander as well. Became on them to throw. He had a chance. Mm. Xander into the middle. Let's see. Shota wants to pre-throw and catch, I reckon. There we go. And... Oh! Oh, oh. oh. Ooh, yes! He's trying to go for oh. catch! Dylan Dylan's Cruz! 2v2. Two two. Two. So the only thing Prime have going for them is we know that these two will try to take the risk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that they will... I don't yeah, give themselves chances to die. I don't know about this switch, uh, with this side switch between Shota and Xander, because Ooh, as we see yeah. there, Xander's figured it out, but Shota is unaware of the... Need to move laterally. Ooh. Oh, what a throw, what the heck? What a slider! Xander uh, knows how to do a dip as well. Aggressive diagonal movement. Ooh, good block there. Brain dead to throw. Ooh, good fake. Oh, <laughs> but Jack, better dodge. Wow. Jack is so, such a good dodger. How does he still have it in him to move like that after sets like these? There's going to be a dip. Oh, oh the track. dip, he finds him. What happened? Oh, he got him with the dip. Even though he moved laterally. Yeah. But, he, but he guessed right, I guess. Yeah. Shota's going to... Oh, wow. Shota! In the, in the air, a bit of hand in that block, oh, maybe. They're maybe. calling out a finger block. A little bit of hand, maybe. No, no one's calling The ref says nothing. Yeah. We, we, we I think Shota's going like to be a good, honest player. Oh, oh, oh. But you can see he takes the risk. So either... So, you know, Shota could probably catch or something, even though he takes a risk. Free throw catch? No. Doesn't need uh, to take much risk here, so... But that's not... That's not how he rolls. Absolutely is not. Oh, he goes for the catch! <laughs> As I said, 
I think that sort of shows that the brain dead style of play. That catch was really unnecessary. Was yeah. Yeah. Have <laughs> spent another minute or two dodging, and they would have had a better chance. But brain dead play one style, the brain dead style. Yeah. And it. But you know, even though that's what they do, they live or die by that sword. Oh, you know, that was that beautiful up. dodge. So you can't say anything that you know. Just because they play the brain dead doesn't mean they're bad players. Because you know they're still incredible. But yeah, this catch is really oh, unnecessary. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful tip. Like he had balls to yeah. block with and everything, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so why did he put him down? He had yeah. three balls, two in hand, one in front, yeah. and decides and to. I, and I think you know, even though he's such a talented player, like everyone knows, he's got the predictability about him because he's so uh -huh. aggressive like that. So you know, that sometimes could be hit to his detriment. But still, brain dead up. So they just need to win this set. And they become ball control and, and two hits. Oh. Evan and Jack. I thought there was a third as well, but uh, maybe oh. not. Oh, that was close. Oh, oh Josh gets taken. Another in. slider. And he gives him the big fist pump. All right, we're going to need another waggle here, I think, to yeah. win this match. <laughs> yeah, Brandon's been a bit quiet. What's going on? He's been off. He's, he's been, been off. Out. He just came back. We just had an eight-minute uh. set. Oh, amazing uh, vertical skills yeah. from Shota. Yeah, actually, not long left until this game's over. Three minutes, 15. Brain dead on six, prime on I'm five. I'm calling a Brandon hit and then a waggle. Yeah. Ooh, a wag Aaron gets hit in the Give foot. us a waggle. Here it is. <laughs> a hit yeah. and waggle, as wow. predicted. Yeah, they've really shut down Aaron this game. They um, have. Heavy targeted him. Yeah, which is, yeah. Good, good game planning. Shows they're not totally brain dead. <laughs> yeah, they are very smart players. Oh, oh but Shota wow. with aggression. Where's the fist bump now? He's gone. Um, so this player, I think, needs to finish this set now. Otherwise, he's not going to be helping his team if the time runs yeah. out. Needs to take the risk. Oh, Brandon should be out there. Yeah. Yep. Tried to get that shot off before. Yeah, as, lo yeah, as long as Brandon keep dodging, I think they'll be pretty safe. But, yeah, mm. yeah, his team's not really telling him to step, step out or anything. Yeah. Yeah. So this is actually tactically not a smart move by Prime um, because Ooh. it doesn't help them win this set. Yeah, they're just going to milk up. This, is, this might yeah. be the last set. I mean, it's tricky because it's only a one-point difference. So, yeah. I mean, you, you don't also want to give a two-point difference. So it, this is a tricky one, actually. Wow. Because if he does give up this point now, They'll have to play a really fast set. Yeah. So yeah. So maybe. Uh, the I mean, it's not really a missed. bad decision. Yeah. Is that is that that window where you have to make that decision? Yeah. And then if you leave it this late, if you don't have the time, and then you probably have to try and finish the set yourself. Yeah. He's gonna need to catch here if they want to win. Oh, he's he's going for it. You can see he's dropping the balls for it. I don't think that. Um, I mean, in this situation, you, you'd want to throw off body all the time, but I feel like brain dead. I'm <laughs> probably going to want to get the hit, yeah. so it's still catchable, I suspect. I mean, the fact that Braindead are throwing only one suggests to me that they're trying to milk the clock as well. Otherwise, yes, I absolutely. think they'll throw two. Absolutely. So they know what's up. I like that uh, <laughs> Steven's opting to chill at the back of the court without a ball. Yeah, and Shadow not really trying to hit him. Mm. So he, he wants this yeah. game to go to sudden death. No, yeah. it's, not so, it's not so brain dead Ooh. after all. I think Dylan's lateral movements has been really impressive. Dylan and Xander's yeah. lateral movements have been really Surviving impressive. Surviving really well. Yep. It's good that they adjusted early, realizing they can't block these dips. Doesn't even take the shot. Oh, four balls over. Are they going to throw a double now? Let's find out. Nope, just going to buy an extra 20 seconds. Changing the game. Evan with a shot. Eight seconds to go. Steve Five Gibson. seconds. Knee oh, I did not knees. see that coming. Yeah, guys. that was amazing. I did not see that coming. Again. Wow. I think. There we have it. 
I mean, it was kind of like we, we just discussed. Shadow was a bit too casual with that throw. Yeah. yeah. He, he was yeah. trying to be accurate. Oh. Well, all, yeah. again. Yeah, I, I, look, so look at the disappointment in his face. He knows that was a mistake. He, but that being said, the, it's still okay because Rain are up by one. That's so even true. if they lose, they get to play another That's set. That's true. As calls. But that is too casual. That is way too casual by Shota. <laughs> Actually, I mean, as we were just discussed, uh, yes, Brain Dead. I mean, they just they threw Live up, up the to player. their name. <laughs> yeah, they Live did. up to their name. Wow. All he had to do was just off yeah. body and it's, yeah, especially because uh, the last shot he deliberately missed. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I don't know the why he threw three. that. I think he thought, oh, we won the game. Let's just you know. Yeah. But yeah, that was great, great move by. Um, Here it is, sudden death, guys. Amazing. So this makes the game a bit more spicy. No yeah. blocking. So both teams will want to do a lot of lateral movement. Steven David, decent catcher actually. Oh, what a slider! Evan got oh, it! Gets tracked. Oh my and it's 6-0. Could that catch be a mistake by Shota Barbo? Yeah. Oh my goodness. This, oh my goodness. this here is what we want to yes. see Beautiful from a gold medal match. Yes, it is. Boom. This is what we want! Yeah. So, I'm here for it. I don't get any wins, I just want to see more dodgeball. So let's watch this catch again, where Shota Babo... Yeah, Shota Babo, just a casual, oh, straight shot. Straight to him. And Joel was Wait, we just get to waiting see for it. Joel was just waiting for it. Joel was just waiting for it. And yeah. Oh! So now, wow. you know, since we've been talking about psychologically dodgeball, you know, this could affect brain dead psychologically. 100%. Yeah. While they 100%. have that mental um, momentum, they are so strong, but... Because now, you know, this has cooled off the brain dead players. This has cooled off Brandon, so he's not in that happy mood anymore. We're going to need some waggles. Yeah, and Malaysians now might have upped their confidence and they, they might start hitting. So what is it? Is it a four minute? Four minute, four minute last set. Four minute set. Uh, standard. Proper set. Yep. No sudden death. Oh, sudden death at the end if the clock runs out. Else wow. it is whoever is ahead when it ends. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. What a great grand final here. Look at Shota's body language. He still seems a bit yeah, upset. He... So hopefully, you know, that doesn't affect him to make so, for some really unnecessary play here. Yep. This is he is it, a guys. world champion, so let's see if his resilience, his, his, you know, his champion nature comes back and he's able to bounce back from this. So we really hope, for the Aussies boys' sake, that Brain Dead come back here. Especially as when you're a coin flip player, you're either on or you're off. Mm. These little mental moments, they, uh, it makes such a big difference. Yeah, I can definitely see the body language of uh, Brain Dead is a bit down. Ooh. Ooh, they messed up the rush, so you can see. <laughs> oh, an illusion shot but, uh, from Brian. Yeah, That's not a good shot by Joel. No, it's not. All that's right. unnecessary there. They're going to they're gonna relish this ball control, I think. Shoulder bouncing. Just short. Good shot, good shot, but it was good dodge as well. Yeah, I can, I can yeah. Prime look like their, their, their confidence is up, their momentum's up. Guys, nice, oh, doesn't it? Was that a Blocks double? onto his oh, teammate. No, I don't think so, I think it was ball. Oh, good shot by Shota. I think that will bring his confidence up. Wow. Unlucky okay. for Evan. Wow. Oh, oh no. yes, Sander. Oh, did he get a catch? That's no, he didn't. That's not a catch. And for once oh. in this game, we see brain dead fake, and it gets them a hit immediately. <laughs> Good Imagine trade. if they did that more often. Good trade by Xander. Shota takes the left wing now. Oh! Steven keeps his toes wow. in and he's shirt out of the way. He's, he's such a good player, Steven. Very well rounded. Ooh. Yeah. So this is a bit more composed dodgeball here, but Prime really need to get some hits if they want to win API. Oh yes, oh, beautiful shot, Brandon. Unlucky, but Brandon didn't really try to dodge that. I think the fake kind of affected him. Two v four. Two and a half minutes left. Nothing in it. Oh, what a neck and neck game. Oh, a lot of faking. Who's throwing? Oh, Ooh. cutting it. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. That's correct. Ooh, correct. There's no, zero. There's no zero yet. It is 
on it was where zero would be if yes. you're counting seconds. Yes. So okay. that was in like the between zero and one seconds to go. Oh, beautiful shot! Oh, oh another oh, shot! Somebody goes for a catch! Oh. oh, and as I said, the momentum has shifted. The momentum has shifted. That oh, showed up mistake may have cost them API 2024. What can you do, Dylan Cruz, Stephen David? Can you bring this back? Dylan oh, Cruz, oh, you shot. can get a big hit. That's, That's what you can big do. Big shot by Dylan Cruz. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is this is it. The moment of truth. Well, Stephen stays alive and gets under it. And oh, Aaron High with the punish. Stephen went up. Dylan tried to support. Dylan believe, gets caught out. I believe in the. I believe in the Let's Stephen, Stephen David, David catch. Yeah. I, I don't Can Stephen do the reverse of what happened yeah. with, uh, with Joel? Yeah, that's it. 90 seconds left. Free oh. throw gives him four. Oh, this, this is heartbreaking. We know. We know he's going to have to go for a catch. Come on, Stephen David. What you got? Oh, oh and Prime! Oh, the API 2024 game. champions. Uh, what a game. Don't we go to another set? No. What are Extra time. It was extra time. It's six all and then extra time. This was the final set. Yeah, that's the final set. But you, in, I thought in extra time, it wasn't just until someone won the set. It was the full duration that gets played. No, no, no. It's, oh, okay. it's the last set wins. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so yeah, prime. Wow. Prime turned it around. Back. Wow. I mean, it was really that one moment with Shoda. Yeah. I think he's going to be kicking himself. Yeah. Because he has actually played incredible. Yeah, he has But that one really moment well. changed everything. Look yes. at this shot by Xander. Almost gets a catch. But as we said, as soon oh, as Prime's oh, oh, oh. confidence increased, the accuracy came back. And obviously, um, Brain Dead's confidence went down, so the dodging went away. Yeah, so, mistakes were made on yeah. the Brain Dead side for but sure. I think, you know, this is a great example of how psychological a game of dodgeball is, because it's, it's those shifts in little momentum that really changed the complete game. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really feel for Shota. I think he played amazing. And, you know, it's one mistake can cost you a tournament like that. Mm. Um, but that is the game of dodgeball. Amazing performance from both teams. We now have concluded API 2024. Prime have won gold in our men's category. What a game. Some big stats we've got is... Uh, Joel on 14 hits by the end of that match. Incredible performance. I think that may be the highest in the match. Uh, Shoda also with 14 hits as well. 15. Shoda 14. and won a 15 on target, one caught, oh, but did manage to pocket three catches. And Josh as well, three catches. I think three is the most any single player got. Evan got three as well. Wow. So very, very impressive performance. I think that means that our... Uh, player but, with I mean, the I guess the player bounce. of the moment is Joel because he's got he's got 14 hits yeah, and he got, got the catch that changed the yeah, game. Yeah, that's 15 the biggest. I think it's Joel. I think Joel is the MVP of this game. Of this Shoulder game. on 17 outs, but yeah, Joel definitely put on a performance. I don't even think Joel expected to get such a throw like no, from Shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> like, it was just like thank you for the gift. Uh, but so anyway, unexpected, hey, yeah. Sometimes it happens like that. It I, was one I of those... As I said, I think they thought they already won, so they went too casual. Yes, they did indeed. Yeah. They it didn't wasn't maintain over yet. the discipline. It wasn't uh, over anyway, yet. pleasure to call you guys, call with you guys. Thanks for tuning into the stream. We are progressing to the medal ceremony shortly. Thanks, everybody. Wow.
something. Dikes it, finds uh, that sound like it hit more than ball. Oh, good shot. Yeah, they're really affected psychologically, oh, no. which is very surprising. There we go. Oh. Uh -huh. Good shot by Brandon. Oh. Uh -huh. Good shot by Brandon. Oh. That's the ball when you're holding it with your hands. <laughs> And a big oh, shot. Oh, and big the, cat. the ball when you're holding it with your hands. <laughs> oh, oh, and big the cat. Cat. Ten hits. Oh. Shoulder with seven and God knows how many catches. But... Zap. Oh, oh, no. yeah, neutralizing Aaron High has been a big thing for Brandon here. This is a tricky one actually. Decent catcher, actually. Oh, what a slider! Evan got that! Win API. Oh, yes! Oh, beautiful shot. Zero in one second to go. Oh, beautiful shot. Oh, another oh. shot! Somebody goes for a catch! Zero in one second to go. Oh, beautiful shot. Oh, oh. another shot! Somebody goes for a catch! This is heartbreaking. We know. We know this guy has to go for a catch. Come on, Stephen David. What you got? Oh, and climb! Oh,